I had a great stream title, but I wasn't sure that um, Twitch's language filter would allow me to place it. It was going to be like quotation mark, this year is my year, a asterisk, denoting an action, gets diarrhea once, close asterisk, ah, well, nevertheless. What do you think? Eight out of ten? That's pretty good. I can live with that. It's a tweet? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. By the way, can I... Uh, I want to, for once, have a positive change in the world in 2024, okay? Let's start with small victories. Actionable items that can change society for the better. That don't require a lot of work. And then we'll build momentum and we'll deal with the big problems later, okay? First piece of actionable item... And I talked about this in the, in the Lion Discord yesterday, so I apologize if, if we're bringing it back, if this is old hat for you. Step one, ideal restaurant bathroom for me has an indicator on the door whether it's occupied or unoccupied. That's step one. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That way, you don't have to jiggle the lock in order to determine if there's someone in there, okay? An indicator that says vacant or not vacant is huge because you don't have to, you know, nobody likes to be doing their business and then hear like, tick, 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 tick on the door. Because either you're like, oh, I've taken too long or you're like, I've only been in here for two seconds. Just relax, buddy. In lieu of that, okay? In lieu of that, we as society need to be the change we want to see in the world, okay? And what do I mean by that? When you leave a public bathroom, like a restaurant, or even a stall in like a more communal public bathroom type setup, when you're done, you leave the door open. Light off, door open. That way when people walk to the bathroom area, they know immediately which bathrooms are available to be used. No longer are we doing this, unless you dropped an incredibly stinky log in there and it would be impolite to leave the door open. I understand that. In that case, you should leave the door slightly ajar, light on. That way people can tell at a glance that like this place is, is available. I hate going into, it, it's like, um, it's like, you know what it is? It's like being the Binding of Isaac. You walk into a room, all the doors are closed to you. You got to walk up to this one. Hello, hello, tick, 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 tick. Oh, sorry, you're taking a dump in there. Oh, my mistake. Oh, tick, tick. The, the genesis for this is that Kate and I were at a restaurant yesterday. I had to go to the bathroom. It was two unisex bathrooms, both of which were closed with no indicator that the they were vacant or not vacant. So I'm like, I'm not going to stand there. I, I don't mind standing there for two minutes waiting, but then if someone comes up behind me, they're all of a sudden, I'm the problem. Cause they're like, I trust that this guy's jiggled the locks to make sure that we're not waiting here for no reason. So like all of a sudden the responsibility comes to me. So I walked up to one of them and I turned the handle, the handle turned fine. Then I pulled on the door and it was clearly locked, but it made like a, a sound like, dun, 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 like a caged animal. And then literally, like I took one step back to avoid culpability and uh, a millisecond later, the lock went like, Chick! and then a, a middle-aged mom and her teenage daughter walked out of the bathroom like with their arms crossed and looked me in the face like I'm a, a, an escaped convict or something like that. I just wanted to go piss, lady. I don't know what's going on in there. I don't know what kind of situation you had that necessitated two people being in the bathroom at the same time, but like... I'm not the bad guy here, okay? I'm just, I'm trying to, we could avoid these problems if we just had more sensible design. It's not their fault either. I'm mad at them because I, it looked like they were mad at me, but they probably were just like, oh, it's time for us to go. We've been in here too long. Do Canadians celebrate New Year's Eve? We do. Stonecutter's voice, we do. But I, and I'm not trying to say that like this is in, in, instead of the way that we normally do New Year's Eve. I understand it makes logical sense. I'm changing society today, okay? I guess that's what I'm saying. I'm changing society today. It makes logical sense that the celebrations for New Year's, you son of a bitch, bison. Sorry, I was quoting Raul Julia badly. Um, it makes sense that 
New Year's Eve is celebrated at midnight local time because that's the, the ceremonial and literal changeover from one year to the next. I do want to say, I want to say two things about New Year's Eve. One is, I think it would be great if we, and you could do this yourself, but it would be great if we normalized having a New Year's celebration maybe at like noon on December 31st because there's no way my ass is staying up until midnight because I got to wake up early and then also I'm putting my daughter to bed at like, you know, 845 or something like that. So I think just having like a ceremonial New Year's at, at lunchtime, like around brunch would be fun. You don't need, by the way, people are minus two. I would never do that. You're, you're, don't flatter yourself. You're not invited, by the way. <laughs> Why'd you have to wake up early if you didn't have to Peloton? You're going to learn, Diego. Guiga. My daughter has a little something called a stomach bug which is a polite society conversation for explosive diarrhea. So yesterday I was up at uh, 5 a.m. because she threw up. Uh, and then I took her down to sleep on the couch while I slept on the carpet next to her. So I got like this fucking Berber imprint on my forehead from sleeping face down on the rug. Why face down? Because that's how I sleep, bro. Don't even start with me, by the way, motherfuckers. If you ate like half a family-sized bag of Doritos and you're one of those people who's like, I, I stand up to shit because it keeps your colon from getting twisted up, I sleep on my back because it's good for the spine and coffin rehearsal. I see you. It's all about optimizing your health as long as it takes no fucking effort whatsoever, right? It's always something I read on r slash life pro tips. Hey, r slash life pro tips, which is something I can do for under $10 that will save my life and require no concerted effort consistently whatsoever. How do you breathe? I don't know. That's my fucking autonomic systems problem. It figures it out. It's the same reason I, I don't shit my pants while I sleep, I'm sure. I'm sure while I'm... I, have a, I actually have a theory about sleep, by the way. Now, I, I can't validate this. I think sleep is kind of like when you're under anesthetic in the sense that my, my insane hypothesis is that you're actually, when you're asleep, when you think you're asleep, you're like 33% awake. But then when you fully wake up, your brain smooths out. It uses like <clears throat> content aware fill in Photoshop to smooth out the period that you were asleep to make it feel like you, you were asleep the whole time. Because sometimes I like, I'll wake up in the night and realize that I actually have like a mental ledger of like the last 10 minutes. Like if I wake up suddenly at 2 a.m., I can remember what I was thinking about for like the 10 minutes before I woke up. And then when I wake up, it's like my brain is like, okay, move that shit to short term memory. So I think that's like something that's happening all night. But then when you wake up for real, your brain is like dump that shit in the cache. You don't need it anymore. Reject all cookies. Same thing. Like, you know, I, here's a, another. It's not a data point. It's anecdata. I sleep with one Bluetooth earbud in 95% of the time that I wake up. You know how I wake up? I wake up clutching my Bluetooth earbud in one of my hands. So what's happening? Obviously, at some point in the night, my earbud's falling out. And then my brain is like, let's go grab that earbud so I don't lose it. And then I clutch it. And I wake up and it's like... Um, Hawkeye waking up with the soul stone in his hand. So I was fucking awake, bro. Obviously, I was awake to grab that shit, but I don't remember being awake. And I'm like, oh, I had a great sleep instead. How's your urethral health? It's been good. Thank you for asking. It's never been bad. I'm sure it can happen. You could get like maple syrup, urine disease or whatever. Uh, me personally, my urethra... It's never been better, but also I will say just well, in being honest here, it's also never been worse. It's pretty much been the same for my entire life. You should get a UTI that shits fire. I think that's pun intended and I'm gonna hit you with a, with a plus two as a result. How's your flow? I would say um, 
199 times out of 200. It's perfect. Rifled. Um, you know, good speed coming out of the barrel. Consistently goes where I aim it. And then one out of 200 times inexplicably uh, splits. It's like I've got the garden hose on the wrong nozzle. And I end up with the split stream and both sides miss the toilet. It makes no sense. And then you go like, oh shit. And you kind of like slap it a little bit. And then it comes out in the, in the right uh, pattern again. It's damn true. I don't know what the, the human body has lots of viruses. Does anybody else gleek? Gleekers get a bad rap. Nobody's doing that shit on purpose, bro. What is gleeking? Gleeking is sometimes you yawn and the way that you move your mouth and your tongue shoots saliva like six feet in front of you like a Dilophosaurus that found uh, Wayne Knight inside of a Jeep deep in Jurassic Park. I do it on purpose? Okay, well, that's like heinous in my opinion. <laughs> It, it is always at the worst time. It's always like, you know, you're sitting in class and you got a yawn and then all of a sudden you, you hit him with like a little bit of the, the splash zone. The kid in front of you goes like, and then you're just looking at, um, in space. Like, no, I didn't just like spit on the back of your neck accidentally. It happens when I talk. It's embarrassing, bro. And then people, it's like a lot of things in life. People act like it's like a moral failing. <laughs> People are like, what the fuck, bro? That's gross. And you're like, yeah, I know, bitch. I didn't invent gleeking. Take it up with, with God. What is gleeking? Okay, gleek, I, I explained it. You know when you yawn, you go, and sometimes your tongue kind of comes up to the roof of your mouth a little bit, or it goes, it pushes down into your, if this is your soft palate, wherever you put the, I guess your soft palate's on the top, but it's where you put the thermometer. Um, doing that causes like, a squeeze in your maxillary glands that produce saliva. And literally, it's like you're squeezing like a, a tube of toothpaste with a very, very narrow exit. So it comes out like a high pressure stream, like you're trying to clean uh, a stain off of your deck. And it shoots out and inevitably it's going to be like the girl that you have a crush on sitting in front of you in the 11th grade. And it's going to hit her in the back of the neck. And she's going to be like, what the fuck? Did you just gleek on me? And then you got to be like, no. And then they like grab your underwear and pull it up. And then they put the waistband on the, on the hook in the locker and then slam the door on you. And then the principal's like, hey, you can't do that. And they're like, Principal Skinner, he gleeked me. And they're like, oh, carry on then. I went to high school in the 2000s, which is basically the 80s. I never got a wedgie. I never saw anyone get a Shane Dawson twit longer. I never wedgied any my cat. I never, <laughs> I never saw anybody wedgie my cat. I I feel like wedgie is a psyop. I don't think the wedgie exists. There was definitely bullying, but I feel like a wedgie was made up. I simply don't believe that. There's underwear that strong, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Like, that would be the greatest... It would be like that Stanley Tumblr advertisement where the lady's car exploded and then the Stanley Cup was not only unscathed, but it still had ice inside of it. If they made an ad for underwear that was like, check out how strong this is, it can support the weight of like a 135-pound nerd in his locker, I would be like, holy fuck, I gotta get some of that, man. Whatever brand that is, I'm, I'm becoming a, a believer. Five stars were the thing when I was in school. Bro, I hate getting... As a, as a kid with a soft belly, I fucking hated getting five-starred, man. What's five-starred? It's when some motherfucker slaps, gives you an open-hand slap right on your abdomen. We used to... Oh, it was on the back? You guys are getting five-starred on the back and you're complaining about it? I would have killed to get five-starred on my back. People were pulling you. There would be a, a two-person job. Someone would pull your shirt up and then some other kid who's been high-fiving his older brothers for like 13 years would go, Shh, shit would sound like the end of a Rush song. Have you sounded like you've got your finger stuck in a mousetrap in an old Looney Tunes cartoon? Yeah, ouch! 
Do you ever think that if like, do you think that we had to be smart to invent language? True. But then also, the invention of language just by itself made us smarter. You ever think about that? Because now we have like a, a scaffolding to think. I, I'm not the right guy to have this conversation. But here's what I'm... What's interesting is that I think if you... Most people will probably agree with this. Let's just get through the, um, the part where people type a lot of question marks first because it might take me a little bit to explain it. You can recognize that you have an idea that's complex, that might need you like four sentences to explain, but you get recognizance of the idea immediately, and then you can unwrap it yourself via using language as a structure. That's crazy to me. Like sometimes a light bulb will go off in your head, and then someone will be like, what are you talking about? And you're like, oh, I just realized how to solve the uh, debug issue that I was having in my code. And they're like, explain it. And you're like, well, well, here's what the fucking, and then it was an array out of bounds exception, but that's fine. It's because the size of the array went over in 32.max. So we need to refactor this, this. And then you're like, that was like a, a 12 sentence idea that popped into your head fully formed. That's fucking crazy, bro. What does, I mean, I guess it's, it doesn't look like anything, but like, what is that? How can an idea that complex just pop into your, I mean, your subconscious is obviously building like Legos back there or something, and then it's presenting them to you. And sometimes you're like, what the fuck? SpongeBob round pants? And sometimes you're like, thank you so much. You've saved my life. Sometimes your subconscious is like, check it out. I've been working on this for 14 hours. And then it's a, a jar of peanut butter, but the letters are switched. So it says peanut putter. And you're like, what? It is kind of funny though. Classic. <laughs> this is not going to 10, by the way. We're going to die. By the way, after that last Jackbox session, I was so pleased to have the Discord explain to me like I'm an idiot, which I am when it comes to astronomy especially, but what tidally locked means. I must have skipped that day of school where the teacher explained what tidal locking is. So the moon and the earth, the earth rotates, of course, and the moon rotates, but it also rotates around us at precisely the same pace or rate, I guess is a better way to explain it. So we always see the same side of the moon minus like a very little bit of, of wobble, I suppose. That is cool. I don't know why, what, I, I was just being genuine when Apollo said, why do you think the moon looks the same every day? And I was like, it's because it's a fucking circle, bro. <laughs> I just never thought about it, man. I never looked at the moon and was like, oh, the pattern looks exactly the same as it did yesterday. That's cool, man. But then that got, that got me fucked up because I started thinking, and there's no like fruit to this. Like there's no, there's no wisdom came from this, but it got me thinking about like the universe. And I'm like, this is, it never ends well. So I'm like, it doesn't make sense, <laughs> this whole universe thing. Okay, so I'm like, what, what happened before the Big Bang? And people are like, well, the, one of the prevailing theories right now is that maybe like the universe constantly expands until it reaches like uh, a bound and then it contracts until it compresses into like that little ball of matter that then becomes a second Big Bang and you're in like a cyclical universe type thing. And I'm like, all right, motherfucker, but like what was the Big Bang in, bro? What was the Big Bang in? If the Big Bang created space, then what was the, like I, I feel like, what, to whom Ben, Aquaman? What the fuck was the, where was it banging, bro? How can there be a ball of something in nothing? It doesn't make sense, man. It also started time, so when was it? I'm not even at that level yet, okay? I know this space and time are like, you know, bedfellows. I'm still working in like some 1700s model where I'm like, let's just imagine that time keeps moving forward or backwards, I suppose, but space is like something that you can manipulate. Wasn't it just a vacuum? Well, how could it, how could it be a vacuum, bro?
because in order for there to be a vacuum, there must be something for there to be nothing in. It doesn't make any sense. Happy New Year. Daniel, Daniel, hey, we have some questions for you in your chat, okay? We're... The prevailing theory of the current state of the universe is that the Big Bang happened. Super concentrated uh, matter exploded and expanded over billions of years, that expansion and the coalescing and the increase in entropy and the decrease in temperature and the increase in temperature has led to the celestial bodies and so on and so forth. So you say, what, where did the Big Bang come from? One of the theories right now is that the universe expands until it can't expand anymore and then it begins a contraction, like an elastic band or something like that. Uh, and it becomes like a, a big crunch and then it becomes like a super concentrated ball of matter again, which then it gets too concentrated and it explodes back out into another Big Bang. But what the hell was the Big Bang in, bro? If this shit is like a person on a trampoline and they reach maximum uh, potential energy and then they have the Big Bang up and then they have the big crunch down to repeat it, wh what is the trampoline situated on, bro? If the trampoline is the thing that invented space. Uh, the metaphor kind of fell apart at the end. That's, you, you've described it exactly right. My ass is like a circle, and you're explaining the concept of a sphere to me. And I'm like, what are you talking about, a sphere? Well, I'm a circle, bro. It sounds like you're just talking about a circle. Like, imagine if you took uh, circles and then tilted them and spun them infinitely... What would you have? And I'd be like, what do you mean fucking tilt, bro? There's no such thing as tilt. There's no tilt. It's flat all the way. Your metaphor fell apart. And yet you said language made us smarter? It did, bro. Before written language, people were not conjuring, contemplating the mysteries of the universe. This shit only happened, like, this particular shit, I feel like, only happened post, like, 1861. Maybe post-1865, they got the Civil War out of the way, and then all of a sudden, they were like, okay, what's going on with this Big Bang shit? Back in the caveman days, they were like fucking... They were just eating berries. Have you ever talked about... I, I think I talked about this before. You know how pissed I'll be? Let, let me rephrase. Do you know how pissed I would be if I were a caveman and heaven was real? Let me explain why. Can you imagine living before the dawn of fire? And your ass, your staple crop is like sweet potatoes or something like that. So your ass is out here eating raw sweet potatoes every day, getting tummy aches that like we can't even fathom just to stay alive. And there wasn't even any Netflix or anything. You were just staying alive, like just for something to do. Then you get to heaven and you're, you're like, oh my God, there were so many like other people in the world. I didn't know. That's so cool. Oh, I'm sure glad we got heaven food now, right? And they're like, what are you talking about, bro? I, I was born on the island that had pineapples. And you're like, what? Your ass was eating fresh pineapples every single day? I was munching on bark? That's not fair. That's fucked up, bro. They could have migrated. I would have been a fucking sick caveman, bro. Yeah, I could have migrated. Let me just um start building a caravan and driving it in a direction. I don't even know where the fuck I'm going, navigating by the damn stars. Then, like, just so what? It's a 3% chance my great, 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 great grandkids will get to eat pineapples. Fuck that, bro. I'm busy enough just trying to forage for the damn sweet potatoes. Not my ass looking up at the filament, trying to figure out which way I'm supposed to go to get to Hawaii. Spoilers, it's a fucking 35-year-long sail in a reed boat across the Pacific Ocean. Best of luck to you. I think about that a lot with baking. Like, how the fuck do people learn how to bake? Some validity there. You know what, because you're talking about the invention of baking powder. I feel the same way. The, the thing that's most annoying to me in the English language is how many built-in meanings are lies. You know what shit pissed me off I found out in university? Me and my friend were, were trying to save money. You should say, you know, how'd you want to save money? Well, we spent too much money on beer. So what did you do? Decide to drink less? No, idiot. This was 2008. It was basically a health potion back then. We decided to make our own beer instead. So instead of paying a dollar for a 
shitty beer, you could pay like 32 cents in ingredients for a beer that might actually kill you. <laughs> so my buddy buys like all the, oh, I shouldn't, eh, whatever. Obviously I'm cooked. My buddy buys all the ingredients, or not the ingredients, but like the, the equipment. Um, and he says, hey, can you just go pick up like some apple juice because we were making cider and some yeast. So catch my ass, I got the apple juice at the grocery store. Um, and then I said, oh, I gotta get some, some yeast. I see a product called Brewer's Yeast. Brewer's Yeast? I said, that's gotta be what I want. I take it back. My friend looks at me like I'm a fucking idiot. He says, what the hell is this? I said, it's Brewer's Yeast. He says, oh, Brewer's Yeast is, you can't use it for brewing. It's dead yeast. You have to get non-brewer's yeast to brew beer because the yeast in brewer's yeast is dead. Like British people spread it on toast or something like that. It doesn't make any fucking sense, bro. Why the hell is brewer's yeast the only yeast you can't use to brew? They should call it like dead yeast or something like that. It's yeast from the brewer. They should just name it something that describes what it is instead of this ambiguity. Again, there's infinite words and letters in the English language. Like, why not just make it make sense instead of making it stupid? We don't have infinite letters. We do, bro. We have 26. That's like saying we don't have infinite molecules. Of course we do, bro. Sure, the periodic table's only got like 140 fucking elements or something like that, but you could put them together like one you put together them uh, X plus Y and all of a sudden you got water X plus Y Y you drink that shit you blow up like Violet Beauregard from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory then X Y Y but you fucking mix up the bond on the Y and point it in a different direction boner pill language is just Social chemistry, bro. Like, no matter how you, you... You could tweak it. You could change the emphasis. You could use a different combination of letters. Look at whales, bro, and tell me, oh, the words would be too long. Take that shit to Gwen Lifford the give it, the give it a good and tell me they'll just laugh at you. Did you see the tweet? This one, you can definitely find this one, librarian. Did you see the tweet that said... Um, it said Obama, Obama talking to a girl with a septum piercing? Caroline Polachek definitely uh, took a shit in the mother toilet this year. That was a... Uh, I saw that this morning and I, I thought, great tweet. Great tweet. Oh, I saw it? Shut up. He's not in the chords, bro. He's not in the chords. Do you think that if there were no term limits, JFK would still be president? I think you need a brain to be president. Someone hasn't been watching the news <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> Not just the last few years, like a, like a long, long, maybe the whole time. <laughs> I, I, I knew that you knew that that was a setup, and I appreciate the setup that you gave me. Thank you so much. And uh, would you have voted for Adlai Stevenson or Dwight Eisenhower in the 1952 presidential election? Um... I don't think 32 volts enough. So listen, I think that um, the current climate means you should vote for, you should have voted for Adlai Stevenson. That being said, I, I'm a conventional Andy, uh, even now. I basically form my opinion based on whatever I see uh, in social media. So I'm pretty sure that the AstroTurfing campaign for Eisenhower would have been fucking insane, bro. I think I would have been psyoped into voting for Dwight Eisenhower for sure. People would have been like, Adlai Stevenson is very pro-worker. And I would have been like, yeah, Dwight Eisenhower uh, won World War II, bro. Was Adlai Stevenson even enlisted? Oh, no, no. He was a lawyer uh, in America working on like human rights issues, a.k.a. 
What a puss. Give me Eisenhower. And then also, you ever see the photo of Eisenhower? Where he's sitting like this? A lot of presidents nowadays are afraid to sit like that. I mean, you would not catch Donald Trump doing a little jaunty sitting to the side, cross-legged, hands folded in his lap. Because now it's all about signaling. You got a man spread. You got to put your hands on your knees and like hunch forward and give like a little scowl, like a. It's the first I've heard of it. I've never heard of it before. We lost our way as a country. Presidents didn't used to be afraid to serve. And then if someone ever said, hey, Dwight Eisenhower, why are you sitting like that? He'd be like, hey, brother, why does your country not have a nuclear arsenal yet? We've already blown up 18 islands in the Pacific just testing the motherfuckers. And they'd say, you're right, I'm sorry, sir. We used to be a proper country. You're not American? Dio, we got, see? Finally, the truth comes out. I'm Canadian, which means I can pretend to be American when it serves the purpose of the joke. <laughs> Get melted, son. You're not American, you live in America? What the hell? I live on America, motherfucker. Who else smoking that Scooby-Doo dick today? Um, not me. I love that for you, though. I'm my, one of my resolutions for 2024 is to be less judgmental. Can I tell you something? I'm not trying to put my wife on blast at all. This is the, the dynamic that, that makes life interesting. On New Year's Eve, my wife said, do you have any um, New Year's resolutions? And I said a couple of things. I said, one is, I think I've done a good job of reducing my own stress. I have a better work-life balance than I've ever had before, and uh, I don't get as stressed out over not being able to record Super Auto Pets or Isaac episodes when life gets in the way. That was a big one. And I also said, given the time, and that might be naive, but I would like to make higher quality or more deliberate YouTube content than just sitting down in my chair and knocking out 30 minutes of Super Auto Pets in 30 minutes. I'd love, I don't know what it would be, but I would love to take a time to plan and refocus a little bit and make some better videos. Not that the videos are not worth watching, but like something a little bit more that I would take more pride in. And she said, that's it? Those two things are work related. And I said, okay, well, I uh, also would like to, I, I hit 25,000 minutes on the Peloton in 2023. Three, I'd like to hit that in 2024 um, as well. If I could stay consistent on that, I would be happy. And she said, well, that's just like fitness and work. And I said, okay, what are your resolutions? You know what she said to me? She said, I'm going to finish How to Win at Chess by Levy Rossman and get better at chess. She really hit me with the, the that's it on three things that I searched my soul for. And I was waiting for her to say something like, truly mind-blowing or spiritual or personal or something like that. And she said, get better at chess. She's, she's cooking me nonstop. It's crazy. I'm out of here like I got to truly search my soul and figure out what it is to be a man. Is she bad at chess? No, she's worse than I am with no judgment. Epic web. No, no, no. I want to get favored. We did, we were at the kids' bookstore on the weekends, and there was a last copy of, of Levy's book on the shelf. You know we copped that shit, first edition. I'm gonna put that in cold storage. I can't. Hey, Ryan. Yeah. yeah, hit, yeah. Uh, hit the letter, hold the letter V. Get Holy, something. bro, I get it now. You've been, you've been missing oh, out on Oh, he's finally, man. he's finally seeing the gritty. Why am, why am I not hearing you guys doubled? I'm not hearing you in the game. It's Windows update, isn't it? You can't hear us, in the, us in the game. I can't hear you in the game yet. Wait, I okay, but no, we're talking long. in the game I, right now. We're all muted in the game. game. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one talking in Discord. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are so you're so seamless now. Damn, it's so nice that everyone here's over 26 and has their shit together. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
I was, I was like, there's no shot time all of them fucking... needed. <laughs> Remember that one time I thought you were amazing. echoing, but it's just because I had your stream on and I was trying to tell you for like two minutes? You were trying to gaslight me. Oh, I that was, was gaslighting game. myself. I thought it was real. Oh, yellow suit. oh my god, that's so funny. Incredible stuff. <laughs> Did you hear like a violin? I'm in this. Ah! Cock! <laughs> Cock! Oh, don't fuck me. Um, what just happened? Dustin, you Dustin guys died. What happened? The what? Oh, I actually called the bracket a cock. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, I was watching, like, a clip of me playing this game. And mm -hmm. I'm just yapping the whole time. And, like, every 10 seconds, I see the Bracken, but I don't even notice him, man. Like, I, like I, I only notice it watching the clip, and I'm like, holy fuck, the Bracken was chasing me for, like, five minutes. Wait, so you can listen to what people are saying? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, Ryan! Dead. Ryan! <laughs> oh, behind you! Oh, flashlight batteries. Oh, tell them to turn oh. around! No, no, dude! Oh, tell them to turn no, around, if he turns please. around, he dies. He can't look at him. Oh. <laughs> we need, we some... need to get a lot of fucking loot. <laughs> What's the problem? Why, why don't we? Let... Oh, hey guys. Oh, hey. Let's, I'm gonna go to the fire escape. Did you guys go there? I've already gone there. I didn't explore all of it though. But there's a lot of stuff there. All right, we'll be leaving now. I saw him that time. <laughs> Woo! That what a rush! Oh man! That's did you hear that? Oh, there's a nutcracker! Oh, yep. What do we do? Whoa! Oh, my God. What the what? fuck? Guys, there's a nutcracker down here! Okay! We have to get a stun gun and a shovel and run back to the ship! Oh, get a stun gun and shovel! Get a stun gun and shovel! This is the day! This is the day! This is the day! <laughs> Today, the nutcracker da- nutcracker? Okay, nutcracker I'm getting a shovel, I'm getting a shovel. Someone get a stun gun. Someone that's good with it, get one. I got okay. it, I got it. Do you know how to use that whole rat? No, no, okay, I'll give it to Cory, I'll give it to Cory. <laughs> No, you can, you, can it, you can use it. You can use it. I'll, I'll, I'll be the I'll be the bait. I'm one tapped yeah, anyway. You take it. You take it. Uh, okay, I'm good. Kind of hurt too. We're getting a fucking shotgun. Okay, so you can only hit it when its eye is out, and when its eye is not out, when it's walking around, it can't see you. Okay, and then it will spin around in a circle. I think that's when you have to stun it. When it's spinning in a circle, you can stun it, and then you can hit it with a shovel. Okay. Yeah. He was I'm right down flashlight, y'all. He was he was right through this door, and then on the right. Okay, it got Justin. I'm um, free use flashlight. Whoa! Oh, turn, turn, turn. <laughs> He's dead, oh, man. No. He's dead. <laughs> no, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. We have to find this guy, dude. Oh, and we can't find okay. him in the zone. He's, he's, okay. he's okay. Oh. Where is this guy? I'm going up here left. I made it. Oh, oh man. All right, let's go. I don't even hear this guy. Where? Where is this dude? I'm pissed. Uh, He's here, man. No why did he? Why did he kill Justin and just leave, dude? He's probably posting his fuck his clip right now. Oh, there he is! <laughs> there he is. Yeah, yeah. There what do we is. do? What do we do? Stun. Okay, when he starts spinning, stun him. Get now! Stun him! Stun him! He's not doing anything. Okay, Chibli's dead. Stun him! Stun his ass, bro! It's not stunning him, bro! <laughs> I'm dead! I stunned him! He wasn't fun. We got him! Let's go! Get the gun! Yes! <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of here! We got a gun! 
Watch out for the turret, bro. I don't know how to get out of here. Whoa! Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, fuck. There's the turret. There's the turret. There's the turret. There's the turret. Okay, okay. There's the turret. So, we so we gotta go to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait for me. Wait for me. Oh no! no! Oh no! I am so scared. I cramp. I got a cramp in my hamstring, dude. Oh my fucking god! You gotta be fucking kidding me! No! 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 I'm trying to get that. Oh man! I'm trying to get that. Oh man! No fucking chances. It was so close, but so Why did, why did he leave? Oh. Why did he leave before teleporting? Oh, man. Oh, I've been trying to get that for so long. You guys did so oh, good. Bitch, I didn't get all the bodies in. That's okay. Oh, oh my god. I can't believe it. You're like, just wait for me. I hear, bow. <laughs> <laughs> there, was, there was no warning in that motherfucker. Did you know that you don't have to look at the coil head for him to kill you? What? They told me there was a coil head. So I just said, I'm gonna be like invincible against him. I chose not to look at him. I just walked in the other direction because I'd never seen him before. And then they started freaking out. They were like, you're gonna die. Y yeah, I mean, that would kill you. <sighs> Alright, if you say so. Sorry, man. That's, maybe I should trust you more. Maybe you got this. I mean, I lived. Receiving signal. Dog. That w that one's for you. It is. I appreciated it. You hear that? <laughs> what <about> each? <laughs> oh, man. That, one, that one's for you. It is. And I appreciated it. You hear Keep happening. <laughs> oh. Did you look that time? Well, okay. the thing is, like, I don't know if I've seen it, right? But I knew for the first coil head that I hadn't seen it because they saw it. So I knew I was invincible. But that coil head, there's a chance I glanced at it and just didn't know because I was looking at chat. Well, what makes it funnier is the 30 seconds prior of him talking about how he can't die to the coil head if he doesn't look at it. I didn't look at it, so it didn't aggro me, man. I don't know what's so hard to understand. You... Okay. It's so funny. For the, for the smartest... One of the smartest guys I know, he sure is an idiot sometimes, what bro. What the hell, man? Dang. You think it doesn't aggro you if you don't look at it? How many times has it randomly killed you in a, in a, a hole without ever, ever seeing it? I don't know. Enough. Guys, I'm lost. <laughs> you can't even find lost. the stairs, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a ship, and then you go to this thing. And then usually... Ah, oh, there it is! I'm, I'm actually pretty scared. Hello? Fuck that, bro. <clears throat> this is the Hello, hello, hello. Ryan? Yeah? Pull to arms, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah! What the fuck? Oh, fucking shit! <laughs> I'm going in! 
Squad lead, squad lead! We need a flashlight, bro! He's right there, man. He's in left, in left. He's coming at me. I feel like I'm laying away. You have to be the brave one, Ryan. I need light, bro! Okay, he's loading. He's loading. Justin's on the light. Justin's on the light. Down to the right here. To your right, to your right. He's coming for me! He ran away, he ran away. He's not stopped! He's to the right, he's down there on the right, down there on the right, down there on the right! Go, 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 he's on the right, he's on the right! Oh no, is that really two of us? This is bad. No, Justin knows to run, Justin knows to run. Cory knows to run. Let's go. Oh, fuck's sake. Imagine though. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. Oh no. Oh. What Whose idea was it to go get the shotgun? That was fun. Fucking bracken, man. No, I think that was the little girl who got me at the end. No, that was the coil no. head. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, dude, I was haunted too. Anyone want to go nuts on the table? Sure. Yeah, where are you? Okay, uh, we, first, let's make this jump. Oh, hello. Oh, hey! Oh! <laughs> oh! The bro, stop it! Stop it! Stop it. <laughs> Get his ass. Get his ass. Oh, fuck, bro. <laughs> hey, stop it! Look how easy this no, is, dude. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Nuts on the table. Oh, hey. Whoa! I thought you were a fucked up guy. <laughs> I don't know where I am, man. That's the downside of nuts on the table. Whoa! Okay, okay. We gotta kill each other. He's gonna. Oh, never mind. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh I got it, I got it, I yeah. got it, I got it. Let, let, let me at it. <laughs> Dude, he's nuts so on the table. That's on the I'm coming with you. I'm oh, oh, the son of a bitch. We suck. <laughs> it's so Can we just go home? Yeah, I know, but we can't get out, man. I don't know where to go. No, I know where to go. We're like right next to it. I was just trying to find the <laughs> okay. dude. Wow! So there's Corey. And then Justin's right here. Where is he? You got him, bro. No! Oh, he's on me! He's on me! He's gone! Yes! Oh, the bracket! The bracket! Yes! Run! Ah! <laughs> 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 the scream! <laughs> It was so good. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about it, dude. The the high of killing the thumper followed by him getting grabbed by the bracket. Thanking, dude. Hoarding bug. <laughs> this is really good. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, oh no. Yeah, he's saluting the bug, bro. He's gonna twerk on him. Yeah, let's go. Did you just slap my off, bro? <laughs> you fucking little pervert. 
man, it's oh, man. great. He's not even talking to anybody. Crying dead, Chip. Oh, oh man. Yeah. That's so probably. Good. The fly slapped my ass. <laughs> beat his ass if you want. Oh. Wait, hit me. I didn't do any damage. Huh. What? I got a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got, he got head crap. Chibli saved his life. Oh, That's saved his really life. good. Oh, the mother! You see, the oh. fly came back for me, my friend. <laughs> I guess they had a, something else to say about that. Oh man, that's really funny. Hang on, hang on, okay. Uh, Ghibli, you, you twerk. Hey, okay, Lash. and then Apollo, you clap? Mm hmm. Uh, trying. Somebody yeah, clap? Somebody clap? Oh, flashlight. Okay, face the other way. Yeah. All right. <laughs> didn't, that didn't feel no, as wait, good wait, as I Ryan, think we got a new one. Right, right, no, Ryan, you're like this. Um, no, don't show him that one, please. <laughs> wait, wait, Ryan, I, gotta, I gotta know. <laughs> okay, Ryan, uh, uh, put your flashlight... Where are you? Put your flashlight away, and then start clapping, and then pull out your flashlight. Well, come down here first. Come down here. Okay, that's... Okay. So, that's now me, do it. but... Now pull out your flashlight, and then... Um, Hey! <laughs> <laughs> that is, no, that's, no. the human mind is so ingenious, dude. Right? Jesus, man. I like how I got oh. shovels and a flashlight. Oh, wait, I got no flashlight, but like two shovels. All shovels, all shovels, all shovels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. Yeah, man. We're killing oh, we're every monster. Hand. Every monster is going down. Yeah, let's do it. Let's you do can it. kill we'll the right Bracken, the entrance, by the all way. Of us. We literally just sprint. No, no can loot. Kill the no, it doesn't matter. No loot. We go in, we yeah, shoot. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty wow, with you. No Every loot. monster in there is a snake. <laughs> what the hell, man? No fear. Whoa! Oh, fuck! I'm scared. Hang on. Anybody? Anybody still here? Where did he go, bro? <laughs> nice. Dude had a steering contest with it for like five and a half seconds before making his decision. <laughs> Bro, you froze up, man. What was I'm that? Scared, man. I got scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Dude, he's freaking zooming and zoinking. Balls on the table, man. Your movement is cracked, bro. Uh oh. I lived, I lived, I lived, I lived. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. I don't need, who needs a large axle, man? Probably fucking Slash. Uh, oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Don't they hate each other, though? Yeah. What are you doing? You alive, bro? Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. No, hear me out. Hear me out, fire exit. Yeah, yeah. Holy fuck. They thought I was a butthead, but they ain't seen me at my beavis. <laughs> I heard the- I heard the- <laughs> <laughs> I gotta check, man. I gotta check. <laughs> Ghibli! Yeah, he's dead. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Ooh, dude. Here we go. 
No doubt. Oh, wait, maybe? I'm scared. Thank you! <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, you are alive? Yeah, man. Corey? been pissing all that today i've pissed nah. a couple times i think it's like a it's going around <laughs> yeah what it's like a 20 what percentage of peas i don't even think ryan tried to have jump a little fart and him. ran right into <laughs> zero percent zero percent yeah i'd say zero. you never have a little fart when you pee Man, yeah. oh i thought you meant like in the sure in the too. solution yeah you right. phrased it in that a way that made it seem oh like no i mean like farting. No, no, like a pee is a, a, an entire act. Like it's like, a, it's like a whole concept. It's not just peeing. Um, I fart when I pee, but it's rare. It's a really rare one. I would say it's like one out of every like 50 pees. I think I'm right there. It was a you. really, it was an awkward time where I was peeing and I farted a bit and it was like a big fart. And then when I turned around to leave, there was poop all over the door. <laughs> no, that did not <laughs> happen. <laughs> 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 Because sounds like Corey's laughing at you, but he's alive still. He can't hear you. Oh, man. I know. Hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> Most part, I was, it was at my like, grandmother's okay. house. Dude. This did That's not happen. One, dude. That we'll didn't happen. That. When you guys go man. pee, do you unbutton and unzip or just unzip? Did Chibli fall in first? Uh, definitely unbutton and unzip. Okay. You too. I really don't. You pull the waistband of your unzip. underpants down or do you... Uh, yeah, I put them all the way down to my ankles. Checks out. That's sick. <laughs> well, me too when I'm pooping. I just... <laughs> Not when I go pee, oh. but... Unzipping is fun. <laughs> just unzipping is fun, because it's like a little... It feels really... like. Well, I think, like, society looks down on men when they sit down to pee. Be sure. But honestly, like, it's the best way to do it. So if people could stop, like, taking pictures when I'm doing it at the urinal, that would really help me out. He's getting a wet ass, that's for sure. He was telling oh, I think sitting down to pee show. is the best way to pee. Like, it just makes the most sense. Apollo and pee, huh? Yeah. I gotta go pee too, but I don't know how to deaf myself in the, or mute myself in the game so you guys don't hear me pee. <laughs> You got a toilet right next to your mic? It's so close. You in a bottle? It's like it's directly uh, to his left. He's right. Doesn't your doesn't doesn't your mic have a mute button on it? <clears throat> oh yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking real. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, I'm hard muting all day. I can't believe. Damn. Chat, go crazy. Ryan, chat, go crazy like we can hear him pissing. Huh? Oh my god, I can't believe he just pissed. That's so funny. That's a hell of a Ooh. flow he's got there, man. Yeah, it's a loud yeah. pisser. That's one of the it's loudest big... pissers I've ever seen in my life. It's a big man. flow. Wait, he, he has like this a guy. he has like a cat statue behind him. Oh, it's a yeah. real thing. <laughs> it's this guy's nasty. Yeah. 
He's pissing with everyone, the Everyone's saying they, they heard my piss. I can't believe it. Yeah, I don't yeah, think the mute like works. works. You're going to write that LSL, bud. No, my pee. I don't think the mute key works at all. You're, you're yanking my chain. You're, that was a loud pisser. You're rubbing my yellow leg right now. It sounded like you were yanking your chain in the fucking bathroom, dude. That's all right. It takes uh, all the attention away from the fact that I clearly did not wash my hands. <laughs> Turkey noodle soup. Turkey noodle. On the table. Oh, nice that you guys all went in and got some loot for us. Yeah, that's we cool. We did. Stuff, yeah. What? I, I was in there. How many seconds? Um, <laughs> probably like, well, What's like... It? 180 seconds, but none of them were really useful for me. I think that's his average time. Yeah, if I'm thinking about baseball. How is your mom? Has there been any update? Oh, she just got to the other hospital. The other hospital? Yeah, yeah. Uh, TLDR, my mom broke her leg this morning. It's getting serious. Mm, oh my god. god. Yeah, yeah. I feel very bad that I am not in Florida. I want to help. Is that I'm gaming? I hope it is. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I can't get down there. I mean, it's far. He did, he did hit the uh, gritty gonna, as he said I'm that. Gonna to, <laughs> I'm going to have to fly down. This, fucking, this dude thinks he's Alfred Hitchcock. Fucking sports net away from him or something. Oh, turn turn, turn to the side. Right? Turn to the side for a second. Bro thinks he's Alfred Hitchcock, dude. <laughs> I don't know. What does he make? What noise does Alfred Hitchcock make? <laughs> <laughs> I could picture Alfred Hitchcock making that noise. Thank you. Alfred Hitchcock, Alfred Hitchcock, Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> Dude, he's gonna- Don't! Are you looking in a mirror saying that he's gonna spawn in? I don't imagine. There. Can I tell you guys something funny? Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. You're gonna love this, okay? Don't go inside yet. I promise it's worth it. Ever since yeah, yeah, Corey yeah. told me about my mute button, I've been doing a bit where I tell a joke. Oh. And then I mute uh -huh. the mic to explain the joke to chat as if it only muted me for you guys. <laughs> and then chat's just been hitting me with question marks. <laughs> I realize they're just seeing me lip sync. That's so oh, fucking good. Man. <laughs> You're having a tough one, man. It's been a oh my God. And I was like, they love it, dude. They love it. <laughs> They're going crazy. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Who's Clint Eastwood? Go ahead. Go ahead. Gat, make my riz. Clint Eastwood, if he was born in 2000 instead of 1871. I did see the tweet. Back in our day, we used to have to read the great Gatsby. But these days, all the kids are wondering where the great Gatsby I thought that was, if you're going to do a pun, that's the way to do it. I gave that my, my own internal plus two. You, can't, you can minus two me if you want. I just retold it. I didn't make it up. Hey, Tomo, you, you going to make me do it from the other side? Can I say that I used to be, it's weird. I'm like less online than I've ever been by volume but more online than I've ever been in terms of awareness. So back in, I don't know, whenever this meme came out with the Beyond Chicken Nuggets, I probably didn't find out about it for like, I don't know, eight months, 12 months, something like that. Hang on, we gotta start with the virgin suicides here. How funny is it that when I finally figured out where the meme was from, it's the two dudes holding the Beyond Chicken Nuggets from KFC. I thought it was just two dudes pointing at something, making funny faces. I didn't realize they were holding the Beyond Chicken Nuggets from KFC. It's not that funny. I eat meat substitutes fairly regularly. It's pretty funny. <laughs> what are we doing here? Guest 19355446341. What are we doing here? You have Lost River. She's in Brooklyn. 
2015. Now, I'm in trouble because this is not my area of expertise. I could never be your woman, 2007. Okay? Babylon, Babylon, Amsterdam. Benito Mussolini's in both of these. That's a big one. Not what I expected to be the connection. Um, Dirty Grandpa has Robert De Niro. We go Emily the Criminal, Aubrey Plaza. <laughs> I did not expect that. I did not expect to be saved by Benito Mussolini. Oh, shit. He's Hello. Oh, hey, Ryan. Hello. He's here. Uh, he, oh, he shit. He respects our time, Chibli. I can't of believe course. you said that. Of course I'm here. Ignore the chat message in your chat. Ryan of course I'm here. It came for free with me sending the fucking message. What? No, I'm still, I'm still I'm warming swearing? up. Warming, I'm warming up. I'm warming up. He said, he said, up. He said the F word. Motherfucker said what? what? <laughs> can I, can I share that? with... Go ahead. Yes. Go, no. go, go. You go. Mine's embarrassing. I've got a really small penis. Okay, <laughs> <don't be> like... <laughs> that is embarrassing, man. That's what Why would you... you to admit. Ah... I'm going to go fuck. pee, but I'll get the game up first. I think he has a prostate problem. No, this is my first time peeing uh, since I started this stream. Oh, okay. No, I can't believe we're going we're gonna to hear this guy piss again. No, I know the mute button now. <laughs> mm, but He's leveled work? up. He's found the mute button. But does it work? Of course, I don't mind people hearing me piss. It's just the freaks hearing me piss. Like, I'm not embarrassed by the sound of my piss. I'm, it's just annoying that there will be like a 29-year-old dude in chat who's like, we heard you piss. Bro, have yeah. you ever... Your ass I, should I be in the friend, club right now. I had a friend once <laughs> oh, use no, my, <laughs> my, my toilet in my apartment. I had never seen a guy or heard a guy with like a bigger stream, man. Oh, so you're it the you're so the freak. Loud. You're the freak. Okay. It was so loud. Like I've never yeah, heard someone like... I, I literally have like, you know, those really clear memories you have from like really like long time ago. Like you can remember it like nothing. I have one of those memories of hearing my dad piss. <laughs> Cause I remember, it was like the first time I heard like a deep piss, and I was like, "Wait, am I gonna have like a deep rumble piss when I'm his age?" And I was like scared, <laughs> cause it sounds. I felt scary. that way about frothy piss. Ooh, I, really? I have a core <laughs> memory of looking in the, in the toilet, toilet after, after my dad being like, "It's all foam." Am <laughs> I gonna have, <laughs> piss foam when I'm older? Dude, also, piss and lobby chip. Yeah, guys peeing beer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like I heard it like through several walls and I was like oh my god that is like, incredible I was like is he purposefully trying to make it as loud as possible like is he peeing like you know, in the mid like dude, even though I live alone I still yeah. try to piss ditto quiet. ditto yeah, and, well, yeah. the, if you piss loud does it seem like it's gonna be messy too like it's gonna yeah, go yeah, everywhere uh, are you kidding me yeah, yeah. Some well, I push as hard as I can straight into the water to see how like cool I can make oh, it. Oh man, you got to be hitting right behind the water, so it doesn't really make noise. Yeah, no, because yeah, that's you just gotta, you gotta, you gotta no, hit it so it not... goes down into the water, right? You gotta like no, yeah, that's the bad it. angle because behind is not curved; it's flat. So you're hitting a f flat angle. Where if you piss in front of the water, bro, you can ride it down. You can ride it down the ball. I feel like my shit's curved, yeah, but... man. I feel like it like almost does like a. It is curved. It... Yeah, like you know, How are like, you pissing you in like, the front. <laughs> you like like piss rides over the rim in a circle. Straight down. I got a really, I got a really good angle. You just I like stand, stand behind, over on top it. of the toilet. <laughs> yeah. He goes knees on the bowl. He rides, like, he rides that toilet down. goofy. Yeah, yeah. But this conversation is another one of those things where it's irrelevant to me because you guys are all in North America and in New Zealand we have different fucking toilet and water levels. So I'll, I'll just go. Do you really? Do you have a different get, toilet? Yeah. I'll, yeah. But same toilet, but the water levels in America, at least, are uh, crazy high, dude. So yeah, high. We have almost no water in our toilets here. I've heard that. That's wild. Like, That's um, cool, we have I, at I'm... least less than half of what you guys have. That's wild. Do doesn't that make a mess when you, like, go number two? <laughs> no, because it goes in the water still, bro. <laughs> but, like, you could, like, hit the side of the bowl too easy, man. How sideways are you shitting? Do you not shit with well, your hole straight you, sometimes above sometimes the middle of the shit, toilet? Sometimes you shit real big. And then the water cleans the side of the bowl. 
I mean, sometimes it doesn't. And that's why you got a toilet brush. Okay, and then that's but when I you get up, up, and, you, up that. and you pee. That's when you get up and pee, and then you finish the job that one of them did, bro. <laughs> wait, wait. So you're pooping and holding in your piss just so you can yes, use it dude, as a cleaner? Yes, dude. Yes, and then you stand up and no, you piss Justin, on the poop. No, Justin. No, it's not normal, yes, Justin. No, yes, no, 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 no. It's regular. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really you hold in your your pee when you're pooping and then you stand up and pee? Right, you gotta be. Do you know what he does that? with his balls when he pees? I uh, don't do me? anything with my balls. You know what he does with his balls when he poops? <laughs> when he poops? <laughs> I want to expose you, Justin. Your balls are in a normal position. Oh, it's in Victor. Sure, Victor. He can't hear us because he's not in the game yet. Do you? Uh, I don't think I got. I don't think I got the list. control of my body to do that honestly i think i'd just be pissing everywhere and i got a hard on off switch on that shit <laughs> <laughs> if i don't want to piss i just ain't pissing man i wish i had a hard, hard on, on off switch off switch yeah dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm realizing what i said i'm so mad justin holds his piss while he shits what Ghibli, how what? does he do it though? That's, that's, that's you, I know how he do does do it. Cause this, I've, been in his, I've been in his bathroom. I know how he does it. It's, it's you know the those same clips muscle, that you put though. on a chip bag? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's not about my dick clip. He ain't he using just, a, a muscle rubber band. Ball. He's <laughs> using physical <laughs> interference. <laughs> Look at Jam's a chopstick up there. Can you hold no! on my piss while you shit? <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little plastic clip that says a snack for later. I just clamp it on. Dude, uh. <laughs> War in uh, the year five or ninety one when we have no natural resources left. I'm gonna put seven chickpeas in my penis this time to shoot at them. Because <laughs> they're, they're, that's not what they are <laughs> substituting guns with. Is they're putting hot objects in their urethra and then shooting them out. I right, think that I did this for you. Wouldn't it be easier to throw a rock? <laughs> yeah, for real. Oh. You can throw the chickpea better. Yeah. Wait, yeah, true. Oh, but then how are you gonna like you don't have a lot of ammunition? I'm traveling down the road and I'm squirting with disaster. <laughs> got my, got my finger up my bum and my wrist is moving faster. <laughs> got, got, my, got my denim on the floor and someone comes a knocking. Please don't open the door. I'm still stroking my cock and do do do. Squirting with disaster, babe. Y'all don't know what I mean. Do 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 do. When? Okay, that's all I got. But I think they went longer than expected. That was crazy. Dang. Yeah, yeah. Dang. That, you didn't have that written down? No, it just it came to me in a dream. Do you ever, like, is, I swear to you, it's an honest question. I'm not trying to be gross, so please don't laugh at okay, me. Okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay. Did you guys ride the school bus uh, when you were what? in no, school? No. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. seems normal so far. Should I just grab this When thing? you were in, like, the 10th grade, yeah, you get did you get, uh, like, regular boners on the school bus just due to the vibration 100%. of the bus? 100%. No. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. There's something so about the frequency 100%. of the bus, and then you're like half sleepy because you yes, just finished the school you're day. Half sleepy, yes. And you then I notice it's like only the two Canadian guys. Or you lived in Philadelphia at this time. I was American. And then, <laughs> like, you'd be like, "Oh fuck!" It's like my house is coming up soon, so you'd have to flex your legs to get all the blood out of your penis Dude, and I, into I, your I, legs. I didn't, I didn't know that was a thing. I was just talking about this the other day. I, I learned. Uh, oh about Jesus that. Christ! You're, there's a bracken, there's a bracken there. Oh, oh it's a beautiful. Oh, 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 Where's this oh, chair? Oh, I learned about that too late. I used to have to do the, the old belt buckle. Oh, you used to flip your shit up? to get off the bus? Yeah. That's this, like, this one, <laughs> that's one, like, uh, away, short yeah. t-shirt oh, away from yeah, we, we were in you style, becoming man. the main I character know. for a day. <laughs> I know, man. I used to have to stick it behind my waistband. Holy cow, man, I wouldn't. Are you, are you not jumping? You're not making the jump with me? Fuck it. We ball. I said, fuck it, we ball. It's a dead end, bro. Worst map generation in human history?
found nothing but a key. Guys, there's a nutcracker. There's gotta be there's a nutcracker. Apparently. Can you hear me? There's a nutcracker. Hello? Hello? Oh, that's not a good noise. Brian? Chibli? Chibli? Who is the shovel? It's not me. This bitch. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? I was laughing so much in chance that he's zerking his shit. Thank you. Oh die. my god. I might die. Go, 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 <laughs> Please. <laughs> You alright? I'm okay. Ah, wow! Uh, I mean... Ah! They dead? They yeah, were alive? They're all... Hello? Hello? Uh, <laughs> Where are you at, bro? I'm, I'm on top of the ship. Are you one-tapped? Uh, almost, yeah. One second. Let me take a look at... The corpses. <laughs> Chibli definitely appears to be dead. Apollo's still alive, man. He's he's still chilling. The bee who, who brought the bees on the ship, man? That would be Justin and Corey. <laughs> Hopefully Apollo doesn't get smoked immediately as soon as he tries to enter the ship. Oh my god, should make the go, go, go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The bees get him? <laughs> I thought I was trying to send a message to Apollo that there were bees on the ship. <laughs> I don't think Apollo's getting out of this. Bees on the ship. Bees on He's the ship. He's got the fuck man stalking him. I think we're gonna have to Oh no. Do not go in sin. No, don't do you it. You guys sin. need to call for the ship to leave. Vote for the ship to <laughs> when it takes off. Okay, I I heard that. He's gonna Ow. make it. He's now gonna make it. Oh, time. Oh, so the bracket. Oh no, Sid. No. Oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, well, I got him out of the ship. Oh, shucks. He's gonna come down, come back to five corpses in the ship. I no, there are like, definitely happened? bees that are still in that ship. Yeah, I can see him in the entrance right now. <laughs> oh, wait. Did no, they go back to the dude. hive? Oh no! No! Oh, no! Who did this? Who did this? Who did this? Don't fucking snitch on me! Vote to take off! Vote to take off! He's on it! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, good call. Everyone hold your right hand. What the heck? That's what I was telling you guys to do. I did it, Sin. I did it. Oh yeah, leave, leave, leave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man. That's so funny. Who grabbed the knife? I was being the asshole by making everyone wait. I don't know, man. Oh my god. But the bees were acting weird, okay? Jesus Christ. They were acting real weird. <laughs> but now I'm meant to put the hive in the, oh. in the I ship. I thought everyone was on the ship, so I was yelling, go, 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 What's go. I got? But Apollo oh, wasn't there, man. so everyone just stood there and died. <laughs> oh, that for a tattered metal sheet, dude. Are you kidding me? Wow, rocky landing, dude. Because no, it is flooded, I'm going so to... Inverse teleport. Who wants to take the first? Uh... Oh, good idea. Oh, wait, wait, we have an inverse. Oh, hell yeah! Everyone on. Send it. I ain't inversing into this fucker. Good luck in there, gamers. I got the presidential suite, bro. Ryan. Chibli. Where are you? Follow the sound of my voice. I'm close to the entrance, actually. Say again. Say again. Hi. 
Say again. I don't have a stereo audio, dude. Oh. Are you alive? Are you alive? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't believe he got doubled, man. <laughs> Am I okay even though it's flooded? Titan! He's going in with me. Titan! Oh, are you going reverse telly? I'll you do betcha. it. I'll do one. Launch me up, bro. You betcha. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Great spawn point. Mansion, more like man, shit sucks. <laughs> oh, 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 you fucker, you stupid bitch, you stupid motherfucker, you think you're so funny, ass, big ass loser. <laughs> you know, I just saw you just disappear to the darkness. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I don't know what the he thought I was just chilling in there. Yeah, there's no a piece. The toilet? No, oh, this is a loser. Oh, fuck! He jumped! What is he doing? Why is he just he's looking? Not, he's moving. Oh, son of a bitch. He doesn't know where I went. He knows where I went. <laughs> oh, he's zooming now! It's okay. It's okay, we got this. We're good. Come on! You don't want to go in there. Why? What's up? What's in there? Oh! Ah! Do we get a shovel? They're gonna fucking kill me, bro. They're gonna come back in here and beat my ass to death. <laughs> no loot all alone. Going over the same real estate over and over. Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> Get his ass. Get his ass. Bro, it's actually fucked. Why do they make the mask? It's so bad. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's holding his dick. He is. He yes. better. Oh, what man. a prick. Uh, was it? Was it? Well, that fucking oh, sucked, there's dog, bro. The there's not even any other hard. enemies to spectate. Come Never mind. Whoa! <laughs> What you get for killing my I ass? I want it. What is that noise? Wow. That's the door. 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 I got up now. Oh no. Uh, why was that so funny, dude? Oh, yeah, he got his flashlight. Oh, get the teeth. Get the teeth. What are you doing? I didn't, I didn't know he had teeth. 
Oh, oh, man. $73. Oh, Who was dude. that? Uh, that was a follow. <laughs> don't see the team. Yeah. Oh, and then he fucking tries to do this oh, bullshit, tries to gaslight me Bernie. when I say he's mean to oh. me. He goes, I'm never mad at Cory. Is he going to kill it? This would be insane. You can't kill him. Lucky. <laughs> what? What inspired you to talk when there was a dog right there? You locked that one in there, with you? Oh. <laughs> I just locked in there with him. I think Corey should just leave. Look at the other dog going up and down. What was that? Who's the dude with the briefcase with the ghillie suit on? Uh, it sounds like you're talking about the X Files. No, nah, no, nah. he was there when JFK got got. JFK was the guy that got shot in the head, right? Oh no! I can kill him! I can, I can kill him! Talk to me, Chibli. Talk to me. I'm gonna fucking take this guy down. I got the briefcase now, motherfucker. Where are you? Is he in this room? Oh. No, 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 that's me, that's me. <laughs> I need you to get on that coil head, dude. Okay, I got him, I got him. I have a job. You're not on it, man! <laughs> Bro, send me a world's slowest come message. Come get it! What do you mean, come get it? I got him, I got him. No, you did not! Bro, what do you want me to do? He won't turn around. Look at him. I'm looking at him. Oh, that's my shadow. Hey, where'd the nutcracker go? Um. I miss you. <laughs> I don't really. Um, I, I don't really know what to do, brother. I look away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't mean like that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's two of them, huh? <laughs> that shit's so funny, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, look at all the loot Justin's getting. Ooh, oh, wait, I'm spectating so girl. I'm worried the coil heads are <laughs> screaming at him at Girl, yeah. There's a ghost who's sitting outside of the, of the ship. Oh, yeah, there they are. <laughs> he found them. Hmm. Oh. I can't see you, though. Sorry, Ryan, I killed you. Dude, it was so funny. I didn't think he was aggroed on me. I didn't think so either. He's looking at me. Nutcracker moves quick, dude. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't mess around. Man, Justin's kind of crazy. What uh, cologne do you wear, Ryan? Uh... I don't wear cologne. What perfume do you wear? Oh, yeah, there's so many mines. <laughs> oh, Lord. I, okay. uh, I wear the Oh, my God, how did I not hit that mine? Or that one? Okay. You should ask Mouth. He's it. Is that three? <laughs> Fucking executed your ass. Went to Apollo, tell him to come back. Just, oh, I guess oh. pick up his body. That'll tell oh, him. Oh man. They put uh -oh. a pillowcase over your eyes and then shot you in the head. <laughs> what? Fuck you! I'm haunted already. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, he sucks at not getting haunted, bro. Answers my 
you know. <clears throat> They're more scared of you than you are of them. Holy fuck. Anyone else hear a little girl say hide when I was in there? And then the thing came around the corner like a going 50 miles an hour. What the hell is that, bro? Bro, am I haunted? Am I haunted? I turned around and saw her though. Am I haunted? I'm haunted. Am I haunted? I heard a little girl say hi. I found a ton of shit. Bro, I'm haunted too! You can't be not haunted. Dude, not you haunted. did not hear what I heard. It's the mask. I, I just Ryan. laughed. Ryan. The mask. If you come, yeah, it's gotta be the mask. Oh, Ryan, if you come God. look out the back right now, do you see a little girl right there? No. Yeah, you're not you're I'm, I'm, I'm also hearing her go. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, all I'm gonna say is that I was in the darkness and I heard a little girl go, hide. And then a second later, a thumper <laughs> jumped out of a door and started running straight at me. I did the most miraculous jump of my life in pure darkness to land on a beam and get across the, the gap. Wait, wait, clap, clap, clap with a flashlight, right? Clap with a flashlight? Uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get one. I did. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh no, this is terrible. Because if I do it from back here, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, and then Justin hits the gritty on me. Justin hit the gritty what on me. What a bunch of shit. Oh, look at the look at the first person's perspective as well on the monitor behind. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Dude's rock, bro. <laughs> so true. So true. Oh man, he was tying my shoes. He'll carry everything. It would be so funny Dad. to be able to put a bomb in your own head in this game and then just randomly blow yourself up in front of people. That would be cool. Dude, that would go crazy. Can you imagine if you're like, oh, we finally made it? You heard it, chat. Make Every the mod. should have that. Oh man. Someone will mod it. They should add weed to this dude. They gotta put this drugs. This what do they do? This drugs. Really? You can get high. I mean, that is true. You can get high. Have you not gotten high yet? Can we buy any? Brian? No, I've never been high in this game. Let me guess. You have to hit the bell 20 times. It's the T something inhaler. Yeah. Okay, I'm buying Ryan one. Anyone want to come watch? I'm gonna I'm gonna smoke it right next to the the Where thing. Trip sitting the guy from next door. I was hoping they would watch. It was gonna tie into the suicide bid. He killed himself? <laughs> Are you kidding me? He's dead. Wow. Did he get landed on? Oh, Did the drugs? He, he For fuck's sake, drugs. man. Dr drugs never pay. Can't bring this I'm guy gonna smoke anywhere. his drugs, dude. Okay, we'll wa we'll watch. Oh, we'll look after you, Ryan. Dude. Don't even worry, dude. He's, he's doing it, bro. He's doing it. Oh, he's we'll doing trip it. shit you, man. One. No, Ryan, don't hold it in. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, like a dude, rip. I'm gone. Whole <laughs> rip. Wait, why is he taking different? all his clothes off? Yeah, he doesn't sound any different. Why does he sound any oh. different? Ryan, how many fingers am I holding up? Holy, I know, dude. I think I took too much. Oh, maybe. Oh, he's, he's gone. He can't hear us. <laughs> maybe we sound different to him. Yeah. They can't hear me. I'm lo I'm, uh, I'm locked in my no, own brain again. Oh. oh. We hear you. I became like a little man piloting myself there for a second. <sighs> He's oh, he's cute. doing it again. Oh, oh, don't look at me. Bro. He's already he addicted. Loves he loves it, dude. Can't stop him. He likes it. I'm gonna smoke he's myself. He's back and forth. He's not even talking anymore. He's still hitting it, dude. I know. <laughs> I think it's empty. He just It's like his pacifier now. Open the damn door, bro. He's a little, Let me at him. He's a little big. <laughs> it's the effect. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm dipping my potatoes Man, in Vicodin like Mark Watney. You still hitting it, bro? This shit don't fucking work, bro. It's empty, man. Already. <laughs> he got, he fucking, he's got the tolerance already, oh, there man. He goes. He's already gone. Oh, it's Stormy, huh? Oh, from the guys. Mm hmm. Glad I didn't look at Jumbo. Oh. Woo. What should I say when I come back? I want to smoke the shit that made Steve Urkel? No? Where's the thumper at? Okay. Here's what you get. Thumper. You. You. I'm smoking on the shit that made Tom Cruise. Hello? Hello. Hello. I want to smoke the shit that made Niels Armstrong. I'm back! Was it worth it, Ryan? Was it hey. worth it? God the struck me day. down because I was smoking the was... shit that made Niels Armstrong. <laughs> He's been thinking about that joke for like the past this eight guy minutes. This fucking, yeah, this guy in his fucking arms, man. What the hell? It feels good to rehearse it and still get it off. I did see that Christopher Nolan's uh, favorite Peloton instructor did roast one of his movies. They said, and I quote, that's two hours of my life, I won't get back. Um, I was on my Peloton doing a, a high interval of some shit, gasping, <laughs> and dying, and the instructor said, started talking about one of my films and said, has anyone else seen this? Because that's a couple of hours of my life, I'll never get back again. <laughs> 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 when Rex Reed takes a shit on your film, he doesn't ask you to work out <laughs> So It's a very funny news story. Um And that's what that's really all there is to it. I don't I don't have like a whole wealth of content to glean from that. All I say this as someone who's in an industry that's sort of like tangential to um a Peloton instructor. I'm not, I wouldn't call myself like a tangential to a film director. It's kind of a different sort of thing. But it's, it's not that dissimilar to a Peloton instructor. So I have to, if anyone's getting on the Peloton instructor's case, I just have to say that they have the right to, uh, to their opinions on media, you know? They should be able to, you know, you're on the bike for 30 minutes. They can't just say, oh, cadence, 80, resistance, uh, you know, 35 to 40, they gotta, they gotta talk about little, uh, you know, little banter holes now and then. i do the same. Like, I'd be a, a annoyed if, like, a director watched my content and I talked about their movie and said I didn't like it, and then he, like, the director got on me on Twitter and was like, what do you mean you don't like it? It's like, bro, I'm literally just talking right now. I should have diplomatic immunity. I'm not a film critic, I'm just a guy. What, people aren't allowed to, like, not like your movies? I think it's yap immunity. If you're a movie critic, or the other, you shouldn't be responding to movie critics and being like, no, actually, you're wrong, the movie's good. But like, at least that's kind of like, the, but they're the opposing forces in the arena. I'm literally just a dude in the stands and I'm like, I'm rooting for the lads in the blue shirts. What if a Peloton instructor said he didn't like your Isaac episodes? It, I, I know you're gonna hit me with a, a sure on this one. It would roll off of me like water off of a duck's back. It's part of the part of the business. Now, if he came into chat and said, um, "Hey, I don't like your Isaac episodes," I would I would ban him because that's just spreading hate for no reason. And as somebody that's in the industry, they should know better than to go to someone else's stadium and go, uh, "Hey, I don't like this." It's the same way like I would never go to a studio ride for Peloton and be like, you know, "Hey." Uh, Christine, I don't like your rides. You know, that's her home turf. Did you see Jen Sherman dissing Chris Nolan? Wait a minute. Are you, th this is an extra wrinkle because we did talk about it. Are you telling me that Christopher Nolan's favorite Peloton instructor is Jen Sherman? What the fuck was going on in that movie? Do you understand? Seriously, you need to be a neuroscientist to understand. And that's two and a half hours of my life that I want back. I want it back. That in and of itself is like, I'm not trying to be a hater, I'm just yapping. But that calls into question, you know what it is? 
He's really good at making movies. He doesn't have the best choice in Peloton instructors. He's very smart in one domain and a normie in all the other ones. That's completely fair. I knew there were Jen Sherman fans out there, but uh, I, I wouldn't have expected necessarily Chris Nolan to be one of them. The Shermanator. She does, if you called her the Shermanator, she would cancel the ride. She would stop pedaling and call your ass out. See, given what we've talked about already, someone in chat has asked multiple times, do you know the movie Wolf from 1994? Please tell me you're not the director of Wolf, okay? Because we just went over this. You shouldn't be going into people's chats, picking fights with them just based on their opinion of the movie, okay? Maybe they loved it, maybe they hated it, maybe they don't get it. But you, you made the piece of art and now the art, it partly belongs to you and it partly belongs to society, okay? You can't be its steward for the rest of your life. You make it, you put it out into the world, and then you see what happens. Anyway, I've never, I've never seen it, I think. I don't know if I've ever heard of it. Paprika's the dog from Blue's Clues? Listen, motherfucker, now you're talking about anime I know well, so you better come correct. Blue is the dog from Blue's Clues, my man. OMG, he knows. My kid doesn't really watch Blue's Clues, but it comes on the TV sometimes. She's really in the number blocks right now. Big ups to uh, the British Broadcasting Corporation. Same, we watch a lot of number blocks. Number blocks feels like it's, it's TV. I don't feel bad about my kid watching. Because literally every episode of number blocks like teaches you how to do math through a story. There's a, there's a character for like one through 20. And it has taught my kid more about numbers than I have in like three years of her life. Like the, the other day, she was just like, Dad, can we be number blocks? And I said, what number should I be? And she said, you should be 40 or 60. And I went, when did we, when did they get introduced into the ecosystem? We were, we were doing 1 through 20. Now all of a sudden, she's like, you should be 40 or 60. Then sometimes I'm like, can you count from 50? She usually goes 50, 51, 52, et cetera, et cetera. Then after 59, she says 100. I'm like, I'm still pretty impressed. She's, she's almost got the pattern. Toddler improv is so exhausting, though. We've talked about it a lot. Hello, Jay, by the way. Hello. But, like, honestly, like, it's the, the hardest part about spending time with my child. Most of the time, you know, it's, it's exhausting, but it's joyful, you know, and you're, it's rewarding, obviously. You're, she's learning stuff. I'm learning stuff about her. I'm learning stuff about myself. But like the improv is, is so exhausting because they do not yes end. Like my kid will say like, hey, let's play number blocks. And I'm like, all right, what do we do to play number blocks? And then she's like, you just pretend to be a number block. And I'm like, I don't even know what that means. So I go, okay, I'm number six. And she goes, no, you can't be number six. Like number six is a girl. And I'm like, listen, we'll deal with that whole issue later what number is a boy and she's like number four is a boy i'm like okay i'm number four and then i'm just walking around going like you know i'm number four i'm number four and then she's like no number four doesn't sound like that and i'm like how does number four sound and she's like he doesn't talk and i'm like well, what are we what do i what am i supposed to do because like we got three hours of this i'd like to get some momentum it doesn't make any sense man I'm like, can't we just play, like, can't we just make a tower or something? Can't we just stack some blocks or play? I'm like begging. Can we play with the lunchbox set? Can we play with the lunchbox set? I don't want to play with the lunchbox set. You be number four, but don't talk like that. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm looking at the clock. It's like three minutes before I started playing. I'm like, how does this work? We got time dilation. There's another game she likes to play. It's, uh... It's called camping. How does camping work? She lays down on uh, my bed, the bed that I share with my wife, and then she cuddles up under the covers. Sometimes, you know, I've been awake for 12, 13 hours at this point. I'm a little tired. I might like to get in my bed that I paid for, the sheets that I paid for, in the house that I pay for. And then I lay down in the bed and she says, no, you're not allowed to camp here. Go to your apartment. And I'm like, what's my apartment? And she says, my playroom. And I'm like, okay. So I'm sitting on like a chair designed for a three-year-old. Like my spine is like. <coughs> and then she'll run into that room and be like, where are you? And I'm like, you told me to come here, lady. 
And then she's like, no, give me a case. And I'm like, I don't even understand what we're doing anymore. A case? Then I find out apparently there's an episode of the number blocks where like one of the numbers is a private detective. And uh, number nine is like, someone broke into my house and stole all my furniture. Oh, fuck. And then, um, so they, they get the suspects. Uh, is, is a two block wide number block that's shorter than me. So they figure out, like, um, it must be number six. So then they go to number six's apartment, and uh, all of number nine's furniture is there. And he's like, arrest that thief! And then they realize, actually, number nine is an idiot. He dropped off his own furniture in number six's apartment because he thought it was a number nine, but upside down. So we're supposed to, apparently, like, just repeat that episode that I haven't even really seen out loud together forever, forever, hours and hours and hours consecutively. And if you ever try to deviate it at all, it's back to square one. No, they did not execute number nine. Well, I don't know. I've only seen 300 episodes. Maybe later they do because the episodes are 91 seconds long each. It's the only British show. Oh, yeah, smart idea. <laughs> I'm so washed. <laughs> it's the only British show ever that has more than six episodes per season, and it has a million. She's learning British math, though. There, there is that. I'm just glad she hasn't learned British English, though. Like, I, she hasn't watched any Alpha Blocks. Because if she starts saying A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, like, that's the end of iPad time, I'll tell you that much. It's probably the way your granddad felt when he, you came over wearing one of those Dragon Ball Z shirts. My niece says I can't, like Peppa Pig and everything else like a normal American. I've been blessed to not have my child pick up the Peppa Pig accent. Which, I'm like, I'm inviting uh, that into my life. Because I read the books. Like, we have Peppa Pig books, we have Bluey books, etc., etc. I read those in the accent of the native country that they come from. Because I think that's only respectful. So I do read the Peppa Pig books with a British accent. And I read the, um, the Bluey books in a New Zealand accent. Now, you might be saying Bluey is from Australia. That's true, but I only found that out after I'd read them in the New Zealand accent like 30 times. So I can't go to an Australian accent now or my kid is gonna be like, what's going on? Like this isn't right. Posture check, pretty good, honestly. My, um, my back is against the back of my chair. I do have my legs crossed, but my right foot is, uh, is on the floor, um, both toe and heel. Legs crossed, you lost. What is this, it's like a, I'm getting bullied like I'm on the playground. I said this, I think I said it in a, in a sap video, I can't remember. I'm here to tell you, you can cross your legs. If you're a man, you can cross your legs, okay? The, the genesis of this is like when you're a kid, you have to learn from those around you, you know? You look at older people in your life as an authority. You're like, they've been here longer, they got it figured out. You look at how, you know, boomer men sit, it's always like, legs spread wide open, elbows on quads, hand in the chin in their hand, like that. I thought that was how men sit. So, you know, I endeavored to sit like that when I first became a, a young man myself. Now, I'm older. I'm, I, I can be part of the change that I want to see in the world. I'm no longer fighting my body's natural impulse to cross my legs. I'm a man. I got fans. I got a job. I got a kid. I'm a, I'm, I'm a man. I'm 40. Strong men can also cross their legs. My peanuts don't fit. Well, I don't have that problem. But I don't think that your peanuts don't fit, okay? I think that you are signaling. You're trying to be like, well, actually, I have a large penis. Ha ha ha. Nobody cares, bro. 
It's 2024, okay? Small dicks are cool. They're actually cooler than big dicks, probably. Right, guys? Right? Who's with me? <laughs> Who's with me? Nobody. Nobody said anything. Fuck. I just want you to know I actually have a huge penis. I would just want her to be an ally to all the small dick dudes out there. My dick is big. It's actually too big. It's a problem. That's why I cross my legs. If I cut off some of the blood flow, I might be able to lose a couple inches off the end. I, I'm just going to say it. My, me personally, again, you know I'm 90s maxing. Fruit is a solved game. In the 2000s, there were probably still fruits being discovered um, that are taste good and have a place in the average daily diet. We found them all at this point. Anytime that I'm at the grocery store and they're like, it's a new fruit, I'm like, no, no, we found, I'm sorry, we found them all. You made a pomelo, I love that for you, but the rambutans, the mango steens, all that stuff. I try it once and I go, that's interesting. I will never purchase it again. And then um, I just go with apples, bananas, oranges, mangoes, pears. When did the mango come out? Because that was like one of the most, maybe the most recent significant patch to fruit that has happened in my lifetime. I know they've been around like worldwide for a long time, but... I feel like they only started getting introduced where I lived in like maybe 2001. 2008 in Ontario. I told you the story, right? I used the first job I ever had. I worked with a guy who went to school in Singapore. And one day at lunch, he was eating a fruit I'd never seen before. And I was like, whoa, what is that? And he's like, Oh, it's a mango. I used to eat them all the time in Singapore. Do you want a piece? And he was, it, it was like Boo Radley style. Like he was eating it off of the back of a knife that he was slicing it with while he was eating lunch. And I said, sure, I'll try a slice. So he cuts me off like a slice, like backwards. And then he holds out the knife to me and I ate that shit off the blade. Like when he like pulled my chin up and my eyes were like, It was the sweetest fruit I'd ever tasted in my entire life. It was a, a, a moment of awakening for me. I did not say thank you, daddy. I probably went, no, that's pretty good. Bro, that fruit's legit. <laughs> but that was like the, I think it's the last time I've ever eaten like a, a fruit that was new to me and been like, oh, I'm gonna eat this like as much as I can. Did I ever tell you about the time um, we came back from to our university house from winter break and uh, whoever was last out of the house forgot to put the garbage out? Yikes. It was probably me. I can't say with certainty it was me, but that sounds like something that maybe I would do. Anyway, so we came back, you know, after like a week and a half, two weeks away, and the garbage can was infested with um, all stages of insect life. Live insects like adult insects uh maggots slugs eggs etc etc so we said well we got to handle this um my housemate came down you know in into the garbage can like we took the bag out bagged it up in the garbage can there was still a, just a ton of like it was like a terrarium in there um my housemate came down with like a bunch of household cleaners it's regular Steven, thank you! And uh, he poured like one of the cleaners into the garbage can to kill the bugs. And then he started to uncork the bleach. And I was like, buddy, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, I'm just going to pour like all of them into the garbage can. I'm going for it, man. Uh, just to make sure they're dead. And I'm like, you're going to create mustard gas. And he said, no, no, no. And I said, no, 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 that's how you do it, is you just combine like every household cleaner. And he said, oh, okay, I didn't know. And that's the story of how I saved all of our lives. Also, what's crazy? A lot of people will hear that story and be like, that kid was dumb. He's actually not. He's like one of the smartest guys I've ever met in my entire life. Now, the scary part is that 
he was an engineer. <laughs> so he probably should have learned this at some point. But this should, I think it's a stupid response to that story to be like, he's dumb, that would never happen to me. The, the smart response to that story is that everybody has blind spots and that's why you need checklists and fail safes and like other people to check your work and stuff like that. Like the billionaires in the sub? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I think that it's dangerous to be too smart without being the smartest person that's ever lived. Like, I, I think there's like, it's, if you'll allow me to use my education here, I think it's a bit like a Punnett square, okay? And one axis is like smart dumb, and the other axis is smart dumb. Being 100% smart is great, full stop. Being 100% dumb is really bad because you're not smart and you're probably too dumb to trust the smart people. Now the other two corners are where it gets tricky. I think it's good to be dumb smart. That's where I would put myself to be. I don't think I'm that intelligent necessarily. You could argue maybe verbal intelligence, sure. I'm not trying to insult myself. I'm just saying academically, I'm not that smart. Maybe I have good reasoning and self-awareness, but like, okay, you can keep the compliments coming. But I think I'm dumb smart. I'm dumb, but I'm smart enough to trust the people who are actually smart. That's like a, a light win, in my opinion. Probably not as good as being smart smart, but smart dumb is the danger zone. That's where you're smart, smarter than the average person, but too dumb to realize that that intelligence doesn't extend to every domain in the world. That's the scary part where you're like, I'm a good chemical engineer, so I'm like a better driver than the average person. I'm a better chef than the average person. I'm better at building a Titanic exploring submarine than the average person. I think that's where you get yourself into trouble. At some point in your life, I think it would behoove you to figure out whether you're smart, smart, in which case keep on keeping on, smart, dumb, which is, I think, the danger zone, or dumb smart. Now, if you're dumb dumb, I don't really know what to do with that, okay? That's something that's between you and, and God, all right? But I think there's a lot of people out there who are smart dumb, who would be doing a lot better if they gave themselves over to dumb smart. Gus Fring was smart smart, okay, true. Walter White was smart dumb, very true. Jesse Pinkman was dumb smart. Okay, I gotta think about that one. Jesse Pinkman was dumb smart. By the end, maybe Jesse Pinkman was dumb smart. By the way, you are... I think you're smart smart for putting this into a Breaking Bad political compass so that it's more digestible by those of us out here who are either dumb dumb or dumb smart. So I'm elevating you to smart smart from whatever category you were previously in. Marie was smart smart? Mar Hank's wife? How smart could she be, bro? She was stealing all those little spoons. She was dumb, dumb. I don't think she's dumb, dumb. I don't think she does anything where I would be like, like, try, who's who's dumb, dumb? I feel like Tuco, not Tuco Salamanca. No, no, no. Yeah, I feel like Tuco Salamanca is kind of dumb, dumb. He was he was reckless, but he thought that he was a legend. No, that's that's smart, dumb. I'm too dumb, smart to. Keep my damn metaphor straight. <laughs> anyway, I think we got to... We got to where we were trying to get... The metaphor kind of fell apart a little bit, but... I think about that all the time. You know what really makes me think about that? Apologies, it's, it's self-caricature, but it's the, it's the truth. I think about that on Disney cruises all the time, whenever there's a line for something. And then people start to say things like, Why would they do it like this? They should really just do it like this instead. And I'm like, really? You think like you've literally been here for a minute and these people have been in the business for 30 years and you think you've solved all their problems. Like you don't think they considered the variables that are presenting themselves. You think they were just like, let's do it in the dumbest way possible. But then they whip themselves into a frenzy. You get too many smart dumbs around each other. They're like, I know that's what I've been saying. 
Two idiots can have the same opinion. It happens all the time, bro. I'm sure if you actually brought it up to the staff, well, the staff would probably be like, yes, sir, we're sorry, we'll consider it. But in like the back rooms, Monka S, they'll be like, yeah, another day, another person told me how to like reinvent the process that we've reinvented a thousand times into the most optimized form. Explain airline seating then. What's the problem with airline seating? I don't know. I always hear people say like they should board the plane front to back. And I'm like, that's what we do. Like, when was the last time you were on an airplane, bro? They do front to back on the plane? No, they do first class military people with small children. And then in economy, they do back to front. They do front to back. You guys got to fly with Air Canada. Star Alliance is uh, number one North American carrier for 11 years running. Also, I know this is kind of, it flies, uh, pun unintended, unfortunately, in the face of the way that I normally talk. But, you know, take it from an, an old head. A number of things while flying, could it be done better? Or not even better, but like more efficiently? Probably. But at the end of the day, the number one thing that would probably benefit most passengers when air traveling is just chilling the fuck out a little bit. Like... It's always, there's gonna be elements of it that always suck, okay? You got 200 people that are basically all getting on a bus with five suitcases each. Like, there's gonna, you're gonna bump into people, there's gonna be friction, there's gonna be a limited amount of space. You can't control the processes of the airline. All you can control to some extent is like your blood pressure during the the process like you're gonna arrive probably within 10 or 15 minutes of the time that it says on the ticket you're all gonna get there at the same time you're gonna get to your hotel just chill out like do a little goose fraba i know it's like the, there's the impulse right it's like because i feel it myself but but it should be like this it should really be like this instead we could all save three minutes total it's okay you know you, you're right but you're only punishing yourself you know you're, you're driving yourself into an early grave um, by, by your discontentment, you know? And you're probably... Listen, we all know, you get to the gate, you spot somebody, you're like, this person's gonna be the most annoying person on the flight. We all know that 98% of the people on the flight zero in on that person immediately. You're like, this is the squeaky wheel. I'm gonna stay away. Me looking at a baby. Me looking at the dude with enormous over-the-ear noise-canceling headphones and a Neon Genesis Evangelion shirt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Two can play that game as long as we're going to get into personal attacks. But apart from the one person or like the one family who's causing all the problems, everybody is annoying everybody else. The people who are annoying you are also being annoyed by you. And I know you're like, no, no, no. I'm like self-aware and I stay out of people's way. I like to think that too, but I think it's a little naive, you know? Like when I'm in a hurry and I'm walking and someone doesn't shoulder check and they kind of bump into me while I'm moving by, in my head, I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. And then they're like, oh, sorry. And I'm like, yeah, you better be sorry. Sorry, like you exist and got in my way. But then whenever I'm walking uh, leisurely and someone's like rushing by me and they bump into me, I'm like, oh, sorry. But then I'm like, what's the hurry, Turbo? We're, all, we're both going to the same gate. Like, what do you... Ru rush there as fast as possible, like, just to get in line? What are we doing? Like, no matter what, I'm always the good guy. <laughs> At least in the moment. Later, I'm like, okay, maybe that's my fault. That's healthy, though? No, I know, but that's why I'm saying, instead of being like, everybody on this flight is annoying, and it's the airline's fault, you should just recognize that anytime you come in contact with a large group of other people, especially with strangers... You know, you, you don't have like the, the, the rapport with them that you have with your friends where you cut them a little bit of slack. Instead, we don't want to fight the boss right away. You, would, you assume the worst in them. You know, it would always, in almost every situation, it would behoove most of us to just chill out a little bit. Easier said than done, but people do, I mean, they sometimes lose their entire sense of, what? Explosivo. <laughs> It's the name of uh, the song, Explosivo. Don't know what it's about, but it's good to go. I remember I was on a flight one time, and an old man pulled out his electric razor in the, his seat and started shaving, which is just, to me, is insanity. 
Like, even if it's got one of those hair catchers, man, the hair is getting fucking everywhere. Like, that's psychotic. Or, like, clipping your toenails while you're on the flight, that's crazy, too. What about the guy who cooks in the airplane bathroom? No, I, I'm, I say this without a hint of irony. The dude who's doing the cooking in the airplane bathroom on TikTok, he shouldn't go to prison, but he should be banned from flying on any airline, uh, any airline for the rest of his life. Like, it's kind of funny, but at the same time, I'm like, bro, I gotta, I gotta piss. <laughs> like, I could, could you just do your TikTok content someplace else? Like, I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta do in the bathroom, like, what I'm designed to do in the bathroom. Or what the bathroom's designed for me to do in the bathroom. Put them in the luggage hold? I mean, that shit is just crazy. Now, the one of the, the video of the dude smoking a bowl and chugging a beer and then releasing the smoke from the bowl and then the it the zooms out and reveals that he's in one of those like ikea uh prefab rooms inside of the store that's cool as hell he probably should be banned from ikea by the corporation but like the, he's not in my opinion at least he's not harming anybody societally speaking check it out dab and granny i'm gonna try and do this fucking grab People will be like, oh, like I have my kid here. Like your kid is 15 years old. They're seeing worse than that. And they're going to be like in undergrad in two years anyway. Like I wouldn't worry about it too much. He should cook in the Ikea kitchen. Yeah. Now, see? And people give King Solomon a bad name. I like... I talked about it a lot before, but it, it genuinely pisses me off. Those videos of like... Someone in their seat will take a video and be like, the people beside me are having sex right now, or the people in the row behind me are having sex. That shit pisses me off. People always assume it's like, oh, you're jealous? I'm like, no, I'm not jealous. It's just fucking weird ass behavior. You've made me part of your sex, and I'm just like going to work right now, <laughs> or like I'm going to see like my family. Like, just, I, I'm not even going to say you have to do it when you get home. Like, I'm not saying, like, hide that behind closed doors. But, like, don't make me a part of it, man. And also, if you're going to be stealthy when you do it, be so stealthy that I don't know clearly that you're doing it. Because it's, like, one of the most annoying feelings, and it's something I got to search within myself to figure out why it bothers me so much, is when someone thinks they're getting away with something by being sneaky, and they're like obviously not sneaky at all. The reason that people aren't busting them is mostly because they're just embarrassed rather than like, you know, oh, we don't see what's happening. Like everybody sees what's happening. They just don't want to be the person that has to come up to like two middle aged weirdos and be like, can you not have sex in row J or whatever? It's like when if you're like 17 and you're drinking alcohol at the movie theater. Nobody's busting you. It's not because, like, you're sneaky. Because you're not sneaky. The bottles are clanging around. You're, like, laughing inappropriately. And then your friend is going, shh, 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 shh. It's just because nobody cares, man. So just, like, enjoy yourself. Most of the adults in the theater are drunk, too. They're just, you know, <laughs> they're holding their shit together. <laughs> I don't know if, like, the, the people that are into that, if part of it for them is that they're, like, you know, like, oh, other people are going to be offended by this. Like, this is taboo. It's like, it's not really taboo. Anyone could just whip it out and start going to town whenever. Like, you know what it is? I sort of, when I see, and I've never seen it in real life, but when I see two adults 
who are clearly like intoxicated in a viral video entering the Mile High Club thinking nobody can see them. That's the same way I think I would feel if a dude just whipped out his penis and started masturbating in public. Like for some reason, for a subset of the population, like one of them is like, ooh, that's like sneaky and like a little cool. And the other one is like, put this freak on the sex offenders registry. And I'm like, nah, man, put all three of them on the sex offenders registry. <laughs> They're, they're all three of them are fucking weirdos, bro. Get them all out of here. And take the people off the registry who were just urinating in public. That's not the spirit of the law. It doesn't make sense. Explain airline seating then. What's the problem with airline seating? I don't know. I always hear people say like they should board the plane front to back. And I'm like, that's what we do. Like when was the last time you were on an airplane, bro? They do front to back on the plane? No, they do first class military people with small children and then in economy they do back to front. They do front to back. You guys got to fly with Air Canada. Star Alliance is uh, number one North American carrier for 11 years running. Also, I know this is kind of, it flies, uh, pun unintended unfortunately, in the face of the way that I normally talk. But, you know, take it from an, an old head. A number of things while flying, could it be done better? Or not even better, but like more efficiently? Probably. But at the end of the day, the number one thing that would probably benefit most passengers when air traveling is just chilling the fuck out a little bit. Like, it's always, there's gonna be elements of it that always suck, okay? You got 200 people that are basically all getting on a bus with five suitcases each. Like, there's gonna, you're gonna bump into people, there's gonna be friction, there's gonna be a limited amount of space. You can't control the processes of the airline. All you can control to some extent is like your blood pressure during the, the process. Like, you're gonna arrive probably within 10 or 15 minutes of the time that it says on the ticket. You're all gonna get there at the same time. You're gonna get to your hotel. Just chill out, like, do a little goose fraba. I know it's like, the, there's the impulse, right? It's like, because I feel it myself. But, but, it should be like this. It should really be like this instead. We could all save three minutes total. It's okay. You know, you, you're right, but you're only punishing yourself, you know? You're, you're driving yourself into an early grave. Um, by, by your discontentment, you know? And you're probably... Listen, we all know, you get to the gate, you spot somebody, you're like, this person's gonna be the most annoying person on the flight. We all know, 98% of the people on the flight zero in on that person immediately. You're like, this is the squeaky wheel. I'm gonna stay away. Me looking at a baby. Me looking at the dude with enormous over-the-ear noise-canceling headphones and a Neon Genesis Evangelion shirt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Two can play that game as long as we're going to get into personal attacks. But apart from the one person or like the one family who's causing all the problems, everybody is annoying everybody else. The people who are annoying you are also being annoyed by you. And I know you're like, no, no, no. I'm like self-aware and I stay out of people's way. I like to think that too, but I think it's a little naive, you know? Like when I'm in a hurry and I'm walking and someone doesn't shoulder check and they kind of bump into me while I'm moving by, in my head, I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. And then they're like, oh, sorry. And I'm like, yeah, you better be sorry. Sorry, like you exist and got in my way. But then whenever I'm walking uh, leisurely and someone's like rushing by me and they bump into me, I'm like, oh, sorry. But then I'm like, what's the hurry, Turbo? We're, all, we're both going to the same gate. Like, what do you... Ru rush there as fast as possible, like, just to get in line? What are we doing? Like, no matter what, I'm always the good guy. <laughs> At least in the moment. Later, I'm like, okay, maybe that's my fault. That's healthy, though? No, I know, but that's why I'm saying, instead of being like, everybody on this flight is annoying, and it's the airline's fault, you should just recognize that anytime you come in contact with a large group of other people, especially with strangers, you know, you, you don't have like the, the, the rapport with them that you have with your friends where you cut them a little bit of slack. Instead, we don't want to fight the boss right away. You, would, you assume the worst in them. You know, it would always, in almost every situation, it would behoove most of us to just chill out a little bit. Easier said than done, but 
people do, I mean, they sometimes lose their entire sense of what? Explosivo. <laughs> it's the name of uh, the song, Explosivo. Don't know what it's about, but it's good to go. I remember I was on a flight one time and an old man pulled out his electric razor in the, his seat and started shaving, which is just, to me, is insanity. Like, even if it's got one of those hair catchers, man, the hair is getting fucking everywhere. Like, that's psychotic. Or, like, clipping your toenails while you're on the flight, that's crazy, too. What about the guy who cooks in the airplane bathroom? No, I, I'm, I say this without a hint of irony. The dude who's doing the cooking in the airplane bathroom on TikTok, he shouldn't go to prison, but he should be banned from flying on any airline, uh, any airline for the rest of his life. Like, it's kind of funny, but at the same time, I'm like, bro, I gotta, I gotta piss. <laughs> like, I could, could you just do your TikTok content someplace else? Like, I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta do in the bathroom, like, what I'm designed to do in the bathroom. Or what the bathroom's designed for me to do in the bathroom. Put him in the luggage hold? I mean, that shit is just crazy. Now, the one of the, the video of the dude smoking a bowl and chugging a beer and then releasing the smoke from the bowl and then the it the zooms out and reveals that he's in one of those like ikea uh prefab rooms inside of the store that's cool as hell he probably should be banned from ikea by the corporation but like the, he's not in my opinion at least he's not harming anybody societally speaking Check it out, Dab and Granny. I'm gonna try and do this fucking do Granny, grab, Dab and Granny style. People will be like, oh, like I have my kid here. Like your kid is 15 years old. They're seeing worse than that. And they're going to be like in undergrad in two years anyway. Like I wouldn't worry about it too much. He should cook in the Ikea kitchen. Yeah, now, see? And people give King Solomon a bad name. I like, I talked about it a lot before, but it, it genuinely pisses me off. Those videos of like, Someone in their seat will take a video and be like, the people beside me are having sex right now, or the people in the row behind me are having sex. That shit pisses me off. People always assume it's like, oh, you're jealous? I'm like, no, I'm not jealous. It's just fucking weird ass behavior. You've made me part of your sex, and I'm just like going to work right now, <laughs> or like I'm going to see like my family. Like, just, I, I'm not even gonna say you have to do it when you get home. Like, I'm not saying, like, hide that behind closed doors, but, like, don't make me a part of it, man. And also, if you're gonna be stealthy when you do it, be so stealthy that I don't know clearly that you're doing it. Because it's, like, one of the most annoying feelings, and it's something I gotta search within myself to figure out why it bothers me so much, is when someone thinks they're getting away with something by being sneaky, and they're like obviously not sneaky at all. The reason that people aren't busting them is mostly because they're just embarrassed rather than like, you know, oh, we don't see what's happening. Like everybody sees what's happening. They just don't want to be the person that has to come up to like two middle aged weirdos and be like, can you not have sex in row J or whatever? It's like when if you're like 17 and you're drinking alcohol at the movie theater. Nobody's busting you. It's not because, like, you're sneaky. Because you're not sneaky. The bottles are clanging around. You're, like, laughing inappropriately. And then your friend is going, shh. It's just because nobody cares, man. So just, like, enjoy yourself. Most of the adults in the theater are drunk, too. They're just, you know, <laughs> they're holding their shit together. <laughs> 
I don't know if like the, the people that are into that, if part of it for them is that they're like, you know, like, oh, other people are going to be offended by this. Like, this is taboo. It's like, it's not really taboo. Anyone could just whip it out and start going to town whenever. Like, you know what it is? I sort of, when I see, and I've never seen it in real life, but when I see two adults who are clearly, like, intoxicated in a viral video entering the Mile High Club thinking nobody can see them, that's the same way I think I would feel if a dude just whipped out his penis and started masturbating in public. Like, for some reason, for a subset of the population, like... One of them is like, ooh, that's like sneaky and like a little cool. And the other one is like, put this freak on the sex offenders registry. And I'm like, nah, man, put all three of them on the sex offenders registry. <laughs> They're, they, all three of them are fucking weirdos, bro. Get them all out of here. And take the people off the registry who were just urinating in public. That's not the spirit of the law. It doesn't make sense. Just type uh, like an X and then see what fills in. This, this, are you, you're not bug, you're grass. The most sight, just type Psy. Psy psychic water, Psy duck. It's a duck. That's Psy, bro. How could it not be? Okay, how about gold duck? I'm gonna flip my shit, bro. <laughs> How His name is Psy Duck. How could he not be Psychic Water? It doesn't make any sense. What the fuck is Orbeetle, bro? Cleavor. You wanna talk about quiet quitting? How about a Pokemon named Cleavor that has axes for hands? My ass is still out here swinging for the fences saying stuff like, why do they bother saving people in action movies? They're just going to die of old age at some point anyway. Meanwhile, Pokemon team is like, I don't know. What about a dude with axes for hands? We'll call him Cleavor. It's literally just Scyther. Yeah, you're right. It's just non-bug Scyther. I don't respect. No, it's literally Scyther. Oh, it evolves into Scyther. Oh, my mistake. My mistake. That's kind of cool then. I'm kind of, I take back all that shit I said about them giving up. Can I tell you something, by the way? I'm not putting this in a clip. I'll let librarian take it. I've been committing a neighbor faux pas and I'm loving every minute of it, Jerry. I believe I've told you that um, we moved onto this block roughly the same time as our neighbors. Uh, got to know them a little bit, you know. We see them now and then when we take out the garbage. Then, starting in mid-October, they have not been at their house at all. No movement, no in and out, no lights. Their garage never opens. They never put out their trash, et cetera, et cetera. Last couple of weeks, we've had a lot of trash and a lot of recycling because of the fact that uh, like it was the holiday season. We had people over. They opened presents, et cetera, et cetera. Our garbage didn't fully fit in our garbage can. I said, fuck it, bro. They leave their garbage cans outside. I put some of my garbage in their can, pulled it out to the end. Garbage truck came through today. It's the perfect crime, bitch. You can't do that? I did. They're not using it. Are you insane? It was either that or I don't know what to do with the bag. I'm not going to put the bag in my garage for a week. It's going to stink, stink the joint up. Are they dead? No, they just, like, they're from another country. So I think they kind of, like, moved in. And then fucked off, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's too cold in the wintertime, even though it's actually really mild here. So they're living someplace else. I feel like I didn't do anything wrong. That being said, they do have a, a security camera on their garage. So I've already planned what's going to happen. Like if they come back and they're like, hey, did you use our garbage can? I'm just going to say yes. And then if they take offense to that, I'll apologize, and then later in the day, I will bring them some food, and I will say, hey, I don't want there to be bad blood uh, between us because we live together. Uh, it won't happen again. 
I'll explain the situation as best as I can, and then I will, if they're offended, I'll give them a peace offering because we have to live ne next to each other. Crimes? Dude! My husband is a, is a outlaw. When he told me what crime that he has committed yesterday, I want to make clear I had no part on his crime. It was his own decision. It was his own plan. I did not get involved in any of this. He only told me the results at the end. Was it the trash can thing? It was the trash can thing. If they knock on the door and if they complain, I'm going to say, I don't know anything about this. You talk to my husband. Did I take our neighbor tent in? No. I am not getting involved in your crime. You better bring their cam back in. <clears throat> I am not leaving my fingerprints on that thing. Look at him being smooth with it. He's like, oh, but by the way, did you bring the trash can? Like, he's so smooth with, so smooth with it. He's, he's luring me to this crime. All right, I'll be right back. People giggle. This is, this is the gateway to how to end up in prison. You start with the neighbor's garbage can. And then, and then, I don't know what else, honestly. <laughs> I don't know what garbage crime that you can do. And then, text fraud. I don't know how the garbage turns into text fraud, but maybe he will become a raccoon. <clears throat> Slash marker, Sine Nerdle. Chat, is this real? Did Sine Nerdle really add a, a patch to the game that shows you when your opponent alt tabbed? They did? Play oh, it's right there! Players are now notified when opponents switch tabs in game. Ooh! I had no choice but to play Sine Nerdle today. Otherwise, Conspiracy Andes would be like, it's kind of weird how we stop playing the game as soon as... Uh, they released this update. Yeah, like I got 17 tabs open here. I'm reading chat, having a discourse, beating the bones off of people in Cine Nerdle at the same time. You think I got that kind of mental bandwidth, bro? I wish. Now, I don't remember how to get out of Gotti, and I need to be able to get out of Gotti to not draw. So instead, I will play primary colors for now. And then I'll figure, I'll, I'll go to chat after this and remember how to escape Gotti. Okay, now that we've committed, how does one escape Gotti again? Oh, it's got um, Kelly Preston. Googling Gary is opening another, oh, well, well, well. Googling Gary, guess 20989527386, exposed. Well, 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 sling blade, huh? I'll take you to bandits. 2001 that is slick bro you know what's great is that they don't lose it just embarrasses them it's even better mr woodcock i'll cast on that one i'm not afraid of a googling gary you want to go goon for goon with me you son of a bitch no i was all tabbed because i got a message from my mom it's really important you're on role models okay i'm going goon two last of the enforcers i'll goon twice if you don't meet my goon with a goon Well, well, well. <laughs> if it isn't Googling Gary, that's shameless, bro. That's embarrassing. I will, you don't deserve to get a rematch, quite frankly. <laughs> they are asking Alexa now. Dude, that's so funny. I don't trust anybody. Don't get it twisted. Anybody who's playing this game while not live streaming with a face cam is a snake. I mean, these cinephiles are shameless, bro. You don't have hand cam? Because every time I put my fingers on the camera, people go, why do they look like that? Charlie Day from the Super Mario Brothers movie. Okay, Playmobil the movie. I'm on today. I'm on. That's a plus one right there. I'm on a Saw 5 diet. I see Saw. I eat it. I'm going to plus two you for that one. Which one's Saw 5? Is that the one where they have to blow off their own balls with a rocket launcher? Or is that the one where they have to staple their tongue to the roof of their mouth. 
Is Saw just jackass now? That would be sick, bro. That would have gone crazy on Mad TV. Jigsaw captures the jackass boys and it puts them in the torture devices, but they're actually like into it. I'm Steve-O and this is the fucking thing that crushes your head if you take more than 30 seconds to solve a Rubik's Cube thing. <laughs> ah, it fucking, ah, fucking kills, bro. That would, that would have gone crazy on Mad TV. SNL doesn't have the balls. Okay, I got a bone to pick with this one. This is just my two cents. I don't understand Skinny Pop. Now it's 20, 28 small bags. I'm gonna say that this probably comes in at around 1899. I'm gonna anchor my first guess. I might even go a little lower. My mom had Skinny Pop when she was here and then she didn't eat it all. So she was like, you can eat my Skinny Pop. I ate it. I was so excited to eat it. Um, and then I ate it and I was like, what the hell? It's just like essentially unsalted pre-popped popcorn. It's like uh, smart food, but with no flavor. And then people were like, yeah, yeah, that's basically, you pretty much got it. Um, and I thought that we were all in agreement that we were not gonna buy this because it's not very good. And then my nieces were here for Christmas and they brought Skinny Pop and then they were eating it and they were like, do you guys get Skinny Pop in Canada? And I was like, yeah, lady, we get Skinny Pop. It's just across the border. It's not like we're in another galaxy or something. I was also like, what is a 12 year old kid doing eating Skinny Pop? We were all drinking Pepsi Blue and Vanilla Coke and Gushers and whole, just horrible stuff. Snorting pixie sticks. So you got these kids eating like unsalted, unoiled, pre-popped popcorn. It's like, I'm not going to say it's torture, but it's just like, you've been raising your kids really well if they eat un previously popped popcorn and it's like a nice treat for them. That's crazy. I'm here to tell you, if you want a snack just for the purposes of eating a snack, and I'm not judging that because I eat mindlessly all the time, this is fine. You can eat a lot of it without blowing up your caloric intake. But if you want to eat something specifically that tastes good, it's a little, it's not even mid, it's, it's pre-mid, but that's okay. What did I say? Eighteen ninety nine. I'm gonna pull it down one dollar. I'm gonna go seventeen ninety nine. There's twenty eight bags. Do I think that they could sell these at fifty cents a bag in America? That would take it to thirteen nine. I don't think they can. I think it's got to be fourteen ninety nine. I think it's got to be thirteen ninety nine. I think it's got to be twelve ninety nine. God bless America. That is, that's pretty cheap. Now I can understand why these are moving out of the store by the caseload. <laughs> is that like 40 cents per bag of Skinny Pop? That's insane. I mean, it is, it's only 100 calories, but the people who buy Skinny Pop treat that as a positive instead of what we might treat it as, which me personally, I say is a negative, but depends what you're looking for. Sony Pictures has been out for a month, 75 million. It's a thriller horror. Is can't be Bird Box, right? That came out more recently than that. That but the time from 2016 to 2023 is all is murky, man. Dylan, Man we're not gonna know it from the actors. A group of teen. Oh, I've seen this one too. This one is called. Shh, <laughs> no, it's called. Um, Ah, uh, they break into the blind guy's house and then you're like rooting for the blind guy and then eventually you're rooting against the blind guy. It's called... Don't Breathe. And then they made a second one, which doesn't really make sense and I heard it was really bad. There we go. 50th percentile, I'll take it. I was never rooting for the blind guy? What are you talking about? At first, it's just a bunch of punks robbing his house. Uh, then, it's a, it's a crazy dude with some teenagers trapped inside of his house. I'm pro-robbery? He's a blind guy. <laughs> My ass does not support killing people just because they try to steal from you. He, I don't think he's blind. I think he was just trying to, like, you know, wing them a little bit. I don't think he was trying to kill them until he was. 
Yeah, he's a psycho. Yeah, but we didn't know that at the start of the movie unless you read the entire synopsis of the movie before you watched it. So you could, like, your friends would be like, yeah, cheering when he's about to, like, get the robbers back. And you're like, oh, you might not want to cheer for that guy. He got up to some really troubling stuff in 1979. Come on. You just watch the movie, bro. He was given psycho vibes. Honestly, if you break into my house... I'll probably be giving off psycho vibes too because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm going to be smashing a baseball bat against like a cast iron pan or something like that and going like, you want some of this? And you're going to be like, whoa, that guy seems mentally unstable. Yeah, it's because some people broke into my house, dude. That's, my, that's how I play it in my head anyway. They're humans, not animals. Yeah, but I'm like, don't rob me. Like, I'm going to make it hard for you. Rob somebody else. Rob some people who are like, you know, they're on vacation. <laughs> I was, <laughs> did I say, did I tell you this story or did I tell Kate this story? I was laughing because I picked up my daughter from a class last weekend and there was like, I, I got stuck in traffic behind this van and the van was called like, um, I don't know, it was like housekeepers, but like a, like a pun type name. And it was like, we take care of your house while you're away. So they, uh, on the van, it had, like, their services. So they'll, like, pick up your mail. They'll, like, make it appear that you're living there. They'll, like, you know, move some shoes around on your dustbin or whatever. Um, and, you know, I don't know, do any, like, maintenance or lawn work or whatever. Shovel the, shovel the sidewalk. And I was like, dude, if I was a robber, you should just follow that van around all day. That's crazy. You would just go to the house, follow the van, wait until they leave, and then go inside of the house like it's a they they should really if you're running that service you should be using like an unmarked van i get that you want to advertise your business but you're basically like anybody who hires you is essentially getting the opposite of what they want rather than like a sense of security they're actually getting a lot of unwanted attention <laughs> hi right, ryan hello the rest of nuts you. on the table oh. <laughs> it is nuts on the table <laughs> Welcome oh, to the killing room. Yay! Oh, this is not good. Oh, this box. one, I, I feel like you can live this one. This but live but every one. four of you get swords, though. The box to yeah, but the swords sure. don't reach all the way. They only go three. Oh. Oh. Or no, they go four in? I think they go four in. It's time for the volunteers. Good news. I'm giving you a sword. Oh, there's device. no way I don't Choose die. Yeah, it, I hear you. <laughs> you can go like in the fucking middle or something? Shut the fuck yeah, up, bro. Yeah, I thought it'd be safe. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> you got hit by all three swords. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> try to dodge him oh i thought it was reverse reverse psychology i thought apollo would be like he'd think that he'd be safe on the side so let's go on the side so i was gonna go one level deeper no oh, you said it so, so earnestly funny. though i believe i know i suck at lying everyone else will answer too no i know which one i'm not picking <laughs> And I do mean anyone. Uh. This is tough. Oh, a country that starts with the letter V. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> oh man. No. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> I um. Oh. Nah, don't worry, I'm, dude. I, I only have an obvious one in my head, and everyone else wrote it probably. What, what did you type, Justin? <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I going to show you I <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> You have sa you saved Chibli's life, by the way. I know, <laughs> man. Justin actually took the biggest bullet for Chibli right there. Oh, my God. America, Paraguay, <laughs> Panama, <laughs> Paris. What if that doesn't start with the letter? <laughs> oh my god. Is Invictus the last is nuts? Yeah, for now. 
It, uh, it depends they how tight that string is. Final round? Time for the finals. I've got the nuts. You've made it so far, but can you escape? A24 still making movies? Oh, yeah. They're making that Civil War North Man? No. Oh, oh, what the hell? Fuck, bro. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press Hearthstone, the don't steer me wrong. They Literally, added one of those, the right? easiest, uh, easiest one ever. Yes, all three. If you didn't choose all no! three, No! When did they add Monk, bro? Right Mr. Pandaria. 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 Oh, you <laughs> fucking nerds, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Justin's on a roll, man. Oh god, the oh, lights oh, oh, oh. I don't know which one I am. Oh, I'm in lost. <laughs> okay, it's nuts on the table for this one. I hate that you guys get one. <laughs> nah, probably that one. <laughs> I want to see Not green check marks. To yeah, this better be all green. You Eighteen? I'm a god. <laughs> oh, that's three. Eighteen times three. I wasn't the only one, thank god, bro. Oh, Country's bordering the Indian Ocean. Is it? Uh, oh. No idea. I don't know. That that. How is this so hard? I fucked it. I didn't. Oh, I fucked it real hard. Bro, he is Yay! zooming. Trying, trying. This will slow I gotta down. catch up. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. Oh. Oh. It's question, okay. They don't bro. drive Hondas in Texas. We got a chance. I think I got this right. I meant for Sinvicta. In Sinvicta's part of Texas. Yeah, I've it. never heard of a They do. Line, oh, <laughs> we all know it. Except for Chibli. There's a Honda Ridge line, bro. The pickup truck. Later, nerd. Oh, that's why I don't know it. That's like the best I've ever done in a trivia. <laughs> <laughs> the the mint America. answer was. When they said P. Yeah, I'm peeved about that one. That killed my ass. So I didn't get a chance. <laughs> you can take a picture? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it works, baby. Didn't work for me. I'm not a webcam plugged in. Yeah. I can't get both hands to have to take the picture. I hate that picture. <laughs> I hate that so much. <laughs> it's so... You like this? Oh, wait, Look at wait, this wait. one. Here it comes. Oh! <laughs> you like that one? I mean, it's such a good... And this this could be so mean. Honestly. You didn't want to go Megan's? <laughs> much regret mm. by you. <clears throat> oh, shit. So, on your device, you get the names <laughs> oh, of all so funny. Oh. Drag each one to the role you think fits them best. That includes yourself. Oh, and you'll see. Uh, you know, no, Justin in for all of Tap these. What the fuck? That's right. so Submit funny. Oh, when everyone's given out their roles, yeah. we'll check out the results. No, this is hard, actually. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Couple of them aren't hard at all. <laughs> You guys shouldn't have voted for this. People are gonna get their feelings hurt. Let's see where we land. No, I didn't. Some of these do apply to me for sure. <laughs> Mine is so Let's obvious. I'm okay notes. with it. It's obvious for me too, though. Get rid of the outliers. No, yeah, I'm okay with this. I guess Why I'm did 99 percent any? This is just real, dude. I forgot about the 99 percent. Hey, there's two people here. To drop that. That's true. That's fair. I did finish though eventually. The I lost them 50-50. <clears throat> Oh yeah. I'm passive. <laughs> you really know yourself, or at least what your friends think oh, of you. Oh, he's the imposter, dude. <laughs> that 99% guess paid off. So That's mad cool. about that. about the 99%. But well, I'm, I'm the most likely to get one and regret it. Yeah. Guess, yeah. Yes, I'm like the most normie. <laughs> I think that voting solves <laughs> things. I, I'm glad we all picked up on that, kind of. I just would have never thought there's no chance you never voted. Subjects who already have a role can't what get the this fuck? one. I got every <laughs> single one. It was the last one, man. I had to give it to somebody. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know, like, who to put yeah, for this yeah, one. I'm just... like, Cor, I know the least about Corey's love life. Okay, wait. I think Apollo picked Ryan for Really Harry, but Apollo's seen me with my shirt off, so he should pick me. 
But I 100% picked Ryan for really. Yes! <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you heard this man talk about, about his hair? I am yeah, yeah, I'm that's really I hairy. That was the on. only one I knew for sure. I'm Oops. so offended by this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Four ninety nine. I'm hairier than Ryan. I guarantee There's you, no shot, man. I've never seen someone my age hairier than me. <laughs> and you're younger. No, Ryan's very hairy. I think I Have you seen him? You. Oh, yeah. Top to bottom. Mm -hmm. How? Really? <laughs> dude, all you, you gotta see Ryan's, Ryan's ears, dude. I missed that pot. You guys. It's not oh, mobile for eight hours. A common characteristic. Oh. Which is cute and all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Oh, you and your other I'm cool as hell, man. Out at a club. What's your goal for the evening? I mean, that's what they came up with. I'm sad neither of you put survive. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. I did. I did. I have been to a club <clears> once, <throat> and that I, now that you mention it, that is what I attempted to do for the entirety. No, yeah. Which, for those who don't know, no yeah means yes. <laughs> Ooh, too close to oh. call. Our extensive background research says the real winner is you. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, here we go again, huh? I want to the one we were on. Oh, fuck. Okay, make oh, those matches. Oh, man, this is the easiest Wait, one. Fuck, which one do I put time. Justin into? <laughs> I'll submit. I feel like I got every one of these correct. Can you only 99% win? I'm one? not sure. Yeah. Yes. Oh. I, I think I may have fucked one of them. I might have fucked one of them. Jib, Jib, you're goth, bro. You're goth. There's I'm no goth? way Jib is goth. Ryan. This is process of elimination. You really thought you knew yourself and you really didn't. I thought everyone kind of slotted in nicely, honestly. Yeah, I, I thought oh, I did too. Yeah, Wait a okay, minute. That means right. I'm off on everything. <clears throat> if I got that right, I'm right on everyone. All right, yeah. okay. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You 99 presented it, man. <laughs> he did. And our yeah. control group hit some extra science pellets behind this roll for you. Good Maybe Corey's goth? That is true. I, I do the... Well, in high school, I, was, I wasn't powerless at all. What? And this said in high school, right? <laughs> Ryan, nice job, Ryan's the know. only one that put me as goth. <laughs> you have goth energy. Thank you. Yep. Oh, there it is. That was yeah. obvious. Some of these are nice um, and some of these are mean, dude. I'm not offended. <laughs> There's only one that's a okay. little mean. Yeah, I, I think know. it's this one. It's <laughs> you guys are crazy, dude. You're okay, crazy. You're right. the one who didn't Am get I it mean? right. So. Am I actually mean? That's you would be. Up. I, I can see you being friends Here's with the mean girls. Oh hell yeah, yeah bro! He's way more goth than mean. I was, I was the one like one snorting chocolate milk to make them laugh, bro. That's what I was Let's doing. There are any more interest you guys are like twins. But one of you has to be better. That's so cute. What homemade trap would you prepare for a pair of bumbling burglars? Oh shit, Answer dude. The prompt on your devices and we'll settle this once and for all. <laughs> Home alone <laughs> traps would be a great jaw. that would be a great yeah, one. Man. I think that I'm molten hot doorknob. I'm definitely pink hand to the 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 gonads. Pink I would oh, do yeah, a yeah, door yeah. I would do a Bond style door and then hope they couldn't figure it out. That's a reference to top one. Pumping Simulator 2? There's no, that's uh, you open the top. I the top knew you were going to write that. <laughs> I almost wrote Justin is going to write gun with string. I almost <laughs> did the quiplash thing. It's definitely not more creative, but. It's Honestly, funny. the paperwork will be a lot easier. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be creative. That would be really hard to engineer, oh. probably. Yeah. It says you. Without shooting yourself. Oh. True. That was the final piece of the puzzle. Truing. Here come your final rolls, as determined by everything your fellow lab rats said about you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's kind of true, though. Mm, what? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's true. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Putting drop out of the end just seems so good. Mine is actually like mean. They have, well, the rest of them are just chill. 
What the hell? Called him a hippie, bro. Oh, my ass a hippie. I'm feeding the mouth. No, I'm not feeding the mouth anymore. That's like such a goth thing to say. I like that he was very determined, but he was the only one to pick it. You're more goth than Corey, I think. I do only wear black clothes. He does. I've seen them. But I also am hairy, so... No, no, that, I mean, that's two different categories. There's, I'm just telling you as your friend, you're not hairier than I am. <laughs> I, when we eventually meet, I'll, we're taking each other's shirts off. Step so one. I, I mean, mm -hmm. I'll take my own, my own off, but you can take... We'll can trade take streaming <laughs> jerseys like the end of a, a soccer game. We should shave ourselves and then put it in a jar and see which one weighs more. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> oh wait, this isn't what I meant to put up. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> I drink more. I don't even spin. Fuck this game. Fuck this. I drink spin. more in Mexico than I had in the past like five I, years. I hope this goes it. to Ryan. <laughs> oh, okay, is he okay? No, <laughs> he's going crazy. He is. He's he's off the Benjamin. What? He hasn't Benjamin taken a hit of his uh, of his vaporizing pen in a while. Hey! Oh, Benjamin. It's like the most even game I've ever seen. It's very even. I'm ready for a new spinner. If this goes to Corey, we're good. Yay! Oh, oh. man! I didn't even do that well in the first phase. I did oh, get spun. It's winning. just one of those days. <laughs> Pick a slice mm. and you'll steal Son of a bitch. Well, you no, people on it, right? go crazy and just steal from uh, like exclusively Justin or something. I thought about yeah, it. Fun. I thought it would be really oh. funny, but yeah. why does? Oh man, <laughs> this, is my, this is the final Chibli moments, bro. He's done. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why is spin me, spin again, me as an bro. apology. I did my best. Yay! Oh. Everyone but us, Justin. I know, man. Everyone but us. Some bullshit. I hate that he did bad, and yet this is the end result of the scores. This time the wheel got my back. Yeah. This time. This time? There's been... <laughs> bring up the, the statistical model. There have been times the wheel has done badly in my favor. Yeah, like six times. Yeah. I like when, 70. When it happens to you, though, is things. <laughs> Yo! Okay, okay, I got this. Okay. Unfair to Ryan. One. A couple of these are not obvious, but they are uh, and have been uh, part of orchestras. There are but eight correct um, oh, I got two. Try to name them all before time runs out. Excuse me? Fuck. Uh, Oh, I got two. They're not gonna take that one. Oh fuck! What am I missing? My ass is like dumb, dude. All I can think of is fucking two, the two obvious ones. Why am I? I feel like such an asshole. No, I'm with you, Justin. No, that's not one. That's dude, all ones is brass and shit. What did I forget? Yeah, oh, so if it has if it has a reed, quarter. English horn. Oh, no. Piccolo's from Dragon Ball Z. How did I get wood? The quarter. I thought Piccolo flute was just another flute, so I didn't type it. That's just wood? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, it's confusing. I'll take it, I'll take it. It's very confusing. You use wood to play it. Oh, no, the reed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, English horn has a reed? Yeah. That's fucked up, man. I'm pissed off they didn't have controversy soon, bro. I thought that was a freebie. I just got oboe and a clarinet, and that was fucking it. <laughs> I was picturing Kate's fucking quintet. <laughs> well, I, I, yeah, I do think I had an unfair advantage. Because I also knew that, like, that was the first time I ever heard of the English horn. She's like, the oboists also play the English horn. And I was like, oh. I never heard of the English horn. My ass typing core anglais, thinking I'm hot shit. Yeah, I'm not trying to game the, the wheel spinning this time. I'm just doing it. Wow! He gamed it! Oh. He gamed it! Oh. Did it just
just laugh like Ghibli in the game? <laughs> this is big for Corey, bro. I think they should get them. <laughs> I think they should get points. I they think should get I think they should lose. They should lose them. That's I think they should up. get them. I am doesn't like get. me. I'm learning this out of the... No, I'm just he, the he keeps I saying like I'm not mean, I'm not mean, and then he does. That. It's because he's goth, bro. <laughs> That's true. You want me to not play the game? Ryan's the nicest guy ever, apparently, and he's been playing the game for the past 83 weeks, bro. <laughs> hey, hey. Wait, what? Oh, that wasn't the power slice. That was Corey. Fuck, man, I should have said. Oh, oh, yo. I thought it was the one he landed on. <laughs> and they'll call you an asshole, by the way. Oh, yeah, Justin, was going owns, Justin owns up to it, though. Yay! Oh, no. I haven't gotten really lucky. I Not only had three slices. Slice. Not the power slice. Well, the power Time to win on spin doesn't even matter. It's just... Oh, yes! Okay, All right, this one was cooked from the start. We might as well just end it. Yeah. This one never got off on the right foot. Oh, never mind. This okay. is a good game. Like, honestly, it's pretty, like, spread. Is it? Yeah, look at us. What? Power they slice. took away my other power slice and I didn't get the power <laughs> effect. Yeah, you have to win, man. A scam. Well, fuck you, bro. Maybe what I will. Oh, <laughs> my God. Justin. <laughs> oh, man. Why <laughs> do you spin like that, Justin? Oh, man. It ain't my fault. It's the game. <laughs> That's kind of funny. No. Makes a good oh. story. It's over, lads. Rip. It's over. For oh, me. Yeah. It's not over. All right. It's not it's over. Not over. Oh, this is going to be some more stats to add to the, the spreadsheet here. He's warming up the wheel for us. For I'm getting that 4K, We don't dude. even have a fucking Now nah, here comes Ryan <laughs> again, man. Wow! Oh, close. Oh, okay, I'd like some Just points. <laughs> I'd like for you guys to get some points as well. Holy, this oh a, a skull spin. though would redistribute the wealth in a big way. All right. All right. Oh, or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Why? Oh, 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 I am not joking. I've gotten so lucky, oh, man. Oh my god. I didn't even do that well with the trivia, but like the wheel was good. Holy. I've been trying to cook up a joke about President's Choice. It just sucks. I, I've been burdened with being born in Canada. So people don't know what President's Choice is. Um, unless they live here. But like, of course that shit's the President's Choice. He's the only motherfucker that can afford it. Right? Am I right, people? Am I right? Corey, am I right? Am I right? Plus two, plus two, plus two. Plus. It's probably like the 9,000th person to make that joke. <laughs> White cheddar PC mac and cheese goes crazy. I don't know what to tell you, okay? I'm just saying, it's expensive. I have some respect for the products at President's Choice. I actually, I went to a President's Choice grocery store. Very rare. There's not that many in Vancouver. In the Vancouver area, I guess, there's like real Canadian superstores and stuff like that. Inside of the city proper, there ain't too many. It's mostly no frills if we're talking about PC brand. And I was like, this shit is too expensive. But then I went to the deli and I got some ham. And the dude, it was like going to a grocery store, I can only imagine, in like 1981. The dude was like, hello, sir, what can I get for you today? And I said, thank you, my good man. Can I have 300 grams of your country ham? And he said, it would be my pleasure. And then he sliced it in, he said, what kind of slices would you like? A question that would have very much intimidated me, um, you know, as a younger man. I would have been like, I didn't rehearse this one before I came out. I said, it's for sandwiches, so whatever you think is best. He nodded and said, very good, sir. Sliced it up. I looked me in the eye said have a nice day. I said the same thing to him. Have a nice day. You too. You as well Had a sandwich with it last night. It's the most lovingly cut deli meat I've ever had in my entire life It's like Goodfellas like he sliced the ham with a razor blade It's so thin like you can see your hand through it when you take it out of the package This man is a hero President's Choice or Costco. This is this is PC bro. I love Costco as much as the next guy probably more than the next guy based on what I've seen in chat at least. You're not getting anything at the Costco deli counter. That stuff was shipped in by a truck. Have you ever been to an urban fair? 
Brother, I went to Urban Fair. I thought to myself, you know what? I got, this is too expensive for me. I got to go to Suburban Fair. <laughs> so Suburban Fair is uh, an offshoot of the Savon brand. So my joke when I go there is, uh, hey, do you want to, there, there's a, an Urban Fair close. We can go there. We can drive a little bit. We can go to a Savon Foods or we can stay here and go to a Spend on Foods. That joke kills in the lower mainland, bro. Corey, back me up. Listen, I kind of botched the delivery. It is 9.27 a.m. On a, on a Monday morning. I'm working on it. <laughs> still, <laughs> heart rate's still a little elevated from the last duel. I don't get it. They, the company that owns Urban Fair owns a grocery store called Save On Foods. But Urban Fair is like their uh, upscale grocery store, which means they sell exactly the same products, but 30 to 100% more expensive. So you call it spend on foods. Best joke I've ever heard at 928 on a Monday morning. People make fun of it, but like no joke hits like a bad manager's joke at 928 on a Monday morning. Working hard or hardly working on, a, on an extremely cold day, your boss saying hot enough for you. Oh man, <laughs> it hits different. Catch my ass cracking up, I know. Being a class trader, cracking up at my manager's joke. He's crushed by the same boot as the rest of us, I imagine. Having fun used to be my boss's favorite. You know what was annoying um, when I used to work in a, in a more traditional office environment? When you are um, a lackey and you're pissing and then your boss comes in. But maybe then I... like. He wants to pee alongside of you as if he's like one of you. But he mostly just golfs like all day. And you're like, brother, we can't talk about our weekend plans. Like I was in my second year of university. What do you think I'm going to do this weekend, bro? It's Friday. I'm going to stay up until like 4.33 a.m. Pass out, wake up at like 11 a.m., go out for brunch, repeat the process. And then Sunday night, I'm going to be like, yeah, I don't know. I think I have like genetic predisposition to insomnia. I just can't. I, I have a, about once a week. I have like a really hard time getting to sleep. Your ass has like four kids. Like we. What, what kind of like camaraderie are we going to find? Maybe that was naive of me. Or maybe he felt the same way when he came in. He just had to go piss and then he comes in and he's like, oh, there's this college kid in here. I can't just like go into a stall that's emasculating and I'm the manager here. I've got to project power. That's why I practice my handshake in the mirror six hours a day. You can just not talk. You don't get it. You don't understand. You're not cut out for this world. Urinal talk is goaded. That's how I know DL Guig is going to make it. DL Guig, you, did you ever think about that? You're cut from an, an earlier time. I mean that... Um, non-derogatorily. Millennials and, uh, and Gen Z are going to kill urinal talk. And I'm going to be, I mean, I don't really mind urinal talk, but that's because I just go to a stall no matter what. <laughs> Motherfuckers found my letterbox account after I gave a four-star review of Master and Commander. I can't afford to be pulling my cock out in a public bathroom. You know, this shit will end up on the subreddit and like, before I even zip up. Hey, spiders, kill this guy. Mods, put Lego all over his floor. Can I tell you something embarrassing? Um, I have uh, foot pain that I'm sure comes from my, to put it politely, my unique gait. I haven't seen a podiatrist yet, but I've, I've self-diagnosed myself online as having a condition called Monroe's Neuralgia, which basically feels like after walking too much in my socks, it feels like there's a marble in my foot. So when I step on it, it's a little ouchy. It, stay, it starts to feel like a grain of sand, but after a long day, it's, like a, it's more like a marble. Um, so I said, you know what? I'm going to go get slippers because it seems like it gets aggravated by walking around in, because our house is hardwood and tile and stuff. So I, I, it gets aggravated by walking around on that. I went to the pharmacy to buy slippers. 
I walk, well, the drugstore. I walk inside of the drugstore, wall-to-wall -wall slipper section. I'm in the slipper district, okay? I look through every single pair of slippers that they have. Not a single pair of men's slippers. And there's literally, I would say there's 50 to 100 pairs of slippers inside of the pharmacy. Women's, 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 women's. I went to all the end caps. Women's, 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 women's. I bought the largest women's slipper that I could. I didn't care. It's not like pink, but even if it was, I wouldn't have cared as long as it was big enough. Put that shit on at home. I would say like two and a half inches of my heel is sticking out of the damn back of them. Son of a bitch. <laughs> There's really no women out there with feet that are equivalent to size 12 men's. Now I got to go get some slippers from out. Now I got a pair of slippers. My wife's not going to wear them. She's not a women's large. She's like a foot size. She's probably a women's medium. My kid's not going to wear them. She's three years old. I can't wear them. I'm going to trip down the stairs. What am I going to do, man? I got to buy a second pair of slippers. I'm only seven, but my wife thinks I'm 5'9". Am I living a lie? You can't sneak a Brian Jordan Alvarez reference by me. This is a song about Joseph. <clears throat> I just, I'm never gonna tell my wife how tall I am <laughs> because it's, she doesn't know. So I am 5'7", but my wife thinks I'm 5'9", that's right. That dude is on a wave right now. I thought the era of, um, thank, thank you for this act of charity finding the secret room, by the way. I thought the era of skit comedy had come to an end. I thought that in today's cynical world, you couldn't make it work. Whoo! BGA has brought us back. We can appreciate little jokes again. Send it. <laughs> what are you hit me with the lion? What for? When your wife hits you with an emote like that, you, you are forced to respond. Hello. Hello to you as well. Maybe it's, it's more of like a lion what because our daycare provider sent us a text yesterday and said she was sick, so she is taking today off, which is fine. Everybody got the damn flu. I know. It's kind of crazy. Me not getting sick, finally getting the chance to ask people, oh, is your, what's wrong with your immune system? And now there's a global pandemic. Don't you realize? Oh, so when I get sick, people can type fucked up shit like what's wrong with your body? You get the sniffles and all of a sudden, like I'm, uh, I'm anti-science. It doesn't make sense, bro. You get poop sick? I know this way worse. <laughs> You're watching Netflix. I developed a callus on my anus. We are not the same. But also they will not divide us. That's my new thing, is dividing us and then saying he will not divide us. Who's they? I don't know. Anybody that you think is your enemy, <laughs> I guess. Is poop sick or puke sick worse? That's not even close. Puke sick is way worse than poop sick. It's puke sick is worse by a mile. Like if you ask anybody, would you rather ha have diarrhea or throw up? And they say diarrhea, they're not to be trusted. They're a compromised agent. They are sent by a foreign power to undermine you. Puking kind of fun? Nah, no. You're insane. The part of puking sickness where you puke is it feels good because it's a, a feeling of relief. But that is merely a return to uh, baseline illness. It's not that it feels good in the process. It's the relief of like, oh, hopefully my stomach pain it will subside now. Hopefully my nausea will subside now. Diarrhea, you're mostly just like, I gotta poop. And then you poop and it's like liquid. And then maybe like it kind of hurts. So puking, like puking sickness is way worse than pooping sickness, bro. Yeah, no, nobody's like, oh, I gotta throw up. I'm just gonna go, like, watch some Netflix for 15 minutes. That's like a whole body experience. And trust me, I've had enough of both. <laughs> I can't tell if NL's defending puking or hating on puking. I'm not 
defending or hating on it. I'm saying I'm, it's worse than diarrhea. Nobody's like, <laughs> well, I hope, not too many people. There was this one internet video I saw. There were two girls, but there was only one cup. And I said, limited resources. Let's see where this goes. And then I was like, ah, turn it off! And then play it again in 0.5x speed. But um, puking is way worse than diarrhea, bro. It's not even close. Normally, I try to um, see all sides. You know, there's 7 billion plus people on Earth, each with their own memories and experience, etc., etc. Um, it's easy to see how, on the subject of preference, there could be a multitude of different options, right? But puking versus diarrhea, I mean, I just have a... I, I, I have serious questions for anybody that would rather puke than, than have diarrhea. You mean the other way? What are you talking about? Am I... Have I forgotten how to speak English? I'm saying pooping is more annoying. Or, sorry, now... Okay, now you got me twisted up! I'm saying puking is way worse than diarrhea. Way worse. It doesn't... It, it feels worse in all ways. You keep getting it twisted? That's because I state my thesis clearly, and then some motherfucker who's watching 17 TikToks while they watch the stream is like, wait, I missed that. Can you say it? Like, you've got to restate things 55 times in order for people to understand what you're saying, even though it's a simple sentence. And then people are trying, they're explaining it to me. They're like, when you get diarrhea, your stomach really hurts. Bro, didn't you watch the librarian food poisoning arc? I did? Then you're preaching to the converted, bro. I know all about the stomach pain. You didn't even mention the leg rot yet. Oh, you've never had that? Then shut it. How is your leg healed up? It's totally fine once they finally gave me the medicine that normally they're holding because they supply it to uh, Tyson Poultry Farms. Can't afford to just be giving it out willy-nilly to people who are sick, probably from eating the antibiotic-resistant chickens that were made at Tyson Poultry Farms. My bad, G. Username Tyson Chicken Nugget. Okay, that's a that's a plus two. That's definitely a plus two. Why don't you play the wrestling game anymore? The wrestling game. You talking about Rumbleverse? There's a lot of stuff. Librarian, how are the analytics looking? Hang on. Chibli said something about a denim jacket. <laughs> it got swept away by the emotes. Well, we. We're waiting. He will not divide us, made me buy a denim jacket. He will not divide us, made me buy a denim jacket. Okay, Dr. Seuss. He just took a shit in the Dr. Seuss toilet and it's giving mother. Okay, fucking when Tweedle Beetle's battle in a battle in a bottle and the bottle's on a poodle and the poodle's eating noodles. We call it a Tweedle Beetle paddle bottle pottle battle fucking, I don't know. He will not divide us. <laughs> He took a shit in the mother toilet and didn't flush. The t <laughs> I did see the tweet where Vivek Ramaswamy is giving his wife a tribute. He calls her a throat surgeon, which she like literally is. But if you've been online too much, you can't read that as like her actually being a doctor. Like it's like, <laughs> it sounds like, like a rap music term. It's so good. The throat doctor, or throat surgeon, it's even better. No offense to the doctors out there. <laughs> oh, man. That's real. If you can't laugh at that on either side of the aisle, you got to step back and, and remember what it means to be human, okay? Yeah, I saw the New Jersey Devils fan get a finger in his butt during the national anthem. And then I saw the whole team get a finger in their butt. You see the Bass Pro Shops thing? Yep, yeah, I saw the dude get in the Bass Pro Shops thing. Again, it's uh, another example of small dick uh, bias, by the way. So the dude who got into the Bass Pro Shops uh, pool naked, was it a grower, to put it politely? And everybody thinks it's okay to make fun of him because his penis is small. Oh, so it would be okay to take a, a skinny dip in the Bass Pro Shops 
water tank if you had a huge fucking hammer on you? That's not fair. That's not how we're supposed to treat people in society. We're not supposed to divide people based on the color of their skin or their language or their religion or the size of the wedding tackle they got between their legs. The small dicked need an absolutely comically enormously dicked ally like me to say it. Because a lot of big dick dudes like me, and I hear them talk all the time because we run in the same circles, they'll say things like, look at that dude's small penis. And I have to be the one with courage to say, hey, hey, hey. Just because we're hanging dong and making everybody else jealous at the YMCA, that doesn't mean that he didn't choose it. He will not divide us. I'm high and I feel like I'm dipping in and out of the conversation. That's your fault, just for the record. I can follow everything that I'm saying. And you might say, that's not true. Well, then how the hell am I making callbacks to shit that we were talking about like two hours and 15 minutes ago? It's because I got the damn Chad GPT-4 running up here constantly, you know, every, you know how much mental processing power it takes? Every sentence you say, retroactively seeing if you can apply that to any of the eight jokes so far this stream that were actually funny to get a second laugh, to use every part of the buffalo. That's hard, man. I wish it wasn't doing, I wish it devoted the energy to something a little bit more productive. But it, it's just what it is. I don't know what to tell you. Why not let the AI take over? They're not ready yet, okay? That's the thing. It's like AI is its the smartest thing we got, and yet it still has not produced one organic laugh in the industry's entire history. Something spiritual about comedy. That's why I feel like comedians in many ways are kind of like the modern-day philosophers, the mystics who look to the stars and derive truth from only illusion. One of the most unfairly persecuted classes of profession on the planet in history, without a doubt. Watch this. Chibli can never. At least Chibli's got a denim jacket. Jean jackets kind of... So they were big when I was a kid. Like, really young. Um, and then they were not in vogue for a while. But then they became in vogue again. For like... A year and a half. Are they already gone? Fashion is cyclic? Yeah, but like the ramen noodle haircut for men has been around for like five, six years now. Jean jackets came and went in a season and a half. Like it's, it just, I guess different things move at different speeds, but still. No one does ramen hair anymore? You need to, um, I don't know where you live, but it sounds like you live in Ohio. This is a great big world out there. There's a lot of ramen, broccoli haircuts out there. What's interesting is, it's, so it's very popular with uh, young men. If you see a young man by himself, he will not have the ramen hair. But if you see a group of young men, I would say between the ages of 13 and 21, they will all have the broccoli hair, which indicates to me, and this is the insidious part, it's a self-propagating haircut. Like it's, it's a mimetic haircut that gets uh, transferred from like a host to, to another host. And I think that might be the first haircut of that kind. It briefly, the only other time I've ever studied this in my career, and it actually was even more insidious because it happened over the airwaves, was when Jennifer Aniston was the first uh, patient zero, the noted case of uh, the Rachel haircut. And that, even my mom got that one, but she got better. That one was crazy because it was the first uh, transmission in history that didn't require contact between a host and a target. It actually was able to, to do its dirty work over the television airwaves. I thought we were talking about JT ramen. Well, Justin Timberlake, it's a different kind. It's ramen for sure, but it's more in the same vein as almost, I would call it like a, a mid-length Chad Kroger type ramen haircut. I'm talking more about the, the shaved sides and the broccoli on top. That's frosted tips? No, no, you got it confused. Justin Timberlake, he, you can't have frosted tips when you have curly hair. He had, I'll admit, he had like a, a prototype Maruchan ramen haircut. He, he might be patient zero, but he, he, it was within containment back then. Somehow TikTok has allowed it to breach. 
Sometimes the ramen noodle, I don't know why I said sometime. <laughs> I've undermined my point. Sometimes the ramen noodle haircut looks good. I'm not saying it looks bad. I'm just saying it is, uh, it's everywhere. Mullets? No, you got young people confused with Jean de Carouge from Ridley Scott's The Last Duel. Now, it's a, I, you're based for making the error, but it's erroneous nonetheless. Holy cow, someone mentioned Kitsilano in here. We got a real Vancouver head. And they didn't even say Kitsilano, they said Kits. That's how you know they're living in East Van. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, man. You got me with the East Van, too? I know, because East Van, I mean, what are you doing calling somebody from Kits, like using the shorthand as if they were the hipster, bro? You ever walk down Commercial Drive? Shit is mullet central. And not just the men, but the women and children, too. As Hayden Christensen, noted Vancouver native, would say. You ever seen him? No. <laughs> I don't think... The only famous person I've ever seen in Vancouver is Dan Bayar. Dan Bejar? Dan Behar? And even then, I didn't know 100% that it was him until he had already passed me by. I was walking on the, uh, on the seawall. I saw a very cool-looking middle-aged man who looked like Destroyer walk by me. And I said, huh, that guy looks familiar. And then, like, I did the, the meme where, um, you know, the one where the distracted boyfriend, is that it? Where he's walking away and he looks back. I saw Cole Sprouse in a Mount Pleasant sandwich shop in 2019. Okay, but here's the important question. What's the, uh, what sandwich shop? It's called Cafe Tika, it's not a chain. All right, I don't know it, you got me there. You Vancouver hipstered me. I didn't think it would be a chain, by the way. I just thought possibly I would, heard, I would have heard of it. You know, I've, I've spent some time in Mount Pleasant. Cole Sprouse fought my dad. Hey, this is a good time for me to admit, I don't know who Cole Sprouse is. Is he on one of those, like, CW shows? <laughs> I've heard his name before. He's like a, a young adult actor, right? He's from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. He's Dylan Sprouse's brother. I don't know who Dylan Sprouse is either, bro. I don't know shit about the Sprouse clan. He's also on Riverdale. Oh, like Charles Melton? Exactly like Charles Melton. Okay. <laughs> you know him from Big Daddy? He's the kid from Big Daddy? And he's on Riverdale? Wouldn't he, He's like my age then. Who the hell did he play? Principal Weatherby? <laughs> I can't believe I remember Archie's principal's name, man. Thank you, Brain. That was like the perfect way to finish that one off. One time Justin Chatwin tossed a firecracker at my brother when we were kids in Nanaimo. Finally, we're dealing with an A-lister. Justin Chatwin, of course, most famous for Dragon Ball Evolution, where he played Goku, by the way. He wasn't a bit part in that movie. That's a deep pull. It's literally all I know him from, to be honest with you. <laughs> I once ran into Greg Proops. I don't really think I've met anybody famous. There was like... Uh, well, I went to school with Michael A.L. Fox, but... Uh, at Champions of Fire 1, there was a, a meet and greet arranged for us. And Amazon staff that are watching this, I don't blame you, okay? It was a zero interest rate environment. You know, but it, it just didn't seem like a fit to me that after the event, we went to like a, um, the, the club in Caesar's Palace and there was a meet and greet with Chuck the Iceman Liddell. Like I had just gotten through two days of playing Amazon kindle fire games for money <laughs> but like we showed up too late to meet chuck the Iceman liddell which honestly seemed fine because i don't watch the ufc so i really would have just been like taking a picture just to be like hey this is a guy someone told me is famous like it's better for him to have his time for himself than wasted with me who's it's not like i'm not a fan because i don't like him i just don't know who he is and that's like, I don't know, I guess at Champions of Fire 2, I didn't realize that DJ Rehab is actually like a pretty famous DJ. So I met him and spent some time on the couch with him and shook his hand and stuff like that. But it was only like years later that I discovered that he's actually like famous. 
Other than that, get Dan, man. Dan is pretty famous in certain circles. Anyway, I, I, I don't. I have never met that many famous people, honestly. And I'm out and about, which means they must not be out and about. I guess when they come to Vancouver, they're, they're hiding, <laughs> or we're not running in the same circles. Crazy, I never ran into like Logan Paul picking my kid up from Jimboree. Otherwise, the most, I don't count this because it's, it's getting high on your own supply. The most famous people I've ever met are like other streamers and YouTubers. But like, I'm also in the business, so I almost don't count it, right? That would be like, well, maybe this is getting high on my own supply. So I think it would be like asking Meryl Streep, like who the most famous person she'd ever met is. <laughs> and she'd be like, you know, I'm like uh, an actress. I actually think like just seeing a famous person, I wouldn't walk up to them and say like I recognize them. It would have to be someone that like, I don't know, whose work like I, I really, really, really identify with. Like I've been talking up Matt Damon. If I was at a subway and Matt Damon was in front of me, I don't think I would say, hey, hey Matt Damon, I love your work. I think I would just let Matt Damon, I would give him the gift of, of solitude. What am I going to say to Matt Damon? Hey, you're Matt Damon? He's going to be like, you're right. I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> I'm going to be like, I enjoy the movies you act in. And he's going to be like, that's why we make them. I'm sure the bro's just trying to, he's probably doing the same thing that I'm doing. Rehearsing the order in my head so that I get the ingredients right when I get up to the front. Hi, can I have a foot long Italian herbs and cheese? Uh, oven roasted chicken breast, please. Yes, cheese and toasted. Like, are you just repeating that over and over in my head? Me, when the call of the void hits at Subway. Hi, can I have a foot long cock? I mean, oh fuck, a foot long penis. Um, can I have a foot of <laughs> dick in? <laughs> um, 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 I mean, can I have a cheese and toasted penis? Uh, can I get toasted peanut butter and jelly? Uh, Although I will say, I have a, a friend who used, and this, we're going several layers deep here. I have a friend who lived in an apartment building where one of his neighbors rented, like their side hustle, their side hustle was they rented their apartment to actors and actresses who were in Vancouver for like long shoots. So apparently, and this is hearsay, they said that in like 2003, Halle Berry stayed in their apartment for like, I don't know, like two months while they were shooting Catwoman here. So apparently it does happen, but <laughs> yeah, they signed her basketball. <laughs> Must be a nice apartment. You know what the crazy thing was? Not really. Like, it was not a bad apartment, but it's not the kind of apartment you would expect, you know, like a Hollywood celebrity to be, like, living in. But, I mean, they're only there for two months. It's nicer than a hotel room, for sure. My neighbor is Brad Pitt's contractor, but I live in L.A., so it's more like I'm saying I know a guy. <laughs> okay, I see you. I, just... I mean, you can run the numbers, right? Like, I mean, obviously it's clumped geographically to, to big cities, I'm sure. But how many famous people are there worldwide like from a from a western context because obviously like i could have passed by celebrities like every day in south korea and i wouldn't have known there must be like fifty thousand, and maybe any given person might recognize 2500 and then how many i can't do this math anymore i've gotten too far <laughs> i've gotten too many digits you wouldn't recognize, you would recognize 50 famous, I'm basically asking, can you name 50 people you've never met? If the answer is no, I, I don't believe you. <laughs> you can't? Come on. You're watching, you, you got me already, and then I stream with like 12 other people. I've never met you? That's what I'm saying. But if you saw me, you would be like, I know who that is. I'm not saying you've met 2,500 famous people. Are you insane? Who are you, Brad Pitt's contractor's neighbor? It's you and Smosh? That's fucking sad. You gotta look at the liner jackets of your books, man. It's just me and Smosh? This shit is gonna, you're bumming me the fuck out, dude. <laughs> 
I'm flattered that you recognize me and Smosh, but like you gotta broaden your horizons a little bit on top of that. Is it true that in the United Kingdom, all Chinese food comes with French fries? So for dinner tonight, me and Connor got a Chinese. So I'm gonna show you what we got. So normal chips, salt and chili chips. Oh my God, they look amazing. Salt and chili, are they chicken bites or what? Chicken bites. Fried rice, curry sauce for Connor. Ew. And plain noodles with no veg. Oh my god. Right, so this is Connor's. I, I honestly wish I like curry sauce. Now look at that, it looks amazing. But I just don't like curry sauce, man. So that's his. And then this is mine. It looks so boring and dry compared to his, but it's so good. And then we've also got prawn crackers as well. No, no. Okay, but when you say no, I believe you're making a lie of admission. If I forced you to use more words while answering without speaking a lie, well, okay, it's an option. You, you can get it served on rice or on chips. Is that is, I'm just asking you to be honest. That's all I've ever asked of you. Is that fucking real? Like if you went to an average... Chinese, like a median Chinese restaurant in the United Kingdom, they would be like, do you want this served on rice or on French fries? They're different. No, they're the French fries, chips, whatever. Not at an average place, but at a takeaway. Okay, I forgot that in the United Kingdom, they call the same thing two different words sometimes. Oh, that's your problem. You were asking for good beers. You should have asked for our best ales. Okay, so listen, I don't know why you're skirting the question. Restaurants and takeaways in, in the rest of the world are the same thing. So as far as I'm concerned, the answer is yes. The average Chinese restaurant will ask you if you want your beef broccoli served on rice or on french fries. Stop spamming with question marks. Tell me yes or no. They won't ask. Okay, motherfucker. Is it on the menu as you can make a selection for this? Why are you getting into the semantics, you barristers and solicitors? If you wanted it like that, you could ask for it. Do, is it a common occurrence to, is it Oppie, Oppie, is it or isn't a common occurrence for people to get their Chinese food served on top of french fries in the United Kingdom? It's not that common, okay. It happens, but it's not that common. If you had to guess, what would you say the proportion is in uh, people that get it served on Rice versus people that get it served on french fries. Five percent? Okay, they beat the allegations. I'm not gonna go to bat for, for five percent of the population in any capacity. Five percent of, of any large enough group is insane. We all know this to be true. Zero percent of restaurants will ask you, but five percent of customers might ask. That is crazy. I mean, listen, we live in a society. I do want to say, if you went to a Chinese restaurant in North America and ordered, you know, sweet and sour pork and you said, can I get that served on French fries instead of rice? People would look at you like you had lost your mind. They, depending on the restaurant, they could probably do it for you, but people would be like, what the hell? It's, it's simply a thing that's not done here. <laughs> Most places don't serve it on top. It comes separately. I've learned a lot about the United Kingdom. Every time you thought you were dodging the question, you were actually unveiling a, a, a really hidden truth about yourselves as a society. You guys are in love with semantics, I've realized. It's the spirit of the question. You're not on trial, okay? I understand you take a lot of heat on social media, especially in the culinary realm. You knew the spirit of the question immediately. For some reason, you're addicted to dodging it. When people get the French fries as a side, at the Chinese restaurant? Do they pour the sauced food on top of it? <laughs> You're like, oh, fuck, he got me. I didn't think he was going to ask the logical follow-up question. No, because they're not fries, they're chips. Listen, you Oxford, Cambridge graduate motherfucker. Going to a pub that's 500 years old and being like, can I have a pint of carling? Thinking it's, it ends a 
air of aristocracy, motherfucker. Sweden sour chicken balls on top of French fries ass. Can you just answer the damn question? I'm, I'm your friend. I'm from Canada. We're on the same team, okay? Can you <laughs> just work with me here? It's a straight cut chip. I feel like I'm losing my fucking mind. <laughs> we have chicken balls here too. We're, we're a chicken ball nation. Americans would never understand. He's gonna ignore bringing up chicken balls? It's not a hard thing to understand. I, let me back up my British brethren here. I don't know, it sounds like, to be honest with you, they probably do serve it in the rest of the British Isles as well. Imagine a chicken nugget, but spherical instead of like more of a geometric plane. Uh, and the volume is very batterous. It's, I would say it's about the same size as a chicken nugget. It has half as much chicken inside of it. And like, you can do the math on the, on the batter. It's probably got like three times more batter. And the batter is not crispy. It's crispy on the outside and then like almost like a donut hole on the inside. And on the absolute center is chicken. Why would you eat it? It's a stupid question, not to be uh, derogatory. Why would someone eat a deep fried piece of meat? I don't know. Ask every culture that invented it independently throughout world history, because it fucking tastes good. It activates something in your brain that's like, this is be beneficial for my survival. Tell them it's popcorn chicken, but it's not popcorn chicken. That's not fair. <laughs> it's more like, because popcorn chicken is crispy, like popcorn. This is like, it's more like a corn dog batter. I don't order it, by the way, but I did when I was a kid. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's, it's like takoyaki. But for some reason, culturally speaking, whenever Americans go to Japan and they get takoyaki, they're like, I'm living my best life. If they go to the UK and they see chicken takoyaki, they're like, what the hell is that? Chicken balls? Also, takoyaki, good. Easily one of the most overrated Japanese foods. Don't at me. It's good. It's good, okay? But whenever people are like, oh, you gotta try it, I'm like, listen, brother, it's basically just a chicken ball with octopus in it. <laughs> this is perfect timing, man. I can finish my oh, food. Sounds like Chibli's still here. What, what'd you get, Tom? Did you get um, sweet and sour chicken on top of uh, french fries? <laughs> what is he ordering, British Chinese food? I, I was going off on, on the British today. Dude, it's crazy. Is that a real thing? They well, always deserve it. They oh, would sorry. never oh, give me a straight answer. Yeah. I would I would say <laughs> like, Chinese. do people order French fries with their Chinese food there? Or I said, do when yes. you order the food, do they ask you if you want fries or rice? And they said no. And I said, do they serve fries with the Chinese food? And they said yes. Like I was in court. What? That's insane. We you, uh, get, you get uh, chips. <laughs> I remember the buff crazy. like Chinese buffets here also do that when I was younger you could get fries at the buffet and as a child I would I would get the fucking fries bro and then I'd also get <laughs> Sorry sorry I was at a buffet I don't know what was going on dude Why are you going to a Chinese restaurant to get this. fries? Yeah because I was like six years old the takeaway thing, not a restaurant thing? Don't, don't do that. I said, do they do What's that the at difference? Chinese restaurants? And then they said, no. And I said, where do they do them? And they said, takeaways. And I said, all right, you semantic motherfuckers. Then they're like, yeah, it doesn't count because they have no chairs. And I'm like, why are you bringing chairs into what? it, bro? We're talking about potatoes. They also get like stir fried noodles with no vegetables in them whatsoever. That is pretty funny. And fried rice right? that's just brown. Is it really called brown fried rice? That that's really like redund redundant. It is true. I feel like all British food looks so wet. Yes. What? Because all their food is wet. All British food. It does like I I'm sure it tastes good and I would eat it. Um, but it does look like goop. On top, it's like wet goop. Hold the Paltrow. Did, Ryan, so have you been seeing the British Chinese takeaway videos? Yes. Where they pour like a bunch of curry sauce on brown food? Yes. And they're like, I love a good Chinese. I have seen that. They should change the verbiage as well. Oh, absolutely, yes, yes. That's outdated.
Curry sauce is good, though. I bet I bet the dishes are tasty. I mean, people like yeah, to eat things that taste good. good. Yeah, it's just such a, like, a... Mm. Oh, my God. Removal from, like, what we're used to is, like, Chinese food, I think? Unless these people are just ordering, like, brown fried food for the, the, the video. Mm. I see what you're saying. I well, see what you're saying. It's normally, like... You get, like, a sweet and sour pork, and then, like... 25 handfuls of fries <laughs> and served on top fried of fried rice. Fries. Yeah, yeah. It um, will surprise you how good I am at, at these games. I guess the game? Yeah. I. Ooh, this. I think there's only two things this game. I got it in one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm jumping up and down in my chair and stomping my feet like. Well, I'll, I'll think uh, out loud then. I just in got a eyes. wrestling action figure. In my eyes, my brain immediately went God of War 2. Okay. But then also, it was like, could be Last of Us? Because of the snow? Bullet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I feel like it's, it's, it's one, of those, one of those two, but I feel like they've done Last of Us before is the issue, you know? And I think they've done God of War before, too. In my head, I was thinking this could be like a Resident Evil Village type deal, but I never played that one, so I don't know. Is there, yeah, if there's snow neither. in it? Um, Did you play it? That's the one... That's the one that takes place in Romania, right? With the tall lady? Yes, tall lady. Which one's eight? Like a... Is eight out? That, that is eight. Village is eight. Biohazard oh, because it's got three Roman numerals. Yeah, it's yep. V-I-I-I. -I -I. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah, yeah okay. All right, all right. Biohazard as well. No one ever really realizes that Resident Evil 7 is called Biohazard. Um... Oh, I'm gonna look like an idiot. I'm gonna just I'm gonna guess Last of Us. It wasn't Last of Us. Oh, the second image makes it obvious. I feel like was I right? It was a village. It was village. Yeah. Was... Sorry, I had to marinate you. Number two. I mean, you did a good job. It's it's what I'm best at. <laughs> <laughs> but I honestly, yeah. I thought this was um, Chad. Like, keep me honest here. I honestly thought I was guessing Resident Evil Seven. Like, I believe I typed in Resident Evil V-I-I. Oh, that takes place in Louisiana, man. What the hell? You think it snows down oh, there? Oh! <laughs> that is the... I played that one. Yeah, I played that one, man. Oh, but I clicked on Village. I typed Resident Evil 7, but I clicked oh, on Village. Oh, no. Skill difference. We, we definitely would have tied then, because I number two is obvious as hell. I, for this, I would have said Devil May Cry 3, for sure. I would have been lost. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> Um, I'm, I wish it would, dude. Yesterday I nailed it. It was uh, not to give you like a hint on what it isn't today, but it was the finals yesterday. Oh, oh that, that, that's that tough. Real quick. Yeah, let me go. Let me go here. I don't even have a second guess yet. I have to. I have to talk out loud. <laughs> okay. I believe I that it is a PC game that is from more recent times. <laughs> ah ah ah! Um, oh. Did you get it? I can't believe that's not it. Because I thought that... This, I got to mute for a second. Okay, okay. It's not first person. It's not third person. I figured it had to be like overhead. What? And then it had to be like... I, oh. Fantasy was an element that was obviously in here. Oh, but it's it not... You're right. That. It's not an RPG. It's not an RPG. It's not that. I thought it was that for sure. Okay, I'm back. I wonder if you guessed what I guessed. And Did, thought, was and your thought... guess um, a critically acclaimed game? Maybe not really. All right, kinda. we did not guess the same thing. <laughs> I only have two greens, and one of them is the engine, and I'll tell you what it is in Unity. That doesn't help anyone. All right, all right, fair enough. <laughs> that, that helps no one. Oh, uh, I have the I have a very key piece of information that is very weird, and now I'm just like, what is it? Okay. I can't. I thought I fucking had it with my other guess. I felt so confident. It's crazy. This is made in Unity but it's not an indie game. That shocked me as well. I have the genre, or at least one yes. of the genres. Well, sorry, I have a theme. I don't have a genre. I also have a theme. and a, I, have, well, I, have, yeah, I have a theme and a genre, but neither of them are green. They're just yellow. Mm. I, I need to throw this out here to see if it's, if it's published by the same company. I know this guess is wrong. Okay, fair enough. Did you use your one-time clue? I did. Okay, and I'm gave me the. Well. well, no, it gave me... Uh, one very good clue, I should say. 
I already knew that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Did it give you the game engine? It gave me game mode. Oh, game mode. Oh. Dude, I guessed oxygen not included. I felt like a That's god. That's an insanely like, good guess. It. I got it. It wasn't right, and I was pissed. I guess Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> That's isometric. I know, but I didn't know that at the time. <laughs> I don't know what this could be, quite frankly. I, my ass was like, is this Kingdom? And then they don't have Kingdom. Kingdom is a very... great guess. It's also a great guess. I'm, I think we both have to give up. I don't think we know this. It's totally accurate battle simulator. Nope. I think they, are, they already did that. You got it, didn't you? <laughs> you no, son but of a it's gun. so funny what it is. <laughs> it's Max Payne 2. <laughs> it's Max Payne 3. I got to see this for myself. I'm going to throw up. I'm going to fucking Payne? throw up, dude. You're going to throw up. <laughs> Wait, okay, listen. <laughs> so apparently it's Super Auto Pets. Uh, I want to take some issue with this. First off... <laughs> In what world does this have a fantasy theme? Except in the literal sense that uh, it's a fantastic game and also animals doing stuff. Oh, because there's a dragon in it? And it's not indie? How is it it's not just, indie, bro? It's supposed to be indie. Yeah, that must be a mistake. Theme kids? That this, it's like a non-theme. <laughs> fantasy comedy kids. What are you talking about? It's an insult, bro. <laughs> oh. It's disgusting. Oh, no. it's, it's a... It, there was false information in there. It should have said indie. I don't know why. It's the most indie, indie game of all time. Ooh. They got it's card and board dude. game in there, but they don't have they don't have indie. Come on. That's funny. That is dude. really That's funny. Real good. I lost my shit when I saw that. Let me let me <clears throat> let me salute the troops, bro. <laughs> yeah, I got two golden globes right here for you, bro. Oh, oh, that's God, it's horrible, so man. Here. I see. I see a Justin. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. I have an ERP idea, guys. What is ERP? Okay. Um, um, Ryan. Okay. So Erotic someone, someone come with me. Hang on. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Who who wants to be my who wants to be my act my actor part partner? Corey. Sure. What am I doing? <clears throat> hey, babe. Come with me. Hey. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, I hate oh, it. I see you. Already. I see you. Hello. Ah! <laughs> the worst. Like it's like the wrong speed. It's like it's, too slow. Yeah. Corey, <laughs> Corey, way clap. too like. It's Corey, not clap. supposed Corey, to sound clap. like that with that slow Corey, of a rhythm. <laughs> I love when you do it slow. <laughs> It's so yeah, hard slower. to get in and out. It's so slower. hard to slower. put up and down. <laughs> slower, yes. Oh, yes. There you go. Now you kind of got it. So this is what we're doing, huh? <laughs> Listen. This is what Chibli is doing. <laughs> you have to, it's the type of game where you have to make your own fun, you know? We are making... Uh, we're making... Uh, jam! Oh. Back here, guys. We're putting jam in the jam oh, jar. Hey, uh, I, I'm not allowed to pull the lever, but I'm the only person who can pull the lever and get this... Like clown Anyone car parts. Towel? Is there a towel mod yet? Are we on the we right moon, or are you guys gonna? <laughs> my, are you gonna no, kill me if I do, if I pull this lever? It's the right moon. Do Wait, we're on the bad moon? moon. I do have to be right back though. I lock the part, just to be aware. Uh. Right here, right. Oh god, no! <laughs> I got a shovel. There's turrets. There's Turrets. Yeah, so what, bro? Justin, how's it going down there? Oh! I don't know what to do. I'm gonna fuck. Yeah, I'm good. This guy doesn't, he's facing the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> That's not like safe. Thing. You have to say you gotta dodge through. It's really different. We're gonna go to that here. Hey. Oh. I'm gonna, gonna go jump that has a gun on it, and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it too. It's gonna be amazing. Let's go, Chimbley. It's right here. Yup! Yup! Ah! Oh no! What did it send in there? Wow! Oh no.
I tried to close the door. <laughs> oh, man. I believe fell in a hole. Oh, he did. He did yes. He's he's the the pit guy. Oh oh uh. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm freaking out. Hang on, I need to <laughs> evaluate the situation. They're turning off the turret. They're turning off the turret. Ooh, ooh, let mine. Oh, fuck, it's flooded. No, no, it's just raining, Stick. right? Oh, no, 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 the water rises. Oh, Ryan, it's so deep. <laughs> maybe, maybe Wait, what we do we do? Go, it's go, back, go back to the front door and rush for the ship from the high ground. Wait, can we get over the mountain? Uh. Here, here, I'll boost you. I'll boost you. Ah! <laughs> oh! oh my god! I, oh! <laughs> this is like when people fall off Mount Everest. <laughs> you made it! You made it! I think we can go this way. No, 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 here, here. You can just jump on my head. No, no, this way, man! No! No, no, get up, get up! Oh, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. I don't know if I can make that jump, dude. That's like a speedrunner jump. No, you got this. Maybe, I think you can go around in the water, probably. Is it shallow here? Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's like we're at the beach. Kind of nice. <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> Careful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. I think we're gonna die out uh -huh. here. Oh, right there! You see it? Oh, that's a dog! Joke, Careful. Even, uh, so Careful. it must be real. Oh. He's dead. <laughs> Who was it? I don't know. I heard. I'll go find out. Did Ryan die? I'm alive. It must be Chibli then. It's Chib. It's Chib. Where am I? Bro, I'm fucking Can't lost, shit, bro. Oh, 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 what was that? Oh, no, oh, no! Did, Corey? Yeah? Did you hear this dude just got zapped? Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, bro! What's wrong? Ah, oh. open door, open door! Oh, run! There's no way out, bro. I'm taking it for you, man, I'm taking it for you. I jumped over his head! Ryan. Ryan. I got him, I got him. How many are you hitting him? Wait, where'd he go? He's in the steam. I lost him in the steam. <laughs> Bro, Corey fucking fell <laughs> over, man. That was horrifying. We're getting the hell out of here, man. We're the last ones left. Oh, that was Chibli, that's right. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> this shit got wall hacks, bro! Turns out, turns out zero was... <laughs> this shit got wall hacks! It looked, like were, it looked like you were smacking bullets with the stop I sign. I saved <laughs> somebody, <laughs> whoever that was. Uh, oh! Oh! Oh my god. Apollo's in the same spot oh. now. Bro, he kept shooting them through the wall, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, son of a bitch, man. This game's great. Oh, I way. have a, I actually have a sick idea for a YouTube video if you guys are down. But you got to tell me you're down before I tell you what it is. I'm down. Okay. I'm down. We all go to the pharmacy and oh, say man. we have a colonoscopy tomorrow. So they give you the gallon prep juice. And then okay. we all chug it, and the last person to shit their pants wins. That was like a Mr. Beast video. 
Dude, yeah, but it would be so funny. Can know. you imagine? You'd be like, ow, yeah, ow. Yeah, you take the video oh. impact on get funding the <laughs> Do we have to be in the same room spirit? at the same time? We got a what? Do we have to be in the same room at the same yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, we're going to be sitting time? in like one of those chairs where they like have shackles oh, on the arms. So you got to like shackle your arms <laughs> to the chair too. You're chained to the shitter. Yeah, yeah, you're chained <laughs> to the chair. <laughs> There's nothing in I there. think I'd win easily. Really? I would lose no, for sure. dude. I uh, physically cannot shit my pants, even if I tried. No, after you drank the Dude, shit, you would you, lose. I've drank magnesium. No, 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 uh, but this is the before. clinical magnesium antifreeze. I've had a cold house before. You, man, you won't be able to resist not... it. Apollo, you don't have to do this, but go like drink two liters of prune juice and just see what happens, bro. I know yeah, there are the problems, but that shit... It's like drinking a, like a demon in a vial. Like, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> You know that? Tell me, bro. The last time I took magnesium citrate, it didn't make me shit. It just made my shit the worst experience of my entire life. Dude, to yeah. think though, if we do that like seasonally every year, in like oh. 2029, NL's uh, shit off best of compilation. <laughs> That'd be a good one. Yeah. Probably get like two million views. That's a problem. That's a, yeah, another thumper. He's coming back. Put the door. Get in. Where the hell did he get all, out of here? Is this all fucked? Is this all fucked? There's a there's a way over here. I'm coming. What's over here? I'm in my eye, but I'm being really brave about it. This way? Oh, I went over here. I don't think there is anything. There's no fuck man, by the way. Oh, I love a fuck man. I'd we are hopelessly turned around. Nah, I'd win. I would definitely win. I... Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> We're back in the warehouse. What the fuck? Dude's having a breakdown, man. Dude, I walked right into him. I touched the fuck man, and he, he backed away. Did, was that one of you? Oh no! Oh no! Get away from me, bro! I can't. I can't help you. We got a stop sign. I don't have a. Oh, you got a stop sign. Okay, okay. Yeah. There's no stop sign, bro. Whatever. I'd win. Are you. Here. A brother. So I don't understand. A brother. Careful. There's a spider over here. I mean, we have to go this way. I'm gonna jump over him. <sighs> Me too. Ah! <laughs> you motherfucker. Where? Where are you dead? I'm alive! Oh my god. Ow! Oh, I'm still alive! Where is the... How are we so lost? <laughs> Hello? Holy, where did this come from? Oh, son of a bitch. We're done. It's over. I, I have never been this lost before in my life. Fuck you. Fuck you. How this, am I alive, dude? This is what it's like to be the man in the arena. Three, two, one, nuts on the table. I'm gonna kill you if you don't kill me. I will kill you if you don't kill me. Bro, I'm back in the warehouse. He's not on the ship. <laughs> I am looking there at the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, where were we? The new rooms, man. We got screwed. 
Justin no lived? We <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, win. it would be an insane video. I, I Listen, I don't know if you would win. I know I would lose. But you saying that it oh, doesn't I'd make you poop is crazy. Because that's like... I would absolutely lose. This is literally all it does. That's You don't understand how broken my bowels are. I don't think you understand. You know, doesn't this... It like is like a lock and key mechanism with your your the speed of your colon. It's like it gives your, your poop nos. Um, hey, you would not be able to resist it. <laughs> it causes your uh, your thing to just create a bunch of liquid, but you don't understand. Everything's broken down there. It's all blocked up. It doesn't. It, it's not gonna make it go. It's just gonna make my bowels explode. Again, I, it won't, I don't wanna. It won't I don't kill wanna you. relive the experience I had when I took that magnesium citrate last time. It was uh, it was bad. It was like screaming on the toilet. Bad. Oh, it's, it's like fine. one of the ones where you take your you take your shirt off. It was like I wonder if I bash my head against the wall. <laughs> You take your shirt off. Why is yeah, that so dude, relatable? That happens sometimes, man. You know, the poop dude, is so bad. So bad. You, you, you gotta get so hot. The stuff off around your ankles. You gotta take the shirt off. You're <laughs> supposed to actually choke, spinning. Dude. I did. I thought that was just a me thing. Oh, That's just how it works, huh? Man, no, it's so true. <laughs> So I'm hot, glad man. that's not just me. I thought I was. I thought I was crazy, man. Dude. Basically, everything you have to return to, to like. Oh. You gotta return to free <laughs> one like humans. To get it. It's like. It's wild because suddenly, like, it all just it like it it, it it feels wrong, you know? Like you're like. <laughs> Thanks for that. If you've never taken a poop so bad you had to take your shirt off, you've never lived as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> you No, no, I think it's the opposite. They are living, I think, is what it is. Oh. No, yeah, I wouldn't I remember, wish that upon my worst enemies. I remember one Thanksgiving, uh, as a kid, I drank a whole, like, two-liter bottle of apple juice. I didn't know that shit would oh, run no. through you, man. <laughs> I, I, was, I was pissing out my ass for, like, the whole night. I'm gonna tell you something. Thanksgiving uh, ruined. I, th I think this is. You're either gonna say I'm insane or I'm the most normal guy of all time. Once you have not met the prophet, uh, you're gonna wait for that. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be quick, dude. Fun. Welcome Hang to on, our disciplinary process. Oh, okay. <laughs> In your own private bathroom, mm -hmm. take your pants and underwear off to take a dump. It's so freeing uh -huh. to be able to, like, stretch your legs more than the oh, yeah. angle that you can stretch them when you're wearing jeans. Okay, everyone says I'm how, normal. Okay, just checking. How how far are you stretching your legs? <laughs> stretching your legs? Well, you know, like like yeah, well, I, increasing the bathroom man, you might be rich posting right now. Dude, what I, I'm he did say his lie. own private bathroom. Okay, what are you so talking about? No, I'm saying in contra in comparison, like don't go to the Denny's and take your pants off in the stall. <laughs> like that's crazy. <laughs> Hanging pants. I'm not rich post. Like you can, you can fit your pants on the floor of the bathroom. That's insane. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out what you mean by stretching your legs. Okay. Short posting too. I think. I well, think that might just be like, true. Like, like spread them wider. No. Yes. Because your pants, oh, okay. when your pants, your pants are at your ankles, you can only stretch Pons. them up to the, <laughs> up to the level of the the denim. But if you take the denim He's off, so you can stretch it a little fancy, further. Dude. This is not okay. I'm rich, but that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. <laughs> when you take your pants off in the luxury bathroom, it has nothing to dude, do. I your remember... bathroom is big enough that because your pants are on your body when you go in the room. It's like Isaac uh, Newton that would tell you that your pants can fit in the bathroom by necessity. I'm gar I'm betting I have the smallest toilet hair, and I agree I think it's possible. I've you done agree it. with yourself. <laughs> You have the smallest about, toilet or a about stretching your legs straight or No, like, no, no. Increasing the angle between that your two legs like, make with your pelvis. Like man spreading, but on the toilet. Yes. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like you're stretching I, um, your legs out straight doing like freaking But, curls but if you or some if you go oh, no, too kind of, far, I feel like that's counterproductive. If you go too <laughs> far, yeah, I can't poop with my feet not in the air or not not on the ground. <laughs> like if my feet were in the air, I don't think I could I could poop. The denim limited angle for your legs limits the uh, aperture that the poop comes out of. But also, if you, <laughs> if you increase the angle too much, like if, I would say if you take it past like 100 degrees, I think that the cheeks start squeezing the aperture too. And then it also 100? causes like compressions. Straight sideways? That, that's, that would be 180. <laughs> that would be, that would be <laughs> a sumo, a a sumo shit. <laughs> 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 if you feel this way, 90 is this way, 
Yeah. So a hundred, your legs are like this way. A hundred is like just a little bit me. past ninety. Yeah. So your legs are behind your... I didn't even get my legs to <laughs> what 90, What are you talking man. about? You can't get I'm your like, legs to 90? Over... What are you talking about? I'm Hold sitting on the toilet hundreds. like this. Uh, my legs well, I'm doing it are not right turned now. at all this straight. You're sitting on the toilet? No, I'm... No, no, for the <laughs> hypothetical. Like freak. Hypothetical. Legs? I think we all Okay. Are. <laughs> 90 degrees, the legs are here, right? The knees face this way. Straight right. Well, and one would be one would be straight forward, and right one would chip. be ten, ten degrees, degrees is not right. very many degrees, Chip. Yeah, it's not. One at time all. it's three percent. One time I, one time I was trying to recreate a squatty potty in my own bathroom, so I just put my feet up on the door because the door is right in front of the toilet. So I just wait. What? Oh, oh, I see. I Were see, you I balancing see. Oh, like on I put the knob? Yeah, 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 I didn't. Yeah, pretty. You don't much. want your feet out with a squatty potty. You want your 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 well, knees high. It was a dire situation. I needed to do something different, oh, so I no. put my feet up on the door, dude. Was the shirt off? Yep. Didn't work. <laughs> oh, no, nothing worked. Oh, man. Well, it was a great uh, lethal yes. lobby, everyone. <laughs> good gaming. Good gaming. Good games. Great gaming. Good game. Oh, great games. Man. Thing, thing, what is that thing? Thing, sing, that thing can sing. Song, long. A long, long song. <laughs> Goodbye thing. You sing too long. In the words of the inimitable Dr. Seuss. That is true. Young adults in 1971, Dr. Seuss. Young adults in... <laughs> oh, no, no, this, this could totally work. Okay, just give it... A, I, I stole the joke from chat. I'm just putting a little spin on it. <clears throat> Midwestern moms, I'm sorry, it's punching down. Midwestern moms in 1975, Dr. Seuss. Midwestern moms in 2024, Dr. Sus. I'm sorry, I had to do it. Librarian thinks this website is so cooked, man. I, ba I, I, I took the joke from chat. The joke? I took the joke from chat, and I get financially rewarded for it? No, you know what? I'm being financially rewarded for being the only streamer who would admit to it. Yeah, that's the cope. Hmm. Chat, is NL a pick-me streamer? Um, no, I don't think so. Because I think a pick-me is like, um, I'm not like other girls, I watch sports. But actually, the the subtext is that like they're um, degrading themselves just to get approval, right? They they they're like a Benedict Arnold of their their own demographic because rather than have solidarity, they want uh, approval. The problem with the hypothesis that I am a pick me streamer is because I definitely make fun of chat more than I make fun of other streamers. I did not mean to purchase this bomb. So, like, there's a subtext in every joke that I make about other streamers, which is it could be worse, they could be chatters. How do you feel about that? Lamau, he got us? Look at them, they love it. You can insult them right to their face. <laughs> They'll keep coming back for more. <laughs> Isn't it crazy that Sir Arthur and... <laughs> Isn't it crazy that Sir Arthur Conan Doyle wrote both Sherlock Holmes and James Bond? He did? No, I made it up. I didn't know what to say, so I just made up something for clicks. That's Ian Fleming. The guy who played Magneto. It is kind of crazy that the same dude played Gandalf and Magneto. Two of the most based characters in millennial movie history. Wait, a big hook is coming over from the side of the screen? <laughs> They're saying Magneto's not based? Not for his, like, uh... Like, he did a lot of negative stuff, don't get me wrong. He had his motivations, for better or for worse. But anytime they have to build a special prison just for you... In cinema terms, that's fucking cool. 
I guess this isn't fair um, to say because there wouldn't have been much of a movie. Like I, I'm, I'm willing, more than willing, to suspend my disbelief for entertainment. But they really should have just killed Magneto. They should have just poisoned him or something, right? Every time he they put him in that plastic prison, he gets out, man. He uses like the hemoglobin in his in your blood, or Mystique smuggles in like a fork or something like that. They really should have just just cut his head off with like a wooden guillotine or something. Just kill him, bro. <laughs> dude, you're right. The dude can lift the Golden Gate Bridge with his mind. You got. I'm sorry. It's just like some things you gotta put. Humanity aside. <laughs> Hit him with like a crossbow bolt or something. He's made of the same flesh that we are, dude. We could have like a wooden arrowhead or something, I'm sure. Hey, did you hear that they're remaking uh, the character of Magneto to make him fit in better with uh, the modern world? That's right. They're changing Magneto into Plastico. <laughs> he can now manipulate plastic. I, I, I earn those minus twos. Don't take them from me. I earn them. Me, when I'm the uh, prison guard assigned to guard Magneto and I realize he can manipulate all the microplastic in my blood. Well, so that just happened. Yeah, yeah, and the only thing that could keep him restrained is a full metal prison. And then at the end of the movie, he escapes and he gets on the airplane and he, they're like, sir, would you like chicken or fish? And he's dignified, so he says, actually, I believe I ordered the vegetarian meal. And they go, of course, very good, sir. And he opens up the vegetarian meal, and there's a plastic fork and a plastic knife in there. And he looks at the camera. And then you, -na 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 what I've done. <laughs> Dude, that would go crazy. X-Men 4-2. Birth of Plastico. I bought a new weed pen. The dude at the store said it was like 6 out of 10 strong. I took a hit and fell asleep at my desk at work. I hope you don't work mission control at NASA. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Also, I guess there's a lesson in that. Is that like you shouldn't trust the strength of it based on the person working at the dispensary, right? <laughs> I'm an air traffic controller. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm quality control at Boeing. Okay, everybody's got jokes, man. No, oh, okay, I, I'm a guard at the prison where Jeffrey Epstein was interred. I don't know what interred means. Incarcerated, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. It means buried? <laughs> oh, okay, my mistake. I was right, but for the wrong reasons. Yeah, I don't know enough about weed to comment on it. To, just to be honest with you, I don't think I have the temperament to smoke weed as a 35-year-old man. Becoming one of those dudes who takes edibles kind of scares me in the context of um, having a child. I'm not saying they can't intermingle, but like a, I, the, the way I understand it, you can easily control your dose when you take it uh, via your respiratory system. So you can be like, I'm a little too high. I'm not going to smoke any more weed. I'm not quite as high as I would like to be. I'm going to smoke a little more weed. But like when you take an edible, you're kind of like, it's like a silent auction. You're saying like, I think I want to be this, I, this much brownie high. And then in like an hour, I hope you're happy with your decision because like there's not until like the morning you're kind of just set right <laughs> this is this is an actual science question do you get do you process it faster via um your respiratory system or is it just that when you eat an edible you take the whole dose at once basically or uh whereas when you smoke it the same dose, you take it in like, you know, 10 hits where you could get off the ride at any given point. So you could stop it at any moment. You, you're actually more right than you think. That's the power of first principles thinking. So what you're saying is we should be smoking beers. People have been saying this. 
I feel like... For all the jokes, the human race is actually very ingenious. I feel like if vaping alcohol had any benefit and didn't have health consequences, we would probably be doing it. Because people are pouring the stuff up their butts. And that seems way more inconvenient. Which tells me that the vaporizing of alcohol simply seems like it doesn't work. Or it would literally kill you from the inside out or something. Like, I just want you to know, if, if when related to like human leisure, if you've ever had the idea that's like, oh, I wonder if uh, anybody's ever tried, mm, what about like a fried chicken sandwich that has like Belgian waffles for the bun? Watch uh, the episode of Drugs, Inc., where a dude cooks crystal methamphetamines with just household detergents and old two-liter soda bottles in a forest, and you'll be like, yeah, they tried that one. They definitely did. This dude is out here making a drug with literally plastic bottles and Windex. It goes through like a 900-step process, and he's doing it in the woods. They tried the, the, the donut bun fried chicken sandwich. I promise you that. That's not going to be your big break. I'm not saying you're not going to have one. It's just not going to be that. Would you try meth for a documentary? No. This shit is like a key in your brain, right? You have a, you have a lock in your brain, and everybody says, Hey, make yourself at home, but like, don't go see what's behind that door. That's the only thing I'm asking you. I'm not opening the door, bro. I'm thankful for the hospitality of, you know, hundreds of millions of years of mammalian evolution. My forefathers before me said, don't open that door. I'm keeping the door closed. Your secrets will remain. I honestly think one of the most, it's not a documentary, but one of the most important pieces of nonfiction writing in my generation is that dude's account on Reddit where he said, ask me anything, I'm gonna try heroin tonight and not get addicted. And everyone was like, don't do it. And he was like, nah. I've got like really good discipline. And then he tried it and he got addicted to heroin. And then he didn't post for like eight months. And then he came back and was like, hey, I'm in rehab for my heroin addiction. Ask me anything. And then he's been like, as I understand it, at least he's been like on and off the wagon ever since. It's like, it's, it's a sad story, but it is also like, that story is probably saved. I mean, I don't think I was at risk of really like doing heroin to begin with, but certainly after reading that post, I was like, well, I'm definitely never going to touch that now. <laughs> That's also what I mean when I said, like, I don't know, I've been saying it for, for years now. It's the smart, smart, dumb, dumb axis. That dude is dumb, smart or smart, dumb. I can't remember where we fell on this one. He probably did well in school He because he's, he's built a character of himself in his mind where he's smarter than the average person, so the rules don't apply to him. That's why it's dangerous to be smart dumb. You gotta be smart enough to realize at least I'm not dumb, but dumb enough to realize there are smarter... You should listen to people who have been through something that you've never been through before. No, no, no. We, librarian, you can refer them to our, our previously published work on this if they want a dissertation. I'm not gonna just play the hits today. What do you think's the best creepy pasta of all time? Um... I would say, but who was phone? That's a big one. I do follow that, um, that two sentence horror account on Twitter that always posts the Reddit ones. It's so funny, like, again, with, with a limited amount of disrespect, just criticism, not disrespect. They, they're self-aware when they do it, but every story is the worst story you've ever heard in your life. It's always like, you know, two sentence horror. I was so excited to finally hold my wife's hand after so long apart. And then I remembered her hands got chopped off by that guy with the sword. And like, it's, that's it. Like genuinely that's on par with like the level of the stories that you see on Two Sentence Horror. And then without fail in every single uh, post that this account makes on Twitter of the stuff from Reddit, there's like a thousand people in the replies going, wait a minute, this one's actually pretty good. 
Like all the other ones that you've posted were ass, but this one's actually pretty good. Can you come up with one on the spot? I, I literally just did. I asked him to come up with one on the spot. And then I remembered he already had. That one's actually good? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, can I have an everything bagel? Oh, and don't forget to put an extra pound of poop on it. That, I took that from chat. That's a good one. That Oh, this one gave me shivers. Driving past the tomato factory. Parentheses. I have a phobia of tomatoes. <laughs> okay. All right. Listen. I don't want to freak anybody out. It's getting a little too serious. This is supposed to be all ages content. In spite of the fact that I think you have to click a box that says you're over 18 to watch this. Because this game is rated M. <laughs> You know what, though? The, the game is rated M for mature, but the stream, for me, I always like to say it's rated I for immature. Because I'm like, I'm just like a kid who never grew up, to be honest with you. Hey, by the way, I saw a lot of gamers playing Pacific Drive. How'd they get that demo? Is that demo available or is that demo you gotta, you gotta kiss the ring of the publisher? Which I don't mind. You gotta kiss the ring? Son of a bitch. Gotta remember my email login. Can I say that I also saw a tweet uh, and it made me laugh because it reminded me of Dan. It said, my old boss used to declare something he called email bankruptcy. Once every two months, he would select all in his email inbox and then just hit archive all and go from a clean slate. His logic was, if it's really important, they'll email me again. <laughs> I think, honestly, I don't do that, but I really do respect it. Yeah, Dan used to delete his. But I mean, I don't know if there's that much of a difference. If anything, deleting them might be better than archiving them. Because if you archive them in court, they'll be like, look, you got this email that you claim not to have seen. Whereas Dan could just be like, I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> they claim to have emailed me. It doesn't appear to exist in my inbox. I, the first email I've ever received on this account that I've had for 17 years came in 62 days ago. Officer, Dan deletes Dropbox uploads while he's still streaming. What is that? Why is he uploading stuff to Dropbox while he's streaming? Also, listen, I have my share of technical problems. Don't get me wrong. But whenever... Someone, I'm, and it, I apologize to Justin because it most recently happened to him. Whenever I'm streaming with someone and they say, uh, oh, the recording broke because my hard drive filled up. Guys, this, this is not an industry in its infancy anymore, okay? We've been doing this for a decade. We got, that's something you got to just do a quick cursory glance every morning and be like, that was you a few years ago? I know, and people can change, bro. When is the last time you heard me say my... I have to delete a video game sometimes to download something from Steam. That's because every video game is fucking like 75 gigabytes now. It's too much. Have you ever considered declaring hard drive bankruptcy? Yeah, but that hard drive bankruptcy only hurts you. Because you're going to be like, oh, I want to use this application. Oh, I haven't downloaded it. Now I got to download it. Email and uh, bankruptcy only hurts the people who want to reply from you, which is based. <laughs> Some people should expect a reply. Some people shouldn't have emailed in the first place. It sucks that both of them kind of get hit. There's a lot of collateral damage there, but like sometimes there's just too many emails, bro. <laughs> Vehicles queued up at an airport. What are planes? Tightly hold on to. Grasp. Pond scum. Algae. Alcohol. Booze. Something's not right here. Grammy award winning rap producer. Swiss beats. Muscles exercised by crunches. Abs. Stealthy. Okay, let's, let's go this way. Let's happen. Allows. Fossil fuel lobby. Begoil. <laughs> so this is sly. So close. Yeah, no, I, I, I think big oil. And then Sazazi. 
stylish and attractive. Glisp. <laughs> Vehicles queued up at an airport. Cabs. Clasp. <laughs> it's not book oil, man. <laughs> Algae is algae. Algae could be right. Hang on. Let's happen. Allows fossil fuel lobby informally. Big oil. Stylish and attractive. Peace, man. <laughs> oh, that's so good, dude. Oh, one second. We gotta we gotta imagine this a little better. This is a complete oh no, no, this is Swiss. I'm I'm sure of it. And this is booze, bro. And this is algae. Snazzy! Okay, okay, okay. Klimp <laughs> and Swi it must be Swizz Swizz beats. Jeez, cling. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, okay. Swizz beats. My mistake. I, peas was so good, especially when I saw that the clue was man, oh man. Oh man, bag oil. That was, this is not my, uh, not my best performance on the miniature crossword today, but that's okay. Pisses on your leg. Uh, oops. No, oh, my yellow leg. I was rubbing on that. <clears throat> Please stop. Okay. Indonesia. That's a great guess. Malaysia. Singapore. Sorry, I'm trying to delete it. Mmm, Thailand. Brunei? Are you Brunei? Yo, thank God. So for a second, I was like, they're trying to trick me. There's no country there. I Even when I said Brunei, I honestly thought it was these islands. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know it was this little laddie right here. Cat threw up. Help me. Okay, I'll be right back. Her, her. Can I tell you something? Last night, I ran up the stairs as I often do. My wife said, You shouldn't run up the stairs. You're a 35-year-old man. You're a father. You're a professional. It's time to start walking up the stairs. Well, <laughs> walking up the stairs, Andy, when a cat threw up two floors above me and they need me ASAP, <gasps> that's all I'm going to... Walk up the stairs, Andy's have been pretty quiet ever since I ran up the stairs to clean up a mess. That's all I'm saying. Oh, no, she's on to me. I was just saying you made fun of me for running up the stairs. But then when I ran up the stairs to clean up the mess, I bet you were like, it has its uses. No, you always run up the stairs making such a loud noise. I do go tuk 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 tuk. I have fallen down this. And the falling down the stairs, it hurts. But when you think of all the time I've saved running up the stairs, I you think it's... You run up the stairs, man. You walk up the stairs. Nobody goes to run up the stairs. I can't run down the stairs. I'll fall. No, walk. Walk. Walk slowly. All right, but I'm going to take it three steps at a time. No, I don't go on all fours, but I could. I could. By the way, I just keep me honest here. I gotta leave. I wish this was true. Or I'm sorry, I wish this wasn't true. 
I wish I was lying to you. I have to leave at 1.55 because I got to go to a webinar for a, a school we might send our daughter to. So I, you can catch me. I already know it's going to be a fucking disaster, bro. I'm going to be the only person who's got a 4K camera and like stuff in the background. <laughs> A, a microphone on a, on a swivel arm and stuff like that. It's going to be a bunch of people in suits with Vaseline smeared all over their cameras. They're going to be like, what do you do for work? And I'm going to be like, uh, <laughs> I'm a podcaster. That's cool. I'm the Surgeon General for British Columbia. Okay, brother, whatever. Like, it's not, we, he will not divide us. Nah, we ain't going big mole. And I'm not drinking any frickin' Merlot. You get out of here, I'll go big sheep. That's as much as I'm willing to compromise. Me when mutton costs twenty dollars. Can I can I ask you a genuine question? What is mutton? Mutton is meat from a sheep over two years old. British ass, European sounding meat. Why why don't we consume mutton in North America? Does it taste like dog water? We eat lamb here, not as much as they do in Europe for sure, but it's not that good. It's not as good as lamb. I'd at least like to give it a try. Can I tell you, by the way, a, a lot of English people were a little bit displeased with the way I spoke about um, British Chinese food. I'm just coming from a place of curiosity. I did receive a DM from a, uh, a longtime viewer, acquaintance of mine that lives in England. They said, this is what the DM said, unprompted. British Chinese food for what it's worth. Almost all white people order chips with their meal as a side. So that's the first thing that I feel like, as, if we're getting down to brass tacks, that would blow the American mind. The idea that you would go to a Chinese restaurant and order Chinese food and then also a side of french fries is crazy. About 5 to 10% of the adult population actively orders them instead of fried rice or noodles. The food is tasty but greasy and unhealthy. It's, we've got some commonalities. As Shaw said, the British and the Americans are two peoples divided by a common language. <laughs> um, there's a big difference in British culture between a takeaway and an actual restaurant as well. Almost no one orders the plates of beige and brown at a real restaurant. I would say that in, in North America, we, we don't have as much of that distinction when it comes to Chinese food. Most Chinese food restaurants in North America, there are, there are more sit-down ones that maybe are a little bit fancier. But most Chinese restaurants, the difference between eating in and taking it away is just where you consume the food. You're getting more or less the same menu at, uh, at either establishment. So it's good. We, we've got some... Uh, we learn something together. There's, there's, there's more alike than apart, probably. And that's why it's funny. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that being said, let's just scrap this one. I was trying to stoke international tensions, okay? Um, you wouldn't catch us eating french fry sandwiches over here. Spaghetti sandwiches? Maybe. Maybe a spaghetti sandwich. They're not french fries, they're chips. This is what bothers me, because I get accused of trying to divide North America and the United Kingdom. Meanwhile, I call them french fries, which is what they are, and everybody's like, no, they're not french fries, they're chips. You're the ones dividing us, bro. It's the same thing. Oh, one has a slightly different surface area to volume ratio. Relax. Everyone becomes Archimedes when it comes time to discuss the difference between chips and french fries. Doesn't make any damn sense. Okay. It has happened. You're gone. You're gone. You're here. You're here. Waffles go to the cockatoo, even though it's not that efficient. I've never really used the cockatoo effectively before this weekly, so we, we give it a chance to pop. I've used the cockatoo effectively. We have a Cosmopolitan Magazine Platinum member in the chat. And we love that for them. They have wiretapped the mothercratic party <laughs> and served... I don't know where... I, I, listen, I don't keep up with the, the memes as much as I should these days. I'm still not comfortable... I'm comfortable spelling it. I'm not comfortable saying it. C-U-N-T. I can't say it. I know that it's, it's a regional thing. And like in Australia, 
and New Zealand. It's just something you say. What I don't, I mean, I here's the thing. It's not even like I'm not offended by the word, but my culture growing up ingrained in me that that was basically like an assault on someone's honor to the extent that they could respond with violence. It was basically like one of the worst words you could use, especially to describe, if you use it to describe a woman, that's like a capital offense. And if you use it to describe, to describe a man, it's like slightly less bad, but still pretty bad. I just don't feel like it, because I've never really used it, I think. I don't think it would feel normal to come out of my mouth. I can say, fuck this, shit this, slurp up the shit, diarrhea milkshake. Like, that feels natural coming out of my mouth. Then you find out people in Scotland are just like, that's what they call their best friend. We called each other that at school, age 10. Where was your school? Because it, it probably was not in you know, Harrow Smith, Ontario. Let me put it that way. Melbourne? Yeah. That's Melbourne tech right there. That's old school Melbourne. You wouldn't get that in Melbourne these days. Am I right, fellow Aussies? I bet r slash Melbourne is just like r slash Vancouver. Best Georgie pie in the city? Well, there used to be a place down on Harbour Road. Fortunately, it closed down in 2013. Melbourne has little brother syndrome. Can I tell you? I can only speak to this from my perspective. I don't know if this replicates the perspective of all Canadians and Americans. My perception of Australian cities, as I know it. Canberra, the capital, is like our Ottawa. It's the capital. Nobody really knows why. Not necessarily a bad town, but kind of boring. Sydney is like... The New York City of Australia is like the economic center of the country. It has a lot of tourist attractions and stuff like that. And then Melbourne is like the Los Angeles, Vancouver of Australia. It's like the weather's a little milder. It's a little cooler there. Property's completely out of reach. It's, you you got to swap them. Sydney's the Vancouver. Melbourne's the New York. I live in Ottawa. What'd you say fuck me for? I like Ottawa. The Rideau Canal, the locks, the Rideau Center, the McDonald's next to the Rideau Center. Hull, you, the Museum of Civilization, the Parliament Buildings. I saw Superbad in that movie theater, okay? I got a lot of respect for it. But everybody who lives in Ottawa tells me it's boring. Did you ever make the pilgrimage to Hooker Harvey's? I don't know. <laughs> VIP Daniel, I don't know what that is. I, I didn't spend much time in Toronto, okay? I don't know what, what Hooker Harvey's is. In terms of things that I've done at, in Toronto, I have been to Honest Ed's. I have been to Lee's Palace. Slammed a couple of tea beers at the Distillery District. Seen a few games at the Sky Dome. Walked into the Steam Whistle Brewery. They said it'll be two hours to wait for the tour, but you can sit at the bar. I said, why would I want to sit at the bar? This beer is not good. We'll go someplace else and get something that's actually tasty. Would you ever travel to Idaho? Um, if Boise State made the, um, the Marlboro Bowl, you could catch me in the stadium for sure. My God, we did it. I don't have to retire from Super Auto Pets. I was talking about it in the Peloton uh, sub-community in the Discord. I, I, for people who don't live in North America, I'm going to simplify America for you, okay? You don't need to learn all 50 states. There's actually, like, just a few things you need to know, okay? There are... We're going to split the United States into regions. We're going to make everybody angry. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to leave England alone for a minute, but not for long. Or Canada, for that matter. And Australia, congratulations. There are three American states you need to know. California, Texas, and Florida are their own beasts. Culturally distinct enough from the geographic areas that they reside in, in order to have to know them singularly. New York, you do not have to know, but you do have to know New York City. That's special region number four. Apart from that, 
you need to know the Northeast. And the Northeast is basically Maryland up to Maine and west to the start of Pennsylvania. The South is... Sorry, put... I forgot. Put Virginia into the Northeast as well. I apologize. North Carolina to Georgia, west to Oklahoma. That's the South. Washington and Oregon are the only states in the Pacific Northwest. Sorry, Idaho. Everything that I did not mention is part of the Midwest, including Chicago. But Chicago might be like the, the next special region you need to know as well. So if you picture a map of the United States, the middle is all Midwest. There's a little bit of South in the Southeast, but not South enough to Florida. And then basically it's the Northeast and the Pacific Northwest and California. That's it. That's all you need. Hawaii? Yes. Congratulations, Hawaii. You're the newest state in the Midwest. What about Las Vegas? Midwest. And if you don't believe me, go to Las Vegas and tell me how many pink Stanley Cups you see when you're walking down the Strip. Alaska? We will admit them into the Pacific Northwest. They have my permission. I actually don't hate it. Listen, every, the, the point is, ev it's not that everybody's going to be happy with it. It's that everybody is going to be roughly equally mad about it, which is how you know you've got a good compromise. So PA is the Midwest. Pennsylvania, west of Philadelphia, born and raised, is the Midwest. East of, of Philadelphia, including Philadelphia, is the Northeast. Washington, D.C., clearly part of the Northeast. I really don't care what Thomas Jefferson said to Alexander Hamilton, okay? Washington, D.C. is now in the Northeast. It's below the Mason-Dixon line, not the cultural Mason-Dixon line, my friend. Pittsburgh's coming for your head? Bro, bullshit, bro! I know yins identify as Midwesterners. Your football team is named after steel workers, bro. In the Northeast, it's all named after, like, heroes of the Revolutionary War and shit. They're part of the Midwest, bro! They wear big jackets in the wintertime that are not puffy. That's how you know they're in the Midwest. It's like you think that I would just say this stuff without giving any thought to it. I've been cooking this one up in the dome for a while. If anybody should be mad, it's Chicago, to be honest with you. Because Chicago is on the wrong side of where I drew the delineation. I said New York gets its own special area. Chicago, unfortunately, ends up being part of the Midwest. I'm sure Chicago would like to be in a special administrative district as well. I personally think that they're a huge city with Midwestern values. But I haven't, I haven't spent any time there, so it's based purely in ignorance, to be fair. Denver's the same vibe. Listen, it's no disrespect to Denver, okay? You can't compare Denver to Chicago. <laughs> We can't do that. Chicago have like, like 11 million people in the metro area or something like that. I got nothing against Denver, bro. Do Canada next. I insult my own country all the time in exactly the same way. There are basically like, in terms of like special provinces that you need to know, there's even less because obviously like our population is a lot smaller. I can't believe we won that one. The um, east of Quebec is a region. That's the Atlantic region. Quebec and Ontario are special administrative zones. I'll give them the respect that I feel that they deserve. Manitoba, Alberta, Saskatchewan are Texas. British Columbia, I'm trying to avoid, you know, home bias here. Most of British Columbia is Montana. I don't even know if you need to know Vancouver as like a special administrative zone. It's just kind of like it's an aberration within the rest of the province. You could even, I would, the BC is, is somewhat culturally distinct from the provinces between it and, Man and it and Ontario. It's flyover country. Bro, what do you, maybe if you're taking an a airliner from Tokyo, how the hell are you going to fly over British Columbia? This shit starts at the 
end of the Pacific Ocean. You want a damn seaplane tailspin? And then everything uh, north of that, i.e. the three territories, are season one of the terror. Did you see the dude who kept photoshopping young women when they would post selfies? He would photoshop them and be like, hey, nice picture. Here's what you would look like if you were black or Chinese. And then he became like Twitter's main character for, I don't know, like a week. And then someone created an anonymous account and posted a picture of his house and then a picture of himself and said, listen, scumbag, I know where you live and this is what you look like. And then he replied to it and said, cool, here's what I would look like if I was black or Chinese. I'm not saying you got to hand it to him, but the reply is one of the funniest comebacks I think you could possibly conceive of in that situation is actually so good. <laughs> and the dude who posted a picture of his house deleted his account. Oh, 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 it's that's when they say a good offense is a great defense. The best offense is a good defense. Oh, man. That site's still got a little magic in it. Not a lot. Let's be clear. <laughs> There's still something rattling around in those old bones. I still think we lose. For the record. <laughs> Did you see the Yams Walmart post on Twitter? Yams Walmart. I did not see the Yams. Son of a bitch. 25 minutes till Jackbox. Searching. Uh, I'll search on Bing. Yams Walmart. Sweet potatoes sold in singles. The review is for. Who, what motherfucker is reviewing sweet potatoes on Walmart.ca? That's an affront to Mother Nature. You're giving God a 4.3 for the sweet potato? Mm, a little bit too much uh, sodium chloride for me? Today, after... Okay, here's the tweet. Thank you, librarian. Today, after almost two years of leaving a yam on the Walmart customer service desk nearly every week, I was approached by two managers who cornered me as I was headed to the checkout. Without any introduction, they looked me in the eyes and whispered, Why yams? The, here's the previous tweet. Every time I go to Walmart, I leave a single packaged yam on their back customer service counter, and I've done it 58 times now, and no one has caught me yet. These are all different yaminings, and I will never be stopped. The yamining is now upon you. Okay, next next tweet. My heart dropped. I've been caught. I said, um, it's sort of like a prank, and they both laughed. I felt immediate relief, and they explained that it's been driving them insane. They thought one of the employees was pranking them. When that employee switched stores and it kept happening, they decided to investigate and check the cameras. They saw me on the cameras do it today and decided to approach me. I apologized, and since I've been doing it for so long, I thought the jig is up so much for the yamming. But then they said, oh, no, don't worry, we don't mind. I said, what? They said, we don't care. It was just driving us insane. We just wanted to know. They agreed to not tell anyone it's me, and they gave permission to keep doing it forever because they th also think it's funny. So I shall yam forever, yam for eternity. The yam will never stop. Honestly, I understand this poster. I don't think that it's particularly funny. I think it is a little holds up spork. But in the interest of full disclosure, there used to be, when I was a younger man, 19, 20 years old, there used to be a restaurant uh, in downtown Kingston called The Slip. Be a magical piece. It had the important part about the restaurant is that it was named The Slip. And it had an extremely large back window that opened onto the patio and you could walk off the patio right onto the sidewalk. It was on like the harbor, essentially. We used to do a thing. We get a couple of beers on, in us on a Saturday. We would walk down to the slip. We would say table for X, however many people there were. They would bring a menu. We would look at the menu. They'd bring us a glass of water. We would drink a little bit of the glass of water. And then as soon as the server left our eyesight, we would just leave through the back patio. We didn't dine and dash. We didn't order food and eat it and then run away. We just went in under the pretense of getting a table because we're going to dine, sat down at the restaurant, took a couple of sips of water, and then walked out the back door, leaving them to wonder. Huh. In, in my head, they're like, no, where did they go? But probably they were actually like, hey, those guys just walked out the back, just so you know. And they're like, oh, okay. I guess they had somewhere to be. 
But in my head, it was like the end of the usual suspects. Like they ran out and they're like, I've already like changed my shirt at that point. And then we would call, we would be like, hey, do you want to go give him the slip today? I thought it was funny. That's pretty much on the same level as the yamming. So I'm not going to like, you know, I'm not going to insult the poster. We all go through a yamming phase in our lives, maybe. Great prank, bro. <laughs> Dude, they entertained me. That's why the townie, townies hated us. Bro, I was a townie. <laughs> I grew up in basically in Kingston. Would you still do it if the staff said they were okay with it? No, because the point of it is that they were supposed to be confused. That would have taken all the magic away from me. There wouldn't have been any, any purpose at that point. So I understand the yamming. What I don't understand is the kind of sicko that would give sweet potatoes 4.3 out of 5. They're a 5 out of 5 at being what they are, which is sweet potatoes. Have you tried mentioning Le Epic Bacon? Listen, I'm going to keep it a buck 50 with you. As a result of the, um, the demise in popularity of Reddit humor, bacon is now one of the most overhated foods on the planet. If you are of the opinion, I, I'm sorry to tell you this, if you are of the opinion that bacon is overrated, you are a time capsule, culturally speaking. The shine has come off the rose on bacon. In 2011, if you had said bacon is the most overrated food on the planet, you still would have been wrong because this shit is delicious. But it was, it was peaking in cultural popularity at that point. There was bacon salt everywhere, bacon flavoring on everything. Every Caesar had like eight slices of bacon around the rim. We are in a, a post-peak bacon world. Bacon is now, in my personnel opinion, extremely overhated. It's still delicious. It's not tasty. You're putting on airs, my friend. Please talk about Canadian bacon. I love pea meal bacon. I, I do feel like it's possibly superior to quote unquote regular bacon. No, we're not. Listen, it's 2024. We can't talk about Canadian bacon just being ham anymore. This is a misnomer. It, it, it's like the idea that British English is another type of English. No, it's completely different. It's its own language, okay? Canadian bacon, it, there's, there's like a, it's, it's a clade, and there's subclades that come off of it. There are little circles of essentially ham. Sometimes you may find that erroneously, in my opinion, referred to as Canadian bacon in a grocery store. What I refer to as Canadian bacon is here known as pea meal bacon. It is ham-esque, but there's another hook to it. Instead of being little circles, it kind of looks like um, the state of, of Kentucky, and it's got pea or cornmeal around the outside of it. And then when you fry it in a frying pan, the cornmeal gets crispy as fuck. People are like, why is it called pea meal? Okay, the most popular drink in your country is called a Dunkachino. Like, can we get past semantics here? We're, we're, we're grown adults. Why are you trying to gasm me here, bro? You're trying to like get us lost in the weeds when we could be having a real conversation. I'm a grown adult, I drink water. The most sleep deprived man you've ever seen. You ever consider drinking water? All right, motherfucker, hop on the bike. Let's see who's more hydrated. Let's post your mile time. Don't call me out like that. I was trying to think of the meanest thing I could say without it being against TOS. I decided on sleep deprived because, you know, some people wear it as a badge of honor. I was going to say, man who hasn't seen the sun in two weeks. <laughs> Have you... <laughs> Have you ever heard of drinking flavored beverages? Mm. The only thing flavored in my household is my vape cartridge. You motherfucker, you. Uh, vapors be like, you ever hear of uh, water? Hey, motherfucker, you ever hear of air? You dumb motherfucker, you. I only drink water. And I only breathe lemon pound cake. Shut the fuck up, man. How'd your webinar go? It was basically like just a 50 minute long information session at the end of the day. Um, the worst part of it was that when I joined, my Zoom name was Northern Lion and everybody else's Zoom name was like their full legal name and then the name of their child. <laughs> so I, have very, I Googled like how to change name on Zoom and then you can't change it before the call. So I had to like, as soon as I got on the call, I was like, oh, oh shit. Then like, I don't know, I, I've had this take before. I don't know how you all handle 
like work from home, all hands meetings. Because this webinar had 174 participants in it. Uh, and mostly it was like top down communication from them to us, right? They told everybody to turn off their microphones, but like half of the people were on iPads. So I don't know, you like hit a button and it accidentally unmutes and then you hear them like yelling through their house for like their husband to come watch with them and stuff like that. It was just chaos. And then I would say 90% of people were, were camless. Like some people were on cam, which was fine. And I admire their tenacity for like listening intently. But one person was, they left their cam on and they were clearly like at work as a dog walk, a dog groomer. So like every once, like 99% of the call, you would just see the ceiling of their workplace. And then like every 20 minutes, you would just see like a dog in one of those dog harnesses in the groomers like getting shaved down with the trimmers and i was like i admire the hustle but like it's a little distracting and then someone in the peloton discord was like all of my meetings or some of my meeting or i'm totally off base in this one some of my lectures are three hours mandatory camera on and i'm like that school honestly needs to fuck off that's just crazy. Like, I understand you want to, you want people to pay attention, okay? But like making a mandatory three hours of cam on, I almost feel like I don't, this is a source dude, just trust me. Like, I don't have anything that I can back this up with. What what a squad. I, I have to admire your ingenuity, guest. I think you're going to be like more distracted in the lecture from looking at like knowing that you're being observed by the panopticon. Like I, I, it seems anti-education to me to make you spend a little bit of your mental energy constantly wondering if you're performing the duty of looking attentive instead of focusing on what they're saying in the lecture and like writing it down. And honestly, I mean, maybe this is like how a 16 year old kid feels about education, but like if someone, what are you worried about? Someone goes, camless and then they're not actually listening to the lecture well then they should fucking flunk the exam okay and if they don't flunk the exam then the exam should be harder and if you can't make the exam harder because you need to pass x number of people then it's probably not that important that they learn the shit like i don't think you're ever in like cardiac surgery class and the teacher's like well you all failed but i gotta pass six surgeons this year so here you go like i think it's more like <laughs> when they're just giving you a certificate in something that is like you showed up and you did the stuff like anyway the opposite should also be true what do you mean by that professor shouldn't have to be on camera but i but i learn better when i can see someone speaking ryan's chat am i too loud <laughs> be honest this motherfucker <laughs> trusts random people and <laughs> yeah instead of the people in the call well, there's, you know i trust like five thousand random people at the same time it's just more that you were so loud it hurt my ears when you were That's talking crazy. there maybe you just hate me i don't hate you i just would, okay. i just would like that you need to realize that your your mixer is a freak well i'm happier i'm happy Honestly, that he's like audible now you, okay you know what it, you do constantly spill shit into your mixer on a no, daily basis. no. So i have not spilled anything me, into my mixer i don't oh my audio i never change anything no listen my know. mic is at zero it's at zero on the mixer and that's where it should be jackbox on a thursday huh Yup. Do I sound normal, Chibli? Yes. Okay. A little loud, but thank you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Are you sure? I'll dial it back a touch. I, Justin, I think, you need to stop touching it because when I don't it, you'll, fucking touch I it, change it, and then you change yeah, 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 it. Yeah, 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 like yeah, 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 yeah. You, you have some uh, kind of audio ghost that is constantly. Fucking I mean, I have two saying. cats. Well. <laughs> but you're a little loud, right actually. I, I did have you on 200% because obviously at wow. some point you're a little quiet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. I'm at 130. I'm at, I'm at 100 now, Chibli. Uh, hang on, let me put you on 100. I, I, I'll put you on 100. Yeah, I had you on you 80. Know, you're on 100? All right. I have I you on 100. How do you feel about 100? Whoa, what did the you... fuck? Your mic sounds so good. Oh, thank you. 
it, it might have been at negative five if i'm being honest maybe that's the right <laughs> oh place oh my god <laughs> <laughs> negative five like, like on the fader DB, db's negative ryan the DB's. It, 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 yeah what oh my okay. my db's a boosted 13 bro i ain't boosting my db's man hang on let me put me on normal db's oh, oh god you're wow, goodbye you're so quiet. goodbye yeah. goodbye chip way goodbye. too low low hello? he's so loud hello Not now you actually hey, sound what great this? dude chip oh Wait, is this so beta loud. go uh talk is this beta Oh, Hello? Lord, it's so loud. What the heck? Wait, no, no, it's not loud. He's normal. He's now? Yeah, he's, well, he's joking. He's, ju he's just. Mouth's a little quiet to me. Hello? I have mouth at 130%. Hello? What? <laughs> oh, wow. He fell in a fucking hole, dude. He is in a hole right now, dude. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, he can he's, really he's, go he's, off, man. He's yeah, out of the yeah. hole. He's voice out actor, of the hole. Voice I'm putting everyone back to 100. I'm starting fresh. His, his parents are going to come to his room. <laughs> No, it's okay. okay. Oh my god! I got you're told loud. off the other day. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, you're loud now. Yeah, you 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 really messed up now. He no, sounds, he I'm sounds normal back to where me. I was initially. Oh, wow. This is oh, where it was. I turned beginning. you up to. I had you at 88, and I turned you up to 100 yeah, when you, you were doing your volume shit. So. Yeah, I'm gonna turn you back down. <laughs> well, no, I'm gonna turn myself back down. I oh, am god, going to I put you this so much. I'm gonna put you all at 100, and then based on okay. your performance, like. <laughs> and you're not your Jackbox performance, but the entertainment value you bring to the stream. I'm gonna dynamically adjust it throughout the segment. Okay, well, I think guys, here, it's nice uh, talking guys. to you guys. Is Hello. Is there? <laughs> All right, everybody just that talked just got minus his... five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, minus five is good. It's DBs. Let's go. Jarvis, chip <laughs> the knob. Jarvis, I played one of those. And I uh, saw the old man in the game sounds like you doing your Eminem impersonation. I'm gonna guess that Abraham Lincoln was shot in the head. <laughs> Final answer. It's really Let good. me phone my friend Margaret. Hello. How are you, dear? When did Abraham get shot? <laughs> oh. Abraham? I, I saw a tweet that was like, there was it was a picture of the top hat that he was wearing. And someone quoted it like, 6'4 and wearing a top hat. Man, I would have shot his ass too. <laughs> I saw that. That was good. That was good. I uh, was like a couple weeks ago. I had uh, the cable guy come over. Uh, to yeah, in, in, yeah, I know inspect, how that went. Inspect our uh, our Wi-Fi or a router, anyway. Dude was like seven foot tall. Like he had to duck to walk into my apartment, <laughs> right? And the whole time I'm like, don't ask him how tall he is. Don't ask him how tall he is. Don't ask him it's... how tall he is. Don't ask him. But like, there's like a little demon in the back of my head, right? Yeah. That's like, but how, how tall, tall is he? he? How tall is he? How tall is he? And I'm like, I hope you don't mind, but how tall are you? And he's like, I'm tall enough. And then he goes on like a oh, yeah, tirade I'm about all these out. stories about how mm. people ask him how does the weather there. And he was like, yeah. on a family play basketball. Yeah, uh, and a woman. I a, wo <laughs> a woman asked him how tall he was, and he's like. How the fuck do you ask somebody that? And when you see a fat guy, do you say, how fat are you? And I'm like, oh, man, I really touched a nerve. Most Funny. normal tall guy. <laughs> Dude, that is a, as, as another but tall guy, that's that's a little aggressive. Oh, my God, man, I feel so really bad. Because yeah. yeah. he, he's a cable guy, you should have said, how's the signal up there? Hey! Uh, oh, that would have been good. I do think it's funny that there's some tall guy out there that's been so jokeified and his revenge is going <laughs> to people that are like overweight and being like, how fat are you? <laughs> like, bro, what are you doing? Come on, man. Like, you're just, you're just fucked up. This is the I don't dumbest like, thing I've ever submitted in my life. I don't like what I've written. I could, uh, <laughs> did, uh, uh, did you say uh, dull, Justin? What? Did you say dull? No. Oh, you said dumbest? Oh, yeah. Wait, dumbest okay. what? This is one of the dumbest things I've ever hit the submit button on in my life. Oh, well, that no, spoken like a man who's never voted. <laughs> mine. <laughs> you walked into that one. I think I'm confident mine's the best thing I've ever done. I'd love to see it. I don't mince words, so let me cut to the deer. Gonna make you fear the sheer about a peer, pair I peer. <laughs> You're about as helpless as a tiny mouse. Baby, 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 yeah. All right. Okay. I... All right. I it's Jennifer now. He's cooking. You should just go home, so get in your bus. Bet this young lad can't rhyme without a cuss. 
As looks go, you're far from putrid. A pretty little guy, I call him a nice kid. Yeah, like Corey, Corey just likes to play on hard mode. He just gives himself the most impossible lines that he could have. Mine were really hard. <laughs> no, I'm going to be honest. I think this one's pretty easy. No way. Don't forget. Don't forget about the popularity vote here. Oh, oh. I like romance. Oh, no. Dude, I think Corey's raps give me every time. <laughs> Every single one is like, I f I'll fuck you like no, I no, fucked no. my mom. Um, don't worry, I didn't come. <laughs> I think you're cooked, brother. Bro, I mean, you you have an advantage from it. How bad that first line started out for me. I, w I went into Cerebro for that one. Okay, I, I respect it. <laughs> I've got your number and you're less than 420. Was that Jiro or is your ass smelling funny? <laughs> You'll go down in one hit. Blam! You'll drop pant and take shit, man. <laughs> oh, man. I'm messing you up, making you feel pontificating. You're messing me up, making me want to defecate. Very shit. I'm hunting for trophies, but you're just uh, your cock. Shooting my load and you want to talk. This is a Cory pilled rap, man. You're just... You... In your own rap, you said you were shitting, bro. <laughs> he dropped pants and shit. And, and uh, Joel uh, also said you were shitting, so he like double go. He's in your head. Dude. This whole rap had an Italian accent too. I don't know what was me, going on. It, it told me small object that I wrote your cock. Chad hates me. That's that's from Chad hates me. I I picked Justin. I felt like he went for the jump. Oh, I destroyed right? him. Final match. When I hear your voice, I want to deride. What's open on DoorDash? I'll help you decide. Ooh. Never have I ever met someone so tall. You must be really good at basketball. <laughs> My name is Ryan. And yes. 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 You must be really good at basketball. I feel like I was playing on hard mode, man. Like Vader said to Luke, I am your president. Trust me, I've seen that movie. That's how it went. Your rhymes aren't alive. They're dead as Kissinger. You're done here like your hair. You better not linger. Oh. Cranberries reference. Stealth Cranberries reference. Yo. On this bullet, I'm doing a write-in vote for H.C. Justin. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm feeling the 1980s flow. That's good, that's good. No, oh, dang, Ooh. close. Honestly, I'm happy it was close. You might have still won. I think we were up by. Oh, no, you got the 40. cheer bonus. Yeah, I forgot brother, about yeah. the cheer bonus. Never have I been happier to have a flat of Coke Zero in the joint. Dude, by the way, here's one for you, uh, librarian. Let me let me hot swap this over real quick. Here's one for for you, librarian. Not me getting served a perfect tweet. Uh, by the algorithm yesterday that said it's crazy that we invented diet sodas that are zero calorie and taste better than regular sodas and yet people still refuse to drink them on principle and then like everybody replied to that tweet saying actually aspartame gives you cancer and I don't want cancer and then like they replied with links of like hundreds of peer-reviewed studies that were like actually uh, that was one paper in 1982, and everything else since then says that there is no conclusive link whatsoever. And then, the second part that made it funny for me is I clicked on OP's profile, and they follow me. So, in a way, I was like, I feel like I inspired this viral tweet by drinking Coke Zeros on stream every day. It's true. Nutritionists are like, diet soda is a miracle nectar. I don't know if that part's true. But then people who got all their scientific information from like their uncle in 1997 are like, actually, it's bad for you. You are a hero. 
I know. I think it's one of those things where Coke Zero tastes so good that people don't believe that it can't be bad for you. It's the same reason, like, and, and this people aren't ready for this, and maybe time will prove this to be idiotic. I'm not even taking a stand. I feel the same way whenever people are like, hmm, surely we're never going to reap like the long-term costs of everybody in society being on this miracle drug Ozempic. And I'm like, I get that you've seen like a lot of movies in your life and maybe in the movies, everybody gets hooked on the, the O and then the pharmaceutical company like tweaks one little chemical and all of a sudden, you, you know, they're an army of zombies or something like that. But this shit is like, I'm not saying some shady stuff doesn't go down, but it is also being like studied by the smartest biochemists on planet earth 27 hours a day so just give like i'm not saying that you should just be like yum 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 i'm just saying aspartame in particular it's been studied since like 1902 bro they got if, if they have any chemical on earth figured out it's got to be aspartame i look at you and know it can't be good for you what the fuck Post your picture, rman484864, not even subbed. What, eight bucks a month is too expensive for you? .elonmusk.jpg slash user rman864. Let me see. Yes! I'm about to tear you down, brother. 932 messages following for 11 years. Previously subbed for one month. Those are rookie numbers. <clears throat> I look at you and know it can't be good for you. It gives you cancer. I look at you and know it can't be good for you. I look at you and know it can't be good for you. Still gives you cancer. It actually does give you cancer. I want to smoke the shit that made Tom Cruise. I want to smoke the shit that made Lance Stroll. Chick-fil-A is better. Cran grape is my favorite type of juice. You just made more money eating fries than I'll make in a year. That's probably not true, but... Compliment accepted. <laughs> I think you should leave references. Well, it's not all bad. I think the thing that's crazy is that people... I think it's one of those things. People want Coke Zero to be bad for you so they don't have to deal with the pain of having not been consuming Coke Zero. If we accept that aspartame is not bad for you, then there's no reason for you to have gone 15 years without drinking Coke Zeros. The, the cumulative loss of value there is too much for the modern mind to bear. I just drink water. No, 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 we did this part yesterday. Dude who's addicted to vaping uh, lemon pound cake juice 10 times a day. You ever hear of water? <laughs> that one got me in trouble. Uh, people were adding me in other chats and saying, hey, that vaping bit was kind of fucked up yesterday. <clears throat> That's how I know it's true. If Coke Zero is so good, why don't they make a Coke One? You expect me to be mad about that, but I actually think there's a chance you might be onto something. When you already, when you have a zero calorie soda, imagine how good like one gram of sugar would be in it to add four calories. Holy, or like a sparkling water. Like sparkling water, I like it, and I like that it's zero calories. But imagine what one gram of sugar would do when you're coming from zero. If you're going from 20 grams to 21, marginally it probably doesn't improve it that much. But if you go from zero to one, that's a billion percent increase, bro. Holy. What are you doing? You okay, honey? What is she doing? It's working. It's true. That's not true? What do you mean? <laughs> you don't know how right you are. <laughs> there was a time, though, when I was able to. <laughs> Looking forward to hearing that for the rest of the day. <laughs> What do you do if you don't feel like you have an answer for your question? I am <laughs> the fuck? Not, I'm in a very similar boat. Did oh, it, what did it say? Though, How old were you when you had your first kiss? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, fuck. What the hell, man? God I'm damn. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm bad. I'm a bad man. Uh, I'm just joking. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, 
I don't have an answer for mine either. I, yeah. What's your question? Really when type... did you last use shampoo? Hey. Uh, wow. <laughs> it's against TOS to deride someone for their physical characteristics. I still use shampoo. <laughs> on yeah, your back? <laughs> you like two <laughs> on my head. I, don't, I, my, I gave you two oh, piles man. of shit. <laughs> Jerking, oh. jacking. Coming. Coming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're, they're going to be too similar. Squirting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep, it always features it. <laughs> you have to fast forward through the night a little bit, though. About two thirds of the way. Jerking, jerking, sucking, fucking. <laughs> Son of a bitch. There's three of the same answers, mm. man. There's no way he wrote delicious dinner. I don't <laughs> accept that. He might, man. I, a perfect night? You, you think normal no dinner? Way. You think normal dinner is in a perfect night? Hmm. Let's see how it shook out. Yeah, this <laughs> is my answer. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, it was a delicious dinner, dude. No! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lose I my mind. I swear to fucking God. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. Uh, it's fucking delicious, <laughs> goddamn dinner, dude. I'm so fucking mad. Yes. Bro, wrote, bro wrote delicious. It's a perfect night, man. Exactly, it's a perfect Annoying, night. Man. It's gotta be a good dinner. It's gotta be delicious. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as it tastes good. That's good enough for it to yeah, be perfect. Why, yeah, why not? That's why with Chinese why food, I thought you'd be like, if it's my perfect night, you would be more specific. Of a I'd like to remind you this is not Quiplash. <laughs> <was gonna>, please. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to see four Jeffrey Epstein uh, <laughs> answers at the same okay, time. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'll write Kevin Spacey. Wait, who's Jeffrey Epstein? <laughs> Dan, you shouldn't get involved in this <laughs> conversation before you're on television, okay? Yeah, it's true. Is that Daniel Starr of the upcoming show, Traders, on mm. Peacock, streaming tonight? It, it is. is. Anybody know if that shit coming out on Crave concurrent with the Peacock release? <laughs> he left. Fuck this country, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 Oh, these are great answers, and I have no fucking idea what the right one is. What is DL Guiga? It's a, a Peloton egg carton community member. <laughs> so, so you wrote that? <laughs> They're all good. I, I wrote something. Uh. Moments of truth. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God! I in my head, Corey, I was like, only Corey, Corey. could have written that. Other than I was Ryan. like, only Ryan would know this. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's the yeah. truth. That's a good answer. Do I get points because you got it right, or do I not get points? Yeah, oh, I think you get I, points. I think you get points. Yeah. Oh. You guys didn't pick Doctor Disrespect. <laughs> I would go to a party at Doctor Disrespect's house. But I would, would you? I wouldn't go to the bathroom. Don't go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great minds think alike. <laughs> hmm. Oh, come oh, delicious dinners. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a perfect night. Oh, oh God. God. Out here with my delicious dinner. No preference, really. Mm -hmm. What kind of food? <laughs> I mean, literally, yes. Just as well, long right, as it tastes good, that's perfect. Yeah, well, if it's delicious, who cares what it is? As long as it's delicious, right? Some what delicious is deli foods. Delicious stinky mud pie. Dude. I'm not. I'm not I don't like think that fucking. Would be delicious. I don't have a favorite food. Oh yeah, I'm not like delicious in front of it. It wouldn't get it. You've it's never eaten a pepperoni pizza. Yeah, yeah that's delicious. <laughs> that would be there. a perfect night. 
Two <laughs> might not. be up there. Okay, which one's true? Well, what um, the fuck? Well, I hope it's not the one that I don't want it to be. Huh. He would never write the fourth love. <laughs> <laughs> it's not supposed to let you write the same thing twice, right? Yeah, yeah I'm I thought so. confused how it's there twice. One must be the answer and one must be the audience. Oh, oh! Wow! Oh, whoops! No, well, you're a I genius, mean, bro! I, I never thought it. That was like a riddle. Ah, oh, well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Happiness. Wait, you wrote it too? Oh! <laughs> Son of a oh, bitch. shit. That's really love. funny. You wrote love? Yeah. What the fuck? And it didn't say that's correct. So, so love is I, the audience and you. We both got Justin's too. I, <laughs> we gave him right back. Well, maybe love was the maybe There's love was no the way fill. you wrote endless power, brother. What oh, the fuck? Endless power? It's what the, the afterlife, bro. I want to fuck around. Like your phone never loses I don't think you charge. Yeah, like, you, or... like, 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 yeah, you don't lose power. I want to do whatever the hell I want, man. That's messed up, dude. That's a. I dude. think he's going sicko it's mode. A I think we'd defects. all be vaporized if people got that. The no, villain origin no, story. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I, sorry, I didn't want drinking. <laughs> Nobody wrote that either. <laughs> that was... What have I missed, guys? Is there any uh, jokes that I should be um, I should be informed of Come from this Jackbox? Piss. Delicious dinner. The, the, oh, delicious <laughs> dinner is the standout <laughs> so delicious far. Dinner is, yeah. Okay, I'll write delicious dinner when we have joke boat or something. Joke boat? No. I think we're doing repeats today. Yeah, no repeats. None repeats? On the wheel! I would do repeats. Sorry, I joined late, guys. I'm sorry. It's no, it's no problem at all. He mad. Yep. We run a pretty tight take ship a... here. Uh, is my celery gonna take a cut? It's okay. You were only a little late. <laughs> oh, 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 you can take one of my holiday days. <laughs> take one of my holiday days off. I don't. I don't know where to go with this joke. Yeah, me. you were barely late. So funny to think that like Ryan's running this like a fucking job, uh -huh. bro, and he's all paying us like to play with him every week. <laughs> 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 You pick a character, Ryan? Uh, you laughed really I hard the, I picked the character. Don't mountain. Don't mountain, dude. <laughs> so, no disrespect to dead idiot pass. Yeah, don't mountain's good. Don't mountain's good. Mm. It's the field, bro. Mm. They're trying to ski on the field, man. It's a don't mountain. <laughs> I need to stop thinking, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'll keep that with, with a quarter of a second. I've been saying that for a long time. Yep. yep. <laughs> and next is me when I'm trying to go to sleep. Thing someone could place on your chest before shutting your burial casket. I mean, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Here it goes. Oh, Sar Bamba is great. But delicious dinner is just too perfectly timed of a callback. Controversial statement. I, I feel like it's a weird time for the callback. I think it's perfect. Because you wrote Tsar Bomba? I wasn't expecting it. Well, why would it be the worst thing? That'd be well, a good thing. Because it's a hydrogen That's bomb. That's true. Would it, though? It's going to get all gross and... Look, it's yeah, going to destroy... I wasn't even hit for the joke, bro! <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't. No! <laughs> I don't even know what it means! It stings <laughs> twice as much. Do you do you have your sights set on anything? Uh, no, I could be persuaded for for whatever. I'm I'm just gonna throw out, job job school survive the internet's cool. Oh, survive the internet would be I, I'd vouch for that one on that one in a couple weeks. Survive the internet, survive the internet. Sure. Yes, look at which pack it is because I don't remember either. It must be four. It is. Four. I want to say four or five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, four or five sounds right. I'm surviving the internet every goddamn day, bro. For real. <laughs> that would be a great thing to have in your obituary. You'd be like survived by, you know, his loving wife and also the internet. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Unless we outlive the okay. internet. 
Possible, actually. Good. good. One one good solar flare, man. Oh, don't say that. I like. I want to live stream, bro. Can you glare like a flare <laughs> when you fuck? <laughs> Can you like blow the, up uh, a bomb in my butt? <laughs> in the wasteland, you could just like start a stream out of like a little like figure. Yeah, I'm going people, live. People can, <laughs> like we're really and like, people can come in and you could be like reacting to like what's going on in like the village. You're playing in around bell. town beforehand. Yeah. I'm going live! I'm going, I'm going live! Live, I'm going. live soon! Yeah. Can you oh, imagine how annoying a stream would be like in person though? Because people would be like yelling at you as you talk. <laughs> <laughs> like you're trying to say something. People are like, well, six... Minus two! Six Minus moon two. cycles ago, Minus you two. actually said the opposite of this. Here, I, I etched it into a cuneiform tablet while you were talking about it. You start screaming, mods, mods, <laughs> mods, get him. Mods, kill this guy. Here. Mods, hit this guy on the head with a big rock. <laughs> yeah, the dude yeah. with a gun in his briefcase. <laughs> into the fucking uh, to peanut gallery. <laughs> The surviving chat members, non-target, non-target. Oh man! <laughs> All right, we need we need a Corey and a Justin. I can only give you the code. I don't see the, oh, I I thought you oh, trusted I us see, to I not see. show it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, trust yeah. me to not show it. That's fair. Gotcha. What if what if Twitch existed in the Stone Age? Okay, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! We like that one. <laughs> Chib's like, who's Jerry? <laughs> this Jerry joke's good, bro. I like a Jackbox game that's incredibly easy to answer. Yeah, which it was this one. What was your question? What's one plus one? <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> Jesus! It's, it's fucking two, dude. Uh, yeah, I beat okay, I'm sorry. Than fifth grade I, today. I didn't know. I wasn't familiar with your game. New breakthrough in vaccine technology gives renewed hope and fight against disease. Absolutely horrendous. Can't make anything work. Courtesy of Apollo. <laughs> Japan what? rocked by 7.6 oh, earthquake. My. Thousands injured. Pikachu, I choose oh. you. My what? God. Blue, blue check ass response. <laughs> Piles of discarded cabbage patch dolls found covered in sexual lubricant. They're pretty depressing <laughs> to use sometimes, but they can work. HC Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Carrey made $20 million for his role in the cable guy. <laughs> How much money they make? <laughs> You guys honestly turned me into that Homelander meme on that one where I was like so sure I was going to get eviscerated and then everyone started laughing and clapping and, and cheering. Oh, man. Wow. Holy, bro! Man, that shit swept, man. Because people really percent. do be leading, leaving comments like that. <laughs> Apollo, you're fucked up, bro. That's the point of the game! I hope your parents aren't watching. Trying to defame me. I didn't know, like, I know the story of Christmas, because you hear it, like, every year around December-ish. We went to a Christmas concert, and uh, in between pieces at the Christmas concert, uh, the, like, I don't know the word, the reverend, the chaplain, the, the minister of the church where it was taking place. Hang on, I gotta cook you. What's your number? Read the story of Christmas. I had no idea that, like, Jesus, uh, uh, Joseph and Mary were, like, kind of on the, the rocks when Mary was pregnant, and he was like, well, that doesn't seem possible given that you're like a chaste individual in my eyes. And then one night in a dream, an angel came to Joseph and was like, don't sweat it, that's God's child. I'm just saying, regardless of the validity of it whatsoever, we're going Tomcats on this one, you know that the next day, Mary was like, let's go. 
Let's fucking go! <laughs> whoo! I'm not even saying because she might have been like, who he finally believes the truth. I'm just saying, you know that for her, that was like, thank, pun intended, I guess, thank God. Not me yesterday. I had my daughter at the mall and she was giving me a hug and I, in my Eminem voice, which is Chib's Eminem voice, that's an awfully snug daughter hug. That's an awfully snug daughter hug. What do you want to eat for lunch? Chicken nugs. What am I going to watch on the bike? The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. What is the percent in the bottom right? That's the amount of oxygen left on your spacesuit. Bro, you got to get to the airlock. You're going to die. Ke Kevin Hart wearing a spacesuit. Hang on. Let me think about this for a second. Kevin Hart wearing a spacesuit. We're underwater, motherfucker. You need something that can sustain 300 Gs of pressure. We going subterranean in this bitch. Sorry, it's, it needs a lot more work. Like, we're not even close on that one. There's plenty of oxygen underwater. Okay, you, you glib so-and-so. Yo, we got this. I know your kid is not born yet. Not yet. I remember, like, the, the week or two before um, we had our daughter, I was just fucking chilling on the couch playing Fall Guys. There's really nothing you could do. You painted the nursery, you built the crib, you got everything set up, you know, you're reading the baby books, but every single baby book is basically just like, you know, don't worry, but also like never do this thing that you might have done because the baby will explode. Like there's, you're just kind of waiting around. I'm 20 movies and five books deep. You never thought about just mindlessly playing like uh, 400 games of Fall Guys? Probably should have just read some books. You really believe D.L. Guiga is married with a kid on the way? Bro, it would be so depressing if it was all made up. <laughs> I, would be, I would lose my mind, man. If it's all an act, you're not like a, a finance guy from Chicago with a wife and a child on the way and you're just like some dude. <laughs> Yeah, you're like a 15-year-old kid from Boise or something. Oh, man. You see the Kevin Durant tweet that said, Scarlett Johansson, I will drink your bathwater. <laughs> that was my... I don't award this lightly. My tweet of the month, open parentheses, makes you think edition, close parentheses. Bro, this shit has Paris Hilton in it. Come on, let's not embarrass ourselves. That my tweet of the month was... There used to be an era in the early 2010s where celebrities would really be on here just posting what they actually thought, and it sucks that we, uh, we lost it. And it had, like, all the image of all the, like, famous people tweets when they still handled their own Twitter account. The 50 Cent one that's like, bro, why my grandma asked me to take the garbage out? Fuck this, I'm rich. Like, that. <laughs> that's really good, man. 50, take the garbage out, or grandma will have to do it again. You know a little Neon Genesis Evangelion? Okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom, then we're going to play something else, just because we, we have to at this point. Have you seen Woman in the Dunes? This is insane. I have not seen Woman in the Dunes, but I have read the book. How did such a thing come to pass? In When my wife was in university, she took a Japanese literature class, and... Uh, one time, you want the ultimate wife guy answer here? One time, she was like, I'm too busy to do this assignment. Can you do it for me? And I read the whole fucking book and wrote the whole fucking essay. Or wrote the whole fucking essay. And then, I, I, mean, I thought Woman in the Dunes was a good book to begin with. I got like a B- minus on the essay. At the time, I was a little pissed because I put in a lot of work <laughs> for this. But... Over time, I've come to realize it's actually pretty good considering I wasn't in the fucking class. Considering I, all I did was read the book and then write the essay. Like, my ass did not go to any of the lectures. 
or know what the teacher was looking for in any capacity. None of the feedback from earlier assignments could have possibly helped me because I wasn't involved in their creation. Like, kind of sick, right? <laughs> Basically what I'm saying is I still got it. Or at least I did back then. That's crazy behavior. You know what's crazy though? Is that we're married and we have a kid now. So, carry her books. Do her homework. It will work for you. Get it twisted. It worked for me. <laughs> Watch her pets while she goes on vacation with her boyfriend. One day there will be an opening. You can sneak in there. I'm just messing with you. You probably cooked. Oh, man. No. <laughs> I mean, I had that exact same experience. Like, I know you're going to be like, yeah, you just told us about it. But no, like in that situation, you know, we had already been going out for a while. I was holding it down. They definitely had that classic, like, um, I was going to call it like a mid 2000s. I'm going to stay uh, her friend. And then eventually, uh, after years of not mentioning that I'm actually like in love with her. I'm gonna just spring it on her and see how that goes. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? So I I sprung it on her. This would be like freshman year of university. And she was like, I don't know how to feel about that. And I was like, in hindsight, I was like, that makes a lot of sense. Um, at the time, I was like, that doesn't make any sense at all. You're supposed to say, I'm in love with you too. I was just shy. But so then like, that was awkward. And we didn't talk after that for like eight months. Then sophomore year, she came to my university. We dated for like a year and a half. That was not like a fairy tale ending. We broke up after that, but like, <laughs> it's just weird. They just can't resist. What can I say? It's hard being this handsome. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Did you have hair back then? I did. Um, so I it, basically I kind of tricked her. I was like, check it out. I got a luscious head of hair. And then like nine months later, I was like, surprise. This is your view for the rest of your life. <laughs> it's just funny. I'm not harboring any trauma. She's in the audience right now. Stand up and take a bow. No, that's probably not true. I'm sure she's got other stuff to do. If she knew who you were, do you think she'd come crawling back? You need to watch less YouTube, my friend, or TikTok, which have less short form video content on whatever platform you're watching. You have digested too many videos where a guy is like, hey, toots, and she's like, ew, get away from me. And then he's like, check out this. Uh, I got the keys for a damn Lamborghini. And she's like, oh my God. <laughs> I love you. And then he's like, no, you missed your chance, sweetheart. You should have responded to my cat call. I'm probably 10,000 hours in on YouTube right now. Oh, so um, you're almost done with the first act. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let me guess. You just discovered video essays. <laughs> you haven't even gotten the YouTube poops yet. Or the classic video... You guys know um, Not Today Motherfucker, or is that just me? Not today, motherfucker! Uh, it's very, very old, and it's edited together very amateurishly. It was state of the art in like 2007. Uh, it's 10 seconds long, and a UF, it's a guy in a, like a forest and a UFO comes down and he says, not today, motherfucker. And he pulls out the gun and shoots at it with, the, with his gun and then the UFO explodes. I actually, I, people think that I don't know YouTube, but it's actually like, I don't know relatively modern YouTube very well. I know almost all of the old videos. I'm not talking 2010, I'm talking like 08. Back when you could still like keep a grasp, you could be like, I'm gonna watch every video ever made on YouTube. Evolution of dance, shoes, salad fingers, can't stop doing the hand thing. Charlie bit my finger in that wee wee hood. 
Neon Cat. Numa Numa. I can't believe you've done this. Oh, yeah, the end of the world. But I am lit tired. I'm a cat. I'm a kitty cat. Badger, badger, mushroom, mushroom, etc., etc. Isn't it crazy? Most of these are NFTs now. I mean, brother, no disrespect. What would you do? If you were famous for like a one-off video that happened like, you know, 17 years ago, before ad revenue was even a thing on YouTube, my ass would be putting that shit on the blockchain too and then fucking off back to my normal life. <laughs> How are you supposed to sell out? They're famous for like a video where they say like, don't do it. Ah! And you're like, they gave up on their artistic integrity by teaming up with the Solana blockchain. They don't know what's going on, bro. Their ass works in like, you know, risk management or something now. They're 48 years old. Someone emails them and they're like, hey, do you want to make like $5,000? And they're like, for free? Sure. They don't know what's going on. They're, they're from a different era. Oh, man. There's some good stuff. Stop asking me. I wasn't alive when these were made. Used to get a couple of James Ready, well, maybe like a dozen James Ready five and a halfs in you. You'd have a little, your friend's laptop would have a plug running from it to like the back of a television that was deeper than it was wide. And you'd say, hey, you know any videos? And then somebody would come over and put on fucking like um, Alan Letizier best Premier League highlights, 1990 to 1996. I am the one and only who nobody but do. Um, anyway, and then you'd get into some good stuff after that. Tra la 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 la. It's another classic for sure. Certifiable classic. Then one day I came in and my friend was watching Loose Change, and then. In some ways, I never saw him again. You stupid motherfucker. We had a good thing going. <laughs> we would get drunk on buck of beers and watch YouTube videos that made us laugh. It worked. It was perfect. Then you had to go and ruin it by getting into conspiracy theories. Losing a friend to conspiracies is worse than losing one to drugs. I think usually, <laughs> uh, it's getting too real. No, it's not, because, like, you know, nobody's overdosing on conspiracy theories. But also, I do try to remember sometimes, because every once in a while, you'll see something on Twitter that just, you're like, this person's brain is cooked. And then when you think about it literally, I'm not just saying someone who disagrees with me. I'm saying like the people who think that they're using weather machines to make it snow in Iowa in January so that people don't come out to the Republican caucus. Like that, your brain is cooked, no disrespect. I have to remind myself that their brain is actually cooked. Like it, in a sympathetic way. I don't mean this as like punching down. There's people out there that, you know, got traumatic brain injuries and never came back the same or they you know got fried on some substances for too much or for too long and you, you just can't come back like to the same soul that you left so in a way you're like you're dumb but there is another one that's like you know when I, when I can muster the energy to be the bigger man I'm like I, I see you and I hear you I, I hear like the I mean, this is patronizing, but I see, like, the you inside of yourself who's like, let me out of this. <laughs> I want to I wanna get back to, like, the, the man I used to be, chaos style. I'm like, I see that guy. I don't know how to get him out because I got my own stuff to do. <laughs> but, I, but I see that guy. I have, I have some degree of empathy for it sometimes. I try to, at least. Because, like, I got, like, not close family members. I got like a couple insane members of my family. And then, you know, back when I had Facebook, I would like, you know, look at his Facebook status and I'd be like, what's wrong with this guy? And then I would remember like the history of his life and I would be like, oh yeah. Like lots of stuff. <laughs> and here they are today. Yeah, they're in the audience. Stand up, Uncle Greg. I tried to stand up, but Joe Biden stole my knees. Ah, that's classic Uncle Greg. He thinks the president stole his knees. 
Please do not ask him for his opinions on anything. That's as politically correct as it gets. <laughs> I'm like, bro, Joe Biden doesn't even know you, dude. Don't flatter yourself. Joe Biden would be like, sorry to this man. I apologize to this man, but I don't know who he is. I've never seen this man before in my life. Can I be honest with you? This is a question for um, the women in the chat. I apologize for being like heteronormative with this. Yesterday at the steakhouse, my steak came with the beef, twice baked potato, broccoli, beets, and sauteed mushrooms. Am I correct in the assumption? And uh, different people are different. Am I correct in the assumption that one surefire way to give a grown up woman the ick is by eating your steak and your potato, but not eating any of the vegetables that are served to you on your plate? Like just giving the waiter back a completely clean plate, but all of the vegetables are completely untouched? Holy cow, I'm so sorry. I expected to be the bad guy and people were gonna be like, no, eat whatever you want, but everybody's saying yes. I would not have proposed the bit if I knew it was gonna be a unanimous consensus like that. Now I just feel bad, man. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't mean it to be. Oh, no. You did that? No, no. I ate the vegetables, bro. But when I was eating the vegetables, I was like, I'm eating the vegetables. She's not going to get the ick. I mean, when I ate the broccoli, I was like, this is delicious. But when I was eating the beets, I was like, this is just for ick prevention. I'm a grown man. I can't be afraid of, like, ooh, the the food in my mouth makes my brain feel slightly yucky, you know? Like, we gotta... He will not divide us. When's the last time you gave your wife the ick? I probably do it, like, ten times a week. If I had to guess. I think it's naive to assume you could ever live an ickless world. Um, misspeaking because I've been hanging out with my daughter all the time and saying, I'll be right back, I need to go potty. Like, I think that that's one that can definitely ick someone up. It's an understandable mistake, but at the same time, to be loved is to be icked. Probably the other thing, uh, me being 35 years old and still running up the stairs as fast as I can. I mean, that is juvenile behavior. That's got to be given the ick. Like, she's upstairs, you know, drinking a tea or something like that. And then she hears like, tick, 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 tick. I'm like pumping my arms. Like, I'm, <laughs> like I'm 35 years old, man. But here's the thing. All that stuff when I did it when I was a kid, and I was like, why don't you do that? They're like, don't worry, you're going to grow out of it. And like some of that shit I grew out of, but some of that's baked in, low and slow. I speed crawl up the stairs to this day. It's so funny. I'm not acting like I'm better than you. I'm tick, 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 tick. And then like the worst part is it makes no sense to run up the stairs because I do fall down the stairs as a result of running up them at least like once every two years. And then every time it happens, I'm like, I'm going to stop running up the stairs from this point onwards. And then I like, I get in a rush at some point and I'm like, I'm running up the stairs. And then I just, you know, it becomes a habit again. And then two years later, we have a large, uh, it's a 10 story tall spiral staircase. Whatever, I got hit after the room. Again, I can only speak from my own experience. I don't mean this to reinforce heteronormative uh, narratives. But to some extent, women don't understand the power that their words can have. We went to the mall yesterday. I got my wife something for her birthday. And then I had to get some nice clothes as well. Because we got some important stuff coming up this week. I didn't go there to get a winter coat, okay? My wife went to look at some clothes. She came back with a coat and said, I want you to try this on. I tried it on. She went, whoa, you look so cute in that. Guess who left the store with a winter coat? It does something in your brain. I was like, I, I don't need a winter coat. But that response is like, there's no shot I'm not getting this coat after that. <laughs> what does that have to do with heteronormative narratives? Listen, I'm just trying to avoid controversy after you tried to cancel my daughter for saying like, I'm not allowed to play with number blocks because those are girl toys, okay? I'm just trying to avoid stepping on any toes. So it's illegal to be straight now? Not yet, brother. 
I was kind of, you know what? Chibli did a census of his chat. And his chat was like, it was something like 71% gay or bi or lesbian. And then like 28% straight. Which means I'm finally in a position to start calling your asses out. So if you're going to be like, you know, oh, me and my boyfriend were hanging out at the coffee shop the other day, I'd be like, oh, okay, sorry, not all of us. Some of us are straight. Can you please make this commentary a little bit more accessible to me? Some of us are out here sitting on the couch with their wife, both looking at their phone, looking at different things and occasionally showing it to the other person and going, did you see this? It was one third, one third, one third. I'm fucking stupid. What's the third third? My ass was born in 1988. Help me. <laughs> Giga gay? <laughs> oh, dude, they, a secret. They didn't tell me about that one. You guys have been trying to keep that under wraps for so long. I got to tell all my straight friends. Guys, guys. He's, he do be puking. Guys, did you hear about this giga gay thing? I guess it makes sense. All the straight people are too busy watching The Office. Am I right? <laughs> it's so silly. The, the Office, man. Come on. Oh, anyway, my wife and I have been watching a little bit of The Office while we eat dinner sometimes. We're going to stop, uh, I don't know, maybe like season five, season six. I know where it goes. Oh, double efficacy hanged man. Me when I'm on a long train journey. Do you have a go-to hangman word? It depends if you're trying to have fun or if you're trying to irritate the other person. If you're trying to have fun, just pick something. If you're trying to irritate them, pick jazz. Whenever I was teaching and we would play word games at the end of class, if we had like three minutes, I would just write up, you know, like... Melon or something like that. If we had 15 minutes... Best of luck to you, class full of Korean nine-year-olds. <laughs> the word is jazz. <laughs> the kids are in tears. Teacher, there's no more letters. Actually, actually, Sally, there are. There's a couple more letters you haven't guessed. Teacher, V? Mm, me drawing like an, another foot on the hangman. This is like foot number seven. Korean student named Sally. POV, you have never stepped foot inside of an ESL classroom. The kids uh, in English class use English names, which is fucked up and makes no sense. And the English names are also given by their first English teacher. So every class has like 12 Sally's, Sarah's, Jessica's, uh, Alan, Sam. There's a lot of like, a lot of repeats for sure. We did that in Spanish class. It would even in 2011. I was like, "This is a little fucked up. Can't we just call them by like their actual name?" But the principal was like, "No." I'm like, "They don't need an English name. Their English name is just their Korean name pronounced badly by me. Like that's their English name." It's not like when I went to Korea, they were like, "This isn't Ryan teacher anymore. This is." I can do this. This is. Chan Wook, you know? They were like, this is Ryan, teacher. They should do that? Well, that would be fair in a King Solomon-esque context. I just feel like it's, it's weird, right? Like if my ass studied in Korea, like if I went to Korea University, I'm not going to show up the day one of class and be like, hi, my name's like G-Dragon, you know? I, it's, it's your name. In a way, like, it's insulting to the person to get renamed, but it's also insulting to me. I know there's a stereotype that, like, you know, North Americans can't pronounce foreign names. Wait, now that I think about it, that's pretty true. <laughs> okay, maybe they were on something. <laughs> I was like, that's only old people. And then I was like, nah, I do say names wrong in Cine 2 Nerdle quite a lot. Island time amusements. Island time amusements. Squeeb. Honestly, th this is capturing something for me right now. 
Imagine being like 17 years old. It's August. You're going to college in like two weeks. It's the failing light. 7.48 p.m. And you're meeting your friends at the carnival before you never see each other again. At the end of the night, you give each other hugs and you say, you know, good luck in college. I'll make sure to keep in touch. You will never talk to them again. The smartphone has not been invented yet. This part of your life is being popped off the stack and deallocated from memory. And you know what? There's a sense of freedom in that. Enjoy it while it lasts. Let's go to the coin dozers. Holy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm such a fucking loser. Oh. Whoa. What the hell are we doing, man? I thought that said fight pussy wishing well. I'm not trying to be vulgar. It's just something to do with the font, like, broke my brain. It, it, to, it my, even just with my vision slightly blurring, it looks like it says eight pussy wishing well. Do you see it, or am, have I lost my mind? Have I had too many Coke Zeros today? Like, what the hell is fight rust? Oh, fight, f help fight rusty joints in aging bots by don't, what is this? One dollar per wish? R slash oddly satisfying. What are we doing, man? They gotta come out with a with a new ten out of ten roguelite. I it's Tuesday. <laughs> We're in for the long haul, man. I'm watching a virtual coin go around the fucking toilet. What am I doing? No wonder every streamer just does react content where they like scroll through TikTok and they're like, oh, I know what's going to happen. Oh, he just, uh, the kid hit him in the nuts. I'm glad that's not me. They got it figured out, man. Your indie films from your computer's hard drive? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I paid $2.50 of virtual currency to watch my own Super Auto Pets video, bro. Please try it. Okay, but I don't want you to see everything that's on my hard drive. So if this shit opens a file browser, I'm going to be pissed. Okay, hang on. Theater one, indie film. Status movie in progress, bro. What the hell? What the hell? It's the cops. Oh, that, that tingle in your stomach when the lights turn off. Why am I so nervous? <laughs> I'm like, oh, here it comes. My own voice playing Super Auto Pets. This thing I play all the damn time anyway. <laughs> Say, hey, the, is the projectionist okay? This cost me 250, bro. This is no joke. Shit, say empty, bro. <laughs> this is the worst two dollars and fifty cents I ever spent, man. What a waste of everybody's time. <laughs> oh, dude. Is it even? Is do I? Yeah, I record an MP4. I don't know. Maybe it's a codec issue. Are you really gonna make me run it back? I don't know if I can do it, man. Please restart. <sighs> if it says empty again, I'm 
I don't even know what I'm going to do, <laughs> to be honest. Don't do this to me. Don't say empty. Hey, everybody, yes. Mr. Ten Piece is back. Do ranked? No, that's all right. I already clicked the button. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, how about, how about a little bit of this? And a little bit of that. Horrible start. See, what are we doing here? Something. Let me be like a grotesque sausage. I should have been. A grotesque sausage, sausage is pretty good. You could take that it's pretty in. good. Well, We're cooked. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I didn't expect them to have shooters. How delightfully honestly. cromulence. Great use of the tennis ball. You, you have my respect. Librarian, thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Wait, thank you. Please. Thank you. <laughs> That's not really what I was looking for, brother. <laughs> I think. What is this we guy need some doing, man? So we don't lose this round. That's why I'll take a beetle because it has a little bit of a uh, has some built-in protection at the end of it. At least we got the trumpet first. That's the only thing that matters. Good shot, kid. Do it again. Uh, we still got screwed. It, it freaking froze. Up against double tennis. You know what's crazy? How does anybody follow this? It's just not I recorded it and I can't follow what the hell I'm saying. How about one of these, just in case the guinea... Yeah, but you gotta unfreeze the, the, the pied tamarind, man. Hey, Dom Toretto, thank all. you for the gifted Quite subscriptions frankly, as well. Not. Thank you. Holy cow, I thought we had no chance. <laughs> I thought we were screwed from the get-go. Now, you're quite tempting here. Understand it might make more sense to do something like that. How about something like this? What is, what is this, this guy team doing, has man? No long -term future, so it really hey, has Jeff the Flying right Shark, thank you as well. Thank you. I just got a... a guinea fowl. The guinea fowl you guys really enjoying this? You having a good time? Packed house? This is about the viewer count of the average Super Auto Pets video in the modern era, too. But it really, it feels like more complimentary when you get them all together in one room like this. Like, it really helps you visualize the kind of reach you have. <laughs> I just can't, I can't stand that, to be honest with you. It's just, I'm, I'm glad, they, that'll keep them occupied for like 21 minutes in there, but is your movie still going? You know what? Hang on, wait a tick. Must have just ended. You know what? Just cause I, <laughs> just cause I like you. Here you go, the next one's on me, guys. Another round for everybody. Let's go! It's insane that people will put money into this. I'm just remembering when I was a kid at the Cataraqui Town Center, they used to have like, I'm, it, I'm sure this wasn't a one of one, okay? There was a wizard in a crystal ball with like a coin slot on it. And um, you would put 25 cents into the wizard ball and ask it a question. And it would be like a magic eight ball. It would be like, the answer is inconclusive. And I was paying like 25 cents a week just to have this thing spit out like a voice line that was completely irrelevant and independent of the question that was asked to begin with. What were we doing with our lives, man? Can you just flip this son of a gun over so I can read what it says? Flip it over, bro! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, it fell in the damn fountain. And it's still not flipped over. Is there, I can't see what it says on the other side. It got stuck up there, man. It's gone. <laughs> A nice job, Ron. Oh, what, I can't sneeze now? You're not going to let me sneeze?
one of these just in case the guinea fowl gets an extra hit out of Excuse it. Me, pardon I me. Doubt it will, Excuse me. I know the I know the guy who made this. Doubt it will at all. Quite frankly, it will not. Yes. How I thought we had no chance. <laughs> I thought we were screwed from the get go. I think this is right where we left off on our this last one. This team has no long-term future, so it really has to win right now or build up an absolutely enormous... Huge. Huge. Uh, Best Koala, 2023. Yeah, Foul already did his job on turn one here. For that, I'm, I'm eternally grateful. We left you abandoned there. Sea Turtle, so sorry to see that, Turtle. And yet here we are now. How often do you actually watch your old streams? Um, I'm not... A, I'm not... Never. <laughs> Of course. You move up. You get sold. You give trumpets to the game. Yeah, yeah. Fowls, Smart play. Gets can I ask them to skip ahead like seven minutes in the video so that I can actually see how this ends? At least they're giving us something. You guys ever see a... Uh, and I am loving it. <laughs> at I'm the Mountains of Madness. Every minute, Jerry. 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 I love it when Hello, he says Jerry. Jerry. Hello, Jerry. Show. I love when he says hello, My hello Jerry shows. in his. Uh, I, don't have a... <laughs> I love when he says hello Jerry in his Jerry voice. You know what I'm about, Frank Even though it's supposed to be Newman. Before. My hover shoes, really they hover don't hover. Does much for us. Oh man, but this guy is good. In a position where we gotta hopefully get some levels up. And he's good at the game. That's like the crazy part. Bro, what are you doing? You gotta get some garlic on your guinea fowl. You, it, it, it scales with hurt triggers. You're being a fool here. Look at that. We even had a 10 10 dog about to get spat out. There you go. Level 2 guinea fowl. It's so over. What are we on? Four wins, turn eight. I mean, this is like a guaranteed 10 piece. Where we're gonna go long term. That's what we want, right? We got to get as many monkeys out there as possible. If we could get like a level two monkey out there, we'd be we'd be feeling pretty solid about our chances. But the guinea fowl is gone my door crazy is here. for us, by the way. I knew it was going to be solid. I didn't expect it to, to stand up to this kind of rigorous assault. Me when I poop in the airplane toilet. <laughs> Call me crazy. I feel like I'd, I'd rather just freeze the blobfish. Mm. Look at, and then it's gonna spit. Oh, but you need some space, otherwise the slug is gonna, the monkey's gonna get cannibalized by the lack of space, bro. Please, somebody tell him. Which is why, why did the chicken cross the road? I stole that from Corey. Classic. Um, we need something to kill. We're not gonna kill the monkey once it starts spawning. So that means we have to kill something or one of these two units. We'd rather kill one of these two units because they. They're not that good. We'd have to sell them to kill something else anyway. So we need to... Wait, you're going to spawn two things. Oh. Somebody told him. <laughs> Finally, he, he realizes. The in the process here. Or are we going to lose the slug? I think we got to take a gamble on that. Mm, it's unfortunate. We'll start unwinding you next turn, okay? So right now, we got to, it's still an okay thing going for us. So we want to make sure we unwind it at the, at the right opportunity. Not just willy nilly. It's a big camel. It's a big camel. And a big I, I'm not going to sit here and watch us lose, okay? Like it's, That's it's just not going to happen. Guys, guys, uh, first, toilet tracker says see. this is the best time to go to the bathroom. You're not going to miss anything relevant. Come on, come on. Uh, but look at that. Even the staff is like mesmerized, bro. Looking forward to that. Is this the gas station? Entrance to the lazy river. I'm a fucking loser, bro. What am I doing? Happy what the hell? <laughs> As oh, if I wasn't depressed enough, they forgot it's my birthday. Come on, don't look at me. I gotta use the money machine. This shit is so demoralizing, man.
I'd rather just get like a job with some dignity. Please, please, just let me get to 50 bucks. Oh, I gotta go through one more time. I gotta go through one more time. I don't have enough for two tickets. Look at all these people having fun. I'm in the throes of my addiction. Does anyone else's workplace have one of those privacy boxes you can get in and have some private time? Uh, it's called the walk-in. <laughs> oh, man. Am I right? No? I've never worked in a restaurant environment. Oh! You, we need to spell have, survive. Somehow. Okay. Maybe. Wait, what? Because <laughs> this has, like, the language. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And then okay. this probably maps to... Uh, but then, like, what is the correspondence between this dude's pose and that letter? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I put oh, a head on the guy. <laughs> Damn, see, get that off the screen! Get it off the... I'm so sorry! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I, was doing a I was doing the puzzle, bro! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! <laughs> okay, what one's it? Where's the hat? This guy's the hat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I'm leaving my head on! We can't get rid of it now! Ryan ran we away! Shit! They got it on, on the food. intercom system, man! Hey, wait, 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 wait. I found a record. I found a record. Oh no, it's gonna play I Will Survive, man. Yeah. Oh, I found a key. Guys, I, I, a key. I hate to break it to you, the hat's mask. on the wrong one. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't change yeah, it. Yeah, I put it on the right one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. What are we going to do? That? We need to change it, bro. Ryan! I had to do it! You were right! It had to be done! Ryan! Did you that time, bro? <laughs> Audio jungle! Audio jungle! Audio jungle! Audio jungle! It's so Audio funny, jungle. In Exile Entertainment? Is this Xenonauts 2? I have no idea, bro. Unless is this uh no, this is not um Gears Tactics. Wasteland 3. Ah Wasteland 3. It's not Company of Heroes. It's Marvel's Midnight Suns. Have you seen on Twitter we're having the Midnight Suns Assance? I by the way, you might say better late than never. No, fuck you. I don't forgive you. You motherfuckers put a hit out on Marvel Midnight Suns. It came out. Nobody but me played it. I played it all the way through, plus all the DLC. It was a great strategy game. Every time I tried to tell people it was a great strategy game, they said, Marvel's mid. I don't like it. Plus it has cards. Please just make XCOM 3. Now this shit went on Steam sale three years later after everybody involved at Firaxis has uh, left their job to pursue like a different avenue for the rest of their career. And people are like, oh, well, now that I bought it and I finally give it a, a chance, uh, it turns out that it's goaded. Oh, wow, the marketing department really fucked up because I'm above all possible reproach the fuck are you you know what it is you motherfuckers is that you don't actually play the games the power of the narrative is so strong it was so easy to be a midnight sun's hater when it came out all you had to do was not play it and you're like it's so easy to be cynical about it well, if you actually played with your fucking toys you'd realize they got the kung fu grip you realize they got the action figures they're posable and they got multiple different outfits and stuff they got a shirt that says i'm gonna make you my witch now all of a sudden people are out, the same people who derided it in 2021 are out there on Reddit, like an underappreciated gem, uh, Midnight Suns, wow, it's, too, it's such a shame that it was such a financial disaster for the company that they'll never make another one. Fuck you, man. You did it. We're all looking for the guy who did this. It's you. Play Chimera Squad then. Let's not go crazy. That's probably right in the damn middle, honestly. Yeah. Early, probably like kind of can... low, actually. How long is the script? You know, they're not that long, honestly. I'll just slot it slot in. It, slot it, slot it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of action in this yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. A lot of, there's a lot of punching that might be shorter. You gotta really stick it in there. This shit is. It's like a silent movie. Yeah. Maybe at so the end they say be, Finn. Would it be trash then? Like, 
No. It does say one word. Oh yeah. They probably they probably say one thing if I had to guess. I, I don't think a silent movie would say one word. That's got so many words in it, man. It's got to be less than the Rocky script. Oh, man. no shot. No way. No what? world. What? No world. The Rocky's what like two hours long. Rocky's a movie. <laughs> Bro. That's a menu. Yeah, it's the biggest menu ever. <laughs> this, is short. this is really short. short. This is really short. You're gonna really your short. No, it's you, really short. This short. is short. short. It's short. It's short. Bigger than a goddamn cheese. No, cake. that's uh, you're crazy no, for that, that one. No. Insane. You guys are insane. <laughs> this is less than the damn cheesecake menu, man. What? It says, oh, oh, cheesecake, 1700 calories. Bang. <laughs> Chocolate cheesecake, 1900 calories. I think we should have put what Rocky the further fuck, to the bro? right. There's no yeah, way we could have known. Rocky should be way to the right, cheesecake should be way to the left. You guys are actually gonna lose your mind. Oh, you see fuck the you, you did. Man. It ain't gonna be more than any movie or any book. This That's gotta be low as fuck, bro. Why do you guys think movie bro. scripts are so long? They, they are say longer long, than a menu. Yeah, I know the menu's the big, pages, but dude, how long do you think a movie would be where they read the whole where menu? Where the fuck is this actually? fit, bro? <laughs> That's huge. It's a thousand. It's legal speak. It's There's no way words. it's bigger than the Rocky insane. script. This is insane. <laughs> That's fake. There's nothing. There's the symphony. Okay. Like, listen. What but... if it was Mambo number five, though? <laughs> Have you guys ever looked at a TOS? You cannot tell me. It's not that, that long. long. <laughs> it's... Oh, man. This is the million. Now, this should be this the most. This is insane. What do I have shit in my whole pants? You oh, think this is okay, no, no, no. no. Great, great guess. He's probably still, right. Great I will Gatsby's lose my right. mind for the rest of my life over a cheesecake menu. <laughs> this Ooh, is a lot of words, bro. Uh, not as much as the cheesecake factory, bro. <laughs> go one to the left. Go one. I don't give a flying Peter, dude. <laughs> Peter? Oh, uh, you know, actually, which one? No. I'm I'm putting nuts on the table here. No. Which, oh, which one? Them? I'm happy Let's because either I'm I'm right or quick for will last less long now. <laughs> you. There's no you worlds where you're right. There's gotta be so many words in a cheesecake menu, dude. Oh, motherfucker. Okay. Apollo? Honestly, it wasn't. You, uh, you guys were saying everything was less than Rocky scripts, so I don't want to hear all of it. There's a lot more you words than you thought there were in that menu. <laughs> he, he, no, he's pivoting. He's pivoting. No, he's quiet. doing the thing. You he's pivoting his argument. No, he's words. doing that thing where he pivots his argument so he can keep arguing. <laughs> he's pivoting his argument so he can keep fucking trying to get us, dude. That's you what he's doing. Maintain it was an insane thing. You guys were not saying shit after that. You were dead ass silent. Yeah, this shit is PG-13. There's not that many. There's not that many f bombs in this. There's not that many f bombs. What's going on? You guys didn't know how to react. You were like, "Is that a lot? Should I like? Should we be mad or is that actually more?" No, than I, thought? I, I made up my mind. There's got to be like one f bomb in this, Justin. There's got to be like one. We can we can bring this back as a society. I think we're screwed, lads. South South Park might be the most man. I'm remembering. There's like a whole bit in that movie. Oh, never mind. What the Wall Street? Hey, fuck! So many times. Damn. Holy shit. God dang. That is crazy. How can you even say fuck that many times in a movie? That's like, that's as many words as in the damn movie, man. Unless it's a movie uh, about the, the Cheesecake, cheesecake Factory. factory. <laughs> that was that. <laughs> okay, that was the joke that I was making, but you can make it again on top of it. That's oh, man. <laughs> that was, I tried to self-own and you guys tripped over yourself trying to re-own me for the same joke. My ass when <laughs> I get hungry on, bro. during the intermission for the Cheesecake Factory movie. <laughs> These fuckers be diving. Deep. They, animals, that's pretty deep. They don't. They don't dive that deep. They dive so deep, bro. Okay. They're <laughs> manatees. They go down to like manatees the Neolithic the region. Shallows, man. You guys are crazy. Like what are you doing? They go deeper than penguins, penguins for sure. Oh no. Yeah, they go deep. It's over. This I think they go deeper, but I got fucked. I got fucked because I was uh, basing it off the you not so deep, very deep. Don't, manatees. Don't manatees live in like. The manatees like the go mangroves. so deep, insane. dude. They do not go deep at all. They do. What is a manatee? I gotta Google it. I mean, this I don't think they like go butt. as deep as others, but they're still going deeper than like fish. No, I'm pretty no, sure no, I, 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 I did it. Manatees, I think, There's go unusually deep. of dudes fucking manatees. You think they're like, oh, yeah. in 100 depths, man? This motherfucker deep as fuck, right? Probably deeper oh, than a beluga. Yeah, 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 deeper than a beluga. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm just gonna. You know Something what? deep can go shallow. Oh, it's a beluga. Fuck, I was thinking. Ah, that's a that's a dolphin. Food fish. <laughs> fish. Taco, fake, right? On, Sorry, I have to yell at my cat. 
Don't, don't manatees live this in like a cheesecake factory in the shallows. Manatees like, go so deep. With you. They live in like a river. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is, bro. That's probably oh! deep as hell. <laughs> um, well, this it's is... Oh, Mariana. Well, dude, I can't go to the right side because we got fucking Hadal Amphipod staircase over there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would end the game if I tried to go over there because it's the worst placement of all time. <laughs> you gotta try, man. You gotta try. This is like probably like medium. medium. I don't know. They, know. they also are shallows. They're also the shallows because they're like oh, in the oh, reefs man. and shit. I think they go a bit deep. Just let it fall. You should have let it fall. It would have been... Motherfucker I breathes Googled. air. So what does a manatee, Google. motherfucker? Yeah, but manatees have, like, ballast or something. I'm gonna be I've honest, Googled I... manatee dive depth, and I refuse to comment on the situation. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, 25 feet. It's gonna be, like, 10 feet or something. <laughs> And maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. Fucking. I, think I was thinking of sea uh, lion. Emperor and I, where's your cheesecake? Are you telling me now? an emperor penguin can dive 565 meters below the surface of the ocean? Ugh. Yeah, they go deep. <laughs> this fucking crazy, man. How big are its lungs? Now it's getting cold crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> How, how do, man, so confidently wrong. I honestly oh, thought a manatee. 100K. I honestly almost thought a manatee K. was like, it had like air tanks built into the manatee <laughs> so that it could go deeper. Yeah, shit, it looks like an iron lung. Like you would they, think it could they, go so they get, deep. They get killed by guys in like speedboats on rivers. Bro, man. everything gets killed by guys in speedboats. We're on top on of the rivers. food chain. <laughs> on rivers. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. I think I might know this. Well, I know one thing. I'm gonna try right? the first. I mean... Nope, it's not the one I was thinking it was. I literally, we all have one. Holy shit. Okay, that helps. Fuck, I don't know what's what on this fucking fuck? salad, bro. Waldorf. Uh, uh. Okay. Uh. I got one. I'm so. Fuck. You have to listen to the dude that he was giving hints the whole time. That's oh, the only was he? I got more. Yeah. Oh, I did not oh. listen to him. Neither. I got apple I and lettuce. I typed celery! What the fuck? Oh, I got celery. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else type lettuce? Yes. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Walnut was my first fucking guess on that salad. I could have sworn they were in it. It's because it's called Waldorf. Oh, and it just are you fucking cow, me, boys? <laughs> well... That's well, so upsetting, actually. Please. He doesn't win. It's he doesn't win. He doesn't win. Oh, just I deserve to die because I don't know what's in a Waldorf salad. Uh, put his head <laughs> in the guillotine. Head in the guillotine. The head in the guillotine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they it's used to prey on my downfall. So funny. <laughs> Drop the blade. Drop the blade. I'm putting a firework in his toilet, bro. You may remember, like. 15 minutes ago, Chibli was saying pancake all the time. Remember that? Uh, why he say pancake? Whoa! <laughs> it kind of go back. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, what a sad. You better, you better make sure that blade is dull. Duh, I want game. that thing to bounce. I will simply dodge it. <laughs> <laughs> why didn't anyone just get out of the guillotine? Are we? Uh, we're done here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good gaming, though. I don't get how they were killing witches Good if gaming. they could do magic. Sorry, that just crossed my mind. Good gaming. Thank you, thank Good you for gaming. accommodating the Jackbox on a Wednesday. Yeah, I had yeah. a great time. Thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, it's always nice to end on a dub. Sorry, wait, I forgot we were playing with other people. Yeah, but it's always nice to end on a dub. Hello, are you ready to stream? I don't know shit about a Waldorf salad, to be honest with you. I'm a, I'm a garden or a Caesar guy. Contains apples, celery, grapes, and crunchy walnuts. Tossed in a tangy, sweet, creamy dressing. 
I'm gonna be honest, that sounds absolutely delicious. I love many of those flavors. Ingredients, six tablespoons of mayonnaise? That's like a two thirds of a cup of mayonnaise, bro. It's 180 mils of mayonnaise. How much does it serve? One second, I've got to scroll through all the SEO. How long? It looks like you wanted to see a Waldorf salad recipe. Here's all the lore of a Waldorf salad. Here's the answer to the common question, should I use mayonnaise or yogurt? Uh, here's the answer of how long can Waldorf salad be stored. Here's the different things you could serve it in. Here's some great uh, links within our own website to other dishes that you could cook to serve alongside of it. Okay, here we go. Serves four. <laughs> I love when old people leave comments on food blogs. There's an episode of Faulty Towers called Waldorf Salad. The guest gives Basil the recipe. Apples, walnuts, celery, grapes in a mayonnaise sauce, just as you have at the beginning of this article. Oh gosh, John Cleese is the best. I'll have to look for that episode. AI generated image. My mother made a Waldorf salad of large proportions for us every Saturday. She had a background of professionally making candy and salads at a grocery sh shopping center before entering nurses training. We grew our own walnuts, grapes, apples, and lettuce, so it was very fresh. The mayonnaise was her own concoction, made of whipped soybean oil and lemon juice. There was no salt or pepper in it. The celery and apples were chopped very finely. Sometimes small fresh shrimp were added. It was so good, second and third helpings were always requested. She learned how to make it from her uncle, Lee Ledgerwood, who worked in the financial industry in New York City and had eaten it many times at the Waldorf. I have a taste memory of it that is so strong, I can imagine it was only yesterday, not decades ago, that I last ate it. Holy cow. This is the most, like, erudite commenter online I've ever seen in my entire life. He wrote, like, a... It's like a movie script. It's almost as long as the Cheesecake Factory menu. Great way to get your fruits and veggies in for the day. Me chopping apples and then stirring in 180 milliliters of mayonnaise. <laughs> I'm not saying you can't enjoy your food. I'm just saying you could also just eat the, the apples. This shit pisses me off. I didn't have any lemons, so I substituted a squeezed mandarin orange. Next time, I'll make sure I have a lemon. I'm also not a fan of red apples, so I used Granny Smith's. I also added some leftover chicken for protein. That's a fucking different recipe, CJK. That's a different recipe. There's only six ingredients, and you substituted three of them. That's not the same food anymore. It's a completely different dish. That's, that's, that's chicken and apples. <laughs> Shit got me laughing, dude. How do you go about making it for a large crowd, perhaps 12 people? <laughs> the original recipe serves for... Oh, that's a real head-scratcher. Hmm. I have to think about that one. Awful, too much salt. I followed the directions exactly. Maybe you didn't follow them exactly because when I made it, it was beautiful and had lots of flavor. I love it because it's light and nutritious. People are crazy, man. I didn't have celery on hand, so I used cucumber, and I only had tart apples, so I used half a cup of mandarin oranges instead. I make mine like this, but to appease my kids, I fold in a little Cool Whip. Ugh! My kids, by the way, are all adults and have been requesting and eating this for years on Thanksgiving. You would not catch my ass eating Cool Whip salad or mayonnaise mandarin oranges. Hang on, I'm still scrolling. These comments, it's so normcore that I love it. I like how simple it is and uses ingredients I have. As a child, I absolutely refused to eat any salads, including Waldorf. My husband introduced me to his homemade Roquefort dressing, which caused a revolution. Now look at me, I'm eating a Waldorf salad. Thank you so much. After 60 plus years, I'm enjoying some new tastes. Reply, life holds new adventures for us every day, doesn't it? Thanks for your comment, Kathy. New adventures every single day. Me when I'm eating the Waldorf salad. The picture of your Waldorf, sorry, I mean, we're, I'm going until I get a response here, okay? That picture of your Waldorf salad appears to have the apples peeled. I saw no red on the apples. Is it just a funky picture or what? Hello there. We love that you scrutinize things so carefully. Attention to detail is a lot of what makes good cooking into great cooking. That is customer service for get fucked, by the way, in case you can't read between the lines. To answer your question, not all apples are red. <laughs> oh! Dude! What a reply! 
The recipe calls for sweet apples, meaning you are free to use any apple you like, whether green or yellow or pink or red. And of course, if you don't like apple peels, it's okay to peel them before making the salad. Red apples do make for a colorful Waldorf, though. Can I tell you guys an embarrassing story? Texting with my mom last night, um, talking about how we're, we're really genuinely buried in snow here in Vancouver, not just by Vancouver standards. Like, the city's kind of at a standstill right now. My mom said, hey, don't kill yourself shoveling. Make sure you take lots of breaks. I replied to the message, maybe like an hour and a half later. I said, don't worry. I'm in good shape, but I'm also lazy. Sweat smile. This was after she went to bed because she's three hours ahead of me, uh, time zone wise. And I was like, that's a nice little message to send. Woke up this morning, 5.45 a.m. my time, 8.45 a.m. her time. Um, she had not replied. And I was like, whoa, that's weird. I hope everything's okay. About an hour into my bike ride this morning, she texted me and said, hey, hope you have a good day today. And I looked at the text messages and realized that I had actually sent that message about being lazy but in good shape to uh, another parent going through the kindergarten application process concurrently with us. Um, so I <laughs> scrolled back through the text messages and made sure to be like, hey, uh, I know this is awkward, but that message was supposed to go to my mom. Like, it could have been worse, I guess. I could have sent, like, out of context, it's weird, but it's not really that bad. But um, it could have been better, too. It could have just been, like, you know, talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, uh, he has not replied yet. <laughs> Actually, the message is, don't worry about me. <laughs> don't worry about me. I'm in good shape and lazy okay hand <laughs> 13 hours later this message was meant for my mom lol sorry <laughs> the worst part is it actually is like almost in keeping with the message that he sent before he was he said that's the tricky part and if you wait till next year to apply there's less spots to which i replied I don't know, 20 minutes later, out of nowhere, don't worry about me, I'm in good shape and lazy, okay, hand? Dude was probably like, what the heck happened to this guy? I'm surprised he didn't call 911. It kind of made sense in context. No, that's the problem. It's like, why am I telling this other dad that I'm in good shape? <laughs> <laughs> I've had a couple situations of, of, you know, mistaken identity texting. When I was in university, I was at my ex-girlfriend's house, uh, her family Christmas thing, but I didn't really want to be there. I wanted to party with my friends from other schools who had come home for Christmas. So I uh, made my leave after dinner and then thought I was texting my friend and I said, hey, I finally got out of that boring stuff. I'm ready to hang out. And then immediately uh, realized that I'd accidentally texted my ex-girlfriend to which she, she said what are you talking about and I said oh I was just making a joke have a good night <laughs> <laughs> oh smooth did she buy it I don't know this is like 2007 this is a long time ago I wonder why it didn't work out I know it was a very disrespectful text message even if I was talking to, you know, my friend, I should have been more respectful in my text message. I was invited into their family as a, as a guest on a holiday. My boyfriend really likes you. He thinks you're the new Germa. I have some bad news about your boyfriend. He's a hater who wants to pitch, uh, pit two bad bitches together. I'm so sympathetic to Germa because I understand the um, desire as like a well-meaning person to communicate your intentions with your audience. He never should have posted that he's in the future gonna retire. People can't handle that kind of information. It, be, it takes on a life of its own as soon as it's out in the wild. Now, if you ask anybody, people are like, he's retired. His ass is not retired. He's still working. He's streaming, like maybe not that frequently, but he's putting his heart and soul into it. He's making events. He's doing production in front of the curtain and behind the curtain. This is why you should, uh, uh, listen, Two people can be on parallel roads and have different opinions. This is why you don't tell anybody. Every, anything. Ever. <laughs> he did the right thing, and now it's come back to, to bite him in the ass. 
What do you mean the new Jerma? Jerma's like 38 years old. He's going to outlive at least 50% of the people that are in my chat right now. There's no new Jerma. There's just different people. Your boyfriend is now, he's, he's shoving me into a narrative that I want no part of. I don't want to be the new Jerma. I want to coexist with the greatest to ever do it. Don't pit two bad bitches against each other, okay? Now, if your boyfriend sees this clip, I want you to observe him very carefully. If he reacts to this with a sense of introspection and thinks maybe he's become too invested in the, the narratives of these two streamers that he's never met, I'm assuming, he's a keeper. If he starts giggling because he got some attention on the stream, I think you both have some soul searching to do. I'm not saying take any rash actions. I'm simply saying, don't tell me that stuff. German's still chilling, bro. And don't give me a compliment. It's not really at the expense of German. I know you didn't mean it like that, but that's not a good compliment. It's like, hey, nice shoes. Those are the nicest shoes I've seen since a person wearing better shoes than you got hit by a train last week. Come on. I got my own, but my shoes are fly, bro. Train or no train, okay? We can all exist on our own merits. We don't constantly have to be compared to one another. 80 for Brady with Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> um, Barbarella with Jane Fonda. You want to go nuts on the table? I'll go nut for nut with you. Welcome back to 1968. You really thought I didn't know the name of an old woman, huh? Well, now you're going to pay. Cast Lifeline, Jane Fonda. Skip me. Skip me so I can play Monster-in-Law. Good game. Okay, shall we go again? It was your gambit, by the way. It was, it was the 80 for Brady accepted. I tried watching Road Trip. Couldn't make it 20 minutes. Your ass wouldn't survive 20 seconds in a Halo 2 lobby on Xbox Live. That's all I'm going to say. We were stronger back then. Everybody was fucking everybody's moms in our imagination. Why does this sound like the start of Goodfellas? Times was different back then. Everybody was fucking everybody's moms. Well, in our imagination at least. And I was fucking the mommiest of all the moms. Yeah, just, we can do this. Just give me a second here. Nev Campbell. How about Scream 2? Don't panic. You guys got a lot to answer for. 10.30 a.m. on a Friday morning. I'm not even live. You don't know that I'm here. You're in chat talking about how you want to have intercourse with the Latina guinea pig from the movie G-Force. I'm not milling this for humor. You have to look in the mirror and examine what brought you to this sorry state. Like, it's one thing if I'm live... You know, at least there's like people here. There's, there's conversation. There's banter. We're milling about in the, in the Agora. But just, you're just in a chat room. Role playing is like, a, I don't even know, like a, a horny animated film viewer. Says a lot about you. These are your most loyal followers. It says nothing about me. We've got Nobel laureates in chat and we've got philosophers living in wine barrels. You know, we run the gamut. I'm tired of this anti-streamer rhetoric that's like anyone who watches me reflects on me. It doesn't reflect on me at all. You know, Brian Wilson made Pet Sounds. It's an album that's above criticism. It's a pop classic. His favorite movie, Norbit. Just because Brian Wilson watches Norbit, that doesn't mean that Norbit is a good piece of art. Just because you watch me doesn't mean you have good taste. It doesn't mean you're normal individuals. It doesn't mean you're above reproach. Norbit is bass, Norbit is good, Norbit is a masterpiece. Shut the fuck up. I'm the only person who's seen it out of everybody talking. Oh, I haven't seen it. I don't have the time to watch it. It's 106 minutes long. I did watch an eight hour long video essay about it, though. It's too early to rile up chat. What are you talking about? They were pre riled up, bro. They were talking about the Latina guinea pig from G Force. They came pre riled. Grass, Credilli. Credilly, silly, milly, billy, silly, lily, yilly, trilly. Dan reading a, an Isaac seed. Flying branched evolution. Ray Quaza can either become Ray Quaza Mega or Squawkabilly Blue Plumage. Wait a second. Squawkabilly. 
Squawk. Look at how many plumages there could possibly be. What? <laughs> how can that not be? Read it. A pre-Evo Pokemon that evolves into two. I love how you thought that that was going to teach me what I did wrong. Squawk, Squawk of Billy is not, that's not evolutions. Those are different forms. Charles Darwin arguing with the Green Goblin mask while aboard the Beagle en route to the Galapagos Islands. Excludes Mega and G-Max forms? Are you telling me Squ Squawkabilly Blue Plumage is a Mega Evolution? It doesn't have Mega in it. There's no way this dude's Mega. He's like a little tiny lad. It is? This is the Mega Evolution. Is Squawkabilly White Plumage? That makes no sense. It says a different Pokedex number? Brother, I don't even know what Squawkabilly is. And now you're like, it doesn't have this, it has the same number? How would I know? This shit is all made up. Everything's made up? No, it's not. The atomic weight of an element is not made up. You know, the, the boiling point of water is not made up. This shit was all cooked up by Satoru Iwata, okay? Somewhere in Kyoto. And what, the real question is not why don't I know it, it's why do you know it? So I don't know what, I don't know what we're going to do here because I don't know what evolved by friendship could possibly mean. Um... Maybe this relates to starters. A late grass starter, Rose, Roselia. Maybe not a starter, but she looks like I would be friends with her. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Rosalia. The highest DPS grass Pokemon when I was still playing Pokemon Go. Who's a friendly flying guy? I would say Drifloon for sure. Has branched evolution? I would say, you know what? This is our best, sh our best shot. <laughs> no, it's not. Sinnoh, Pokemon Diamond. Who the heck was on the cover of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl? There's only one expla explanation. It must be Clam Pearl. I guess Clam Pearl wasn't in Diamond Pearl. Okay. Palkia and Dialga? Isn't that that dude who rides the Peloton? Okay, Crobat, actually, to be honest with you, Crobat, I could have gotten. When there's, I know Burmy, there's no shot I'm getting Burmy. Sinnoh, Branched Evolution. Are you, this is Branched Evolution? You're telling me that the, the plumage is being different uh, is just a different form. But Burmy being a different color but having exactly the same name is actually like a new Pokedex number. This shit doesn't make any sense. I, I refuse to feel bad about it. It doesn't make any sense. It's inconsistent. They're not playing by their own rules. I love people trying to explain the, the evolutions of these Pokemon as if it's not like an edge case. They're like, just so you know, next time, Burmy can evolve into multiple different branches based on its gender. Okay, does that apply to every Pokemon or is that just something you got to learn about each of the 1,200 that are in there, okay? You asked... Trust me, if I did, let's just say everybody makes mistakes. I'm kind of content with three on that one. They are sticklers about it. Anyway, if, if I could control the ocean height, I'm getting rid of most of it so New Zealand could be massive again. Because fucking Zealandia is huge, bro. <laughs> What's Zealandia? Like, it's what? like the 90% of New Zealand that's underwater. Oh. Because you're That's a volcano. Cool. I thought it was like a forum for, I don't know, some kind of subculture. Does, isn't it the country that the Nostalgia Critic made? How'd you do that? <laughs> Corey, how, this, how, yeah. wait, oh, Corey wait. how'd they do that? Corey's chat will love this, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Oh, uh, is he showing his boobs again? <laughs> oh man, he's he was charging us the other day. Five dollars right now, please. Five dollars. He figured it out. You know that one song that's like, yep. <laughs> oh, couldn't think of what to write. Actually, flash, dude. I couldn't think of what to write. <laughs> Just show him Justin's small, small dick, big balls. I don't remember. Wait, I, oh wait, I like doing this one. 
think it was just the. Uh... It's a guy pooping. It was. I it was a guy. Was... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You don't see it? Yeah, now I do. Or is he's this a, is an old, an old. You've also got this one. This was the small, the small dick, <laughs> big balls. Thing. <laughs> Ooh. You also got this guy. Pooping. Mm. He's wiping his ass. Oh yeah, 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 he's scooting. He's. Scooting. It does look like it looks I like a baby never... pooping on the floor. <laughs> it does look like a dude scooting. <laughs> Oh, you'll never get that carpet clean, man. <laughs> oh, man. Someone said OGC. Doing this for two hours, huh? Oh. OGC looks like a guy jacking it. Oh, I'll be the judge of that. OGC? Okay. Oh, it kind of yeah, does. No. What? OGC. Oh, what? And then capital, maybe? I don't see it. I don't either. Here, here. Oh, 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 it does, bro. He's laying down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Oh, okay, man. okay. That's good, dude. Wait, that's wait, good. wait. Okay. Wait, what about this one? Wait, what? <laughs> oh. oh, my God. <laughs> what about this one? What about this one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Looks like oh, like man. the numbers are like the same or something. Uh, Having a six. Guy who doesn't get the joke. Like that. Guy who doesn't get the joke but laughs at sixty nine anyway. <laughs> hey, do I need to like direct us somewhere? Or what what's, what are we doing? Uh, I don't. I think start, usually everything's fucked on the first Yeah, just start night. the yeah, game. You can just go. You can just go. Is this you, the, did, the one to the left here? You see the guy yeah. who, who came in his pants in the twerking competition? I did not. How is that possible? Was he the one twerking, or was he getting twerked on? He was getting twerked on. Uh, uh, understandable. Uh, Still ridiculous, though. It's like, like, no contact. Oh, you're ridiculous. No contact, he's wearing full jeans. No That's contact? That's, I mean, like, that but there's friction, right? No, no, no. no. He, he was laying down, they were twerking, like, uh, suspended above him. What? Oh, was it like Circus LA? What the fuck was going on? <laughs> no, I mean, like, there was no, there was no contact. Bro, that's why or I like don't the wear boxers, man. It wasn't. It wasn't like a lap dance. It was a twerking no competition. Shot. That's why I don't wear boxers, man. One time I wore boxers to the grocery store, and I was getting too excited. I, really? You come here, what? Dance boxers? You? I, I we have to fucking, arrest you, dude. You fucking freak. <laughs> we have to arrest you. <laughs> dude was getting turned on by his own, his own underwear. <laughs> no, I could like feel it touching the head of my dick the whole time. It would like move, and I'm like, ooh, ooh. I, I uh, as as a fellow circumcised individual, I understand. It'd be nice to have a safety on it. Oh, embarrassing! <laughs> you guys, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, you're, hey, you're, so you're cool. outnumbered, man. What do you mean we're out? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. And? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. What's he doing? What's he doing? Wait, 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 wait. That's a great, that's a great, great, great thumbnail. Yeah, great thumbnail. You guys are just trying to roast me for it because you're mad that I'm, like, more powerful. It's true. I agree, yeah. They, oh, they really if I'm ever homeless, that. my little guy's still got a house, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me, when I'm homeless, my dick is like, fuck, I'm double homeless. <laughs> <laughs> they just didn't need to, they didn't need to do all that. It wasn't necessary. It's not, great. it's not necessary. Great, another American uh, topic I can't uh, fucking understand with some of the conversation with. <laughs> I mean, do you awesome, want me to well, if yeah, anything, if anything, we can't participate in the conversation. What am I going to say? It's you guys true. ever not have a foreskin? Like, yeah, when we were in school and they were like, just don't forget the, you know, here's Schmegma. I'm like, I'm immune to it. I was like, what the hell is this? I can't. Schme yeah, I can't. So you guys it. never got the, the like, oh, pull it back to wash it conversation. You guys no. got that? There ain't nothing no. to pull back, brother. Yeah, there's nothing to pull back. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I still. Except for when I'm don't, cycling. I don't really know what. A normal one looks like. I can like, kind of That's, infer. You know that makes sense, <laughs> actually. I can kind of like you know. I, if you asked me to draw one, it would be like an elephant trunk that has like half of an apple poking out of the trunk. How close? How close is that? <laughs> what the 
fuck me. No. Or you, you know that Trump? like the, those guys in Final Fantasy who wear like the the jackets with like the really really tall collars? Yeah. Uh huh. It would be like a if you saw that guy's shadow. It's like if you have a sweater sleeve that's too long. <clears throat> that's not like that at all. You. <laughs> Chill as fuck. You know I can wear boxes without getting a boner? Like. I didn't get a okay, boner! That's OP, that, that is OP. I, I can... Just tickly! I don't think I can get oh, a boner with boxers on. Oh no, it's a hard jump too. Oh no. no. You go ahead, you go ahead. Son! Son! The bro said it's the hard jump. I think we gotta take this load back and... Yeah. Try not to die. Probably got enough. Dude's at the dude at the cum store. Me at the cum store. I'm just trying to take this load back. <clears throat> me at the cum me at the store that sells semen. No return. No, uh, brother. <laughs> no return. <man. laughs> I have a receipt for this cum. Hey, I'd like to return this cum. Okay, do you have a receipt? Um Me at the store that sells cum. Me going to the new small owned cum business in town, despite me not needing any cum, I just want to su support the business. Me seeing my op at the cum store? Oh, I thought you were vegan. Me, me at the cum store, and awkward moment, I see Ryan Letourneau there, bro. I didn't know he was a cum store kind of guy. When uh, Ryan gets spotted at the cum store, it's not that funny. Dude, right? that's I'm an executive like a, member. Someone takes a picture of him. Someone takes a picture of him like across the road. Me. It was viral on Twitter. When when you open a present at your birthday party and you see that it's from the cum store and you have to pretend that you're excited but you know you've already got the cum. Like they just yeah. got you the cum you already had. <laughs> That's just, you've already got that strain, bro. They're like, you don't have that, do you? And you're like, oh. Yeah, bro, no, it's, but it's my favorite. Okay, go me going to the cum store, but how going to the bookstore, man? It just doesn't make any sense. Me going to the cum store is like, who going to the bookstore? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear. I didn't hear. <laughs> I said it'd be like a cow going to the milk store, man. A cow going to the milk store. I understand. I don't think milk stores exist. Yeah, that's okay, the problem. There's no milk store, bro. What are you talking about? Yeah. Where, where you mean a dairy? Definitely exist. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Man. Me lined up at you the cum store like uh, ten minutes before it opens, and then I just I know exactly where they keep my favorite cum, and then I go inside and I'm paying for it, but I can barely get my credit card out because my hands are shaking so much, because I just need that cum so bad. I already went to the cum store. You're going overtime for Justin not being here, huh? What's great is that you guys are stonewalling me, and I'm getting a lot of plus twos in chat. Because <laughs> you're saying come. No, it's because it's a bit. It's a, it's a cerebral bit about the ravages of substance abuse. Vis a V filtered through the sophomoric juvenility of come. Uh, I can't believe he's. Did you just chuck Ryan's body Hi, on the ground honey. outside? <laughs> No, it's right here. <laughs> oh, okay, I don't, I don't see it. When he let go of it, it I got just him. flew backwards off of the ship. How are you, honey? I'm about to resurrect him. <laughs> oh my god, Jib, are you high? I'm high right now, dude. Data 8 oh gives my me resurrection god. powers, man. Oh, I have defibrillators in my hands. He's fucked up. He's at the cum store. I knew he was going to do that. How many uh, American states have you been to? Hey, why don't you guys uh, go into the base and I'll be the man in the chair because my daughter is sitting on my lap right now. I'm going to say, like, okay. I've probably been no to walkie 20, but... 25. That's kind of insane. What? Would be my guess. This is, this is daddy's like friends. That's for them, bro. Who are they? Can yeah. you say hi? Hi. Who are hi. They? Hi. She said, who are Who you? are they? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uncle Chibley. They said, this is Uncle Chibley. 
This is Uncle Cory. <laughs> this is Uncle Apollo. I don't want to press an email button. I don't want to hit a bad one on accident. <laughs> oh, you know what? I can do. I can. Oh, I can. Uh... This little girl's got so many <laughs> uncles. See, wait, there we go. Here we go. Don't touch uncles. my microphone. Do you know what this sign says? No. What? How do you spell it? <laughs> H E one I O. And an exclamation mark. And an exclamation mark. So true. Look at that. He's clapping for you. Do you know what this is on top? H I. What's H I? Hello. It is hello. E I T. She doesn't understand <laughs> the the smiley face. Hi D. She said she said hi D. Hi, D. You know what that says? No. It's a Pokemon. I don't know that it won't go back. It's Charmander. Charmander. <laughs> what is this? I, I dare not go inside. I can be honestly, honest, I don't really so. know it. All right. That's that's understandable. Maybe I'll peek my head in the door. I don't really know what the mad moon is. Why did you go? Just laugh every time I hear about Why it. Why did I scream? Yeah. Because it's scary. Oh no, she's gonna get jump scared, bro. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> It's awesome that she's, she's not, like, lying yet. So, dude. Oh! <laughs> wow, she... Uncle Chip got scared. Hey. <laughs> What's that cat? Yes, honey? I boo. You boo me? No, I boo. Sometimes Daddy gets lost, though. Why? Because I don't know where I'm going. Boo. And a boo to you as well. I'm dead. Yes, my baby? No, you! you. Boo! Boo. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. Say boo. I said boo. No. Tell chat, how old are you? Three months. Three oh. months? <laughs> what do you mean three months? This is us. That's Cory. Uh oh, there's a monster. Uh oh. Uh oh, Cory sees the monster. That's that uh, that thing that's chasing him on the camera. I think that. Oh, they they killed the monster. Oh. Hooray! Yay! Who are your friends? Those those are my friends. They're so good at this game. They are really good at the game, aren't they? Well, there might still be some monsters. And they're really hard to defeat. Mm, some of them you can't defeat. Well, you can get like a, a stun gun that shoots a lightning bolt. It makes the monsters go... You can even get a stop sign, and then you can hit the monster on the head with the stop sign. <laughs> oh, oh, here comes an... Oh, here it comes. Oh, I feel bad. Oh, I think Uncle Chibli might be in a little trouble. There's the monster. Oh, oh, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. Uh, I think Uncle Chibli, he's, he lost to the monster. The monster ate him. You can probably talk to Uncle Chibli. He can hear you now. <laughs> So funny. You should say, how old are you? How old are you? He, he might feel compelled to answer. Did you hear that? Say it one more time. How old are you? You got him. 26. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's 26. That's pretty old, right? Yeah. That's like really old. <laughs> Is that older than daddy? No. Okay. I thought we would get him. 
Hello. Oh no. Hello. Ghibli got eaten. Oh, oh he no, really was, really? he was coming back to it. He really wanted to show Luna and ask her what this said. Oh! oh. What does that say? Stop. <laughs> yeah. Why did he put a top in our face? He put a stop sign in my face. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I'm, I'm not going to be long for this world. <laughs> Daddy's a jerk. Don't get out of here. Oh, man. Oh, man. What is he teaching his kid? <laughs> he no, smacked me to the side. It's fun. Man. Watch this, watch this. Oh, no! <laughs> he got hit. <laughs> he didn't tell me he was one tapped, bro! He didn't tell me he was one tapped! <laughs> Your child is bro. gonna now hit people with a sign IRL, bro. She, she knows the difference in reality. She and knows. Man? She knows the difference in reality with fiction. Okay. Oh. Oh. Do you like Sesame Street? No. Yeah. <laughs> She's not really even the Sesame Street. What's better than Sesame Street? Who woke? No. Number blocks. Number blocks is better than Sesame Street. <laughs> what about Bluey? What about Bluey? Yeah, no. Oh, you don't you don't like Bluey? Your work is invaluable to the company. What about like everybody hates yeah. Raymond? No. <laughs> That's everybody not the name Raymond. of the show. Um Well we can finally go to Titan. Oh well. Uh, and now I like no show. You like no shows? Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Average Netflix. What's your viewer? favorite book? What's your favorite book? Not books. Not books. Not books either. Oh no. What's your favorite song? Not. What's your favorite game? Not. What's your favorite food? Not. <laughs> you'll you'll fit right in here. <laughs> <laughs> Made to be a Twitch oh, channel, dude. Oh, that is good. Channel and Borat. I like food, not. Nah. Can you say thank you to your uncles? <gasps> oh. No. You're welcome. She can't hear you, Corey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You see they do this cool Come on, dance. Man, use your head. Oh, that's a curse. <laughs> Should I do a, a dance for them? <laughs> don't. No. Don't. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> really that one's right. <laughs> it's crazy yeah, to yeah. think that this might be her first memory one day. <laughs> that would be something. Remember that time you killed that a guy? That would be so awesome. <laughs> I, I brought a gift for, for Luna. Okay, look, uh, Uncle Cory has a gift for you. You know what? Okay, here. It's a, it's a daddy box. Nobody, nobody say anything messed up for a second. I'm going to put the headphones on her. Okay, ready? Okay, what do you... walk When they walk on top of it, what do you hear? What is that? What is that sound? What is it sound It's daddy! Like? What is it? Does it sound like a stinky raccoon? Yeah. yeah. What is it? It's a it's called a whoopee cushion. When someone steps on it, it makes a farting sound. I feel like this is like derelict father stuff. Like I'm I'm playing Lethal Company, exposing her to this whoopee cushion. She's literally sitting on the lid of the garbage can next to my chair. <laughs> uh, it's a very cursed on both exits that, that we're done here. Oh, really? What if I popped you out yeah, of the, the garbage the can? On one like if a... I stepped on the, the pedal? Oh. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, it didn't work. I'm too heavy. Yeah. Why are you bloody? It says, what sound does a horse make? Hee-haw. Hee-haw? Yeah. Guys, I promise she she gets these ones right <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah, they said yes! 
Yay! Yay. I, I'm kind of out of material. I'm running out of questions too, bro. I'm really trying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you could do? Type, uh, put like one plus two on it and see what she says, right? Ready? <laughs> okay. What's the answer to this? <laughs> it's not one plus one, it's one plus. One plus three is. Whoa! <laughs> Can you say it into the microphone? One plus three is four. Yay! Yay! Ooh. Yeah, it says yes! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to put, like, you know. Three divided by eight times. Yay! <laughs> yeah, what's the absolute value of two minus six? <laughs> no, shut up. <laughs> oh, wait, was that... You got that one wrong? Oh, that was... Yeah, a, Paula that got was it wrong. A, no, it's a reference. What? You, shut up. Paula doesn't know absolute values. No, you didn't know absolute values. <laughs> okay, give me one right now. What's the absolute value of negative 42? 42. I'm oh, done. yay! Now it's for you, Jim. Yay! <laughs> See, how do, you, how do you like being patronized? Oh! oh my god, I was on the emote wheel, man. I was freaking out. <laughs> Alright, uh, how, how do we save this up? Oh, we gotta go up to the sky. I okay, got you. Good thing you didn't go in, man. There was a Jack in the Box in one and a, and a Nutcracker in the other. Yeah, I mean, that Nutcracker would scare her too. She might remember uh, the experience of watching the ballet. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like the Nutcracker? No. What? What? You don't like the Nutcracker? <laughs> What's wrong with the Nutcracker? I like Why didn't you like it? <laughs> Was it too long? Yeah. Smells like beef. Might be a little too long for a, a, like a three-year-old, but... Yeah. I smell like beef. Okay, so I should. Well, I have fun. Uh, yeah, thank you yeah, for, yeah, yeah, for yeah. babysitting with me. Lethal's yeah. back. Lethal's back. I'm just waiting to see what he's writing, man. That's like, I, that's yep. the, this is our goodbye. Oh, you know what? I mean, I don't know how to do it. What does this say? You know what this is? You know what this is? It's a smiley face. All of them are saying goodbye, bye bye, goodbye. Can you say bye bye? Bye bye, goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye, goodbye. That's a wave. This is a person waving. Yeah, I'll go out of my office. I just want to make sure mommy's ready to start work so I can, uh... Well, it's kind of complicated. Okay. We just need to talk for a couple minutes until mommy's ready. Don't, don't take my icicles! Don't take my icicles! Why are you, what are you doing to my icicles? Mm -hmm. uh. Hey! That was fun. Good games, guys. GG's. Good games. Good night. I'm gonna go torture Pokemon now. Okay. He's playing Pal Ooh. World. <laughs> Pal World. Oh, very nice. That's not mean, yeah. Well, I don't know what, what I'm doing. Maybe I'm giving them guns. Ooh. Pal World. Pal World okay. is like it's Pokemon okay. but for grown-ups. Okay. I like it. My Have friend Cory is playing it. Yeah. yeah you too, my week. king. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Pal World. Bye bye. <laughs> Pal world. You know what pal no, means? How many? F oh, Ryan's still here. You hey, are whoa, a jumbler. Still here. I'm a what? You are a Hang on, I'll look at his stream. I'm a jumbler? Yes, he oh, is. Oh, he's still got his headset. Yes, he <laughs> Maybe we should leave. <laughs> Maybe he should leave, you know? <laughs> know. Maybe he's got a mixer mute. Maybe he can't hear us at all. Say something mm. mean to my friends? Yeah. No. Still just I'm... in the Discord, huh? Hey, you like, jerks. <laughs> you, hey, man, you can leave whenever you want. I swear to you, the thing she said before I was unmuted was, say something mean to your friends. 
<laughs> what? Because you hit us with the sign, bro. She's gonna hit the bad bad stuff, stuff, She's going down the dark side path. No, I am oh, not. Over. <laughs> <laughs> you have to buy her a red lightsaber, man. No. What's your favorite color? Purple. She's she's in a sarcastic face. Her favorite color is not purple. It's very different. It's pink. Uh, maybe it changed. Yeah, maybe you it don't changed. Know that. No, Purple's no very shot. close to pink. Mm, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Hey, Anel, did you see that video with the Spanish guy talking over Plants vs. Zombies gameplay and he's talking funny? I swear to you this is true. I had that tweet loaded and ready to watch. And then something took me away from my phone and I said, I can't wait to watch this when I go back. When I went back, it had been removed from my feed. Librarian, could I get a link on this? I meant to watch it. Thank you for resurfacing it in my memory. He says, oh no, it's the dive rocket launcher. Doesn't he say like it's the uh, pumpkin bomb? Six likes from one month ago. I am the angry pumpkin. Oh no, it is the dive rocket launcher. It's just people, is this it? Hang on, oh my God. Perhaps we've, we've gotten there. Thank you, VIP Daniel. Thank you, librarian. This is it. <laughs> I just realized you have no sound. <laughs> and now I'm just losing it. That's so good. Here, here. I'll, I'll let you uh, watch uninterrupted. Oh no! It is the dive rocket launcher! Take action regarding that individual. Relax, I'll handle it. I am the angry pumpkin. The architect and the builder, they arrive calmly from their escalator with a sense of purpose. They are playing at their residence. The head is soaring. Oh no, it is the dive rocket launcher. Take action regarding that individual. Relax, I'll handle it. I am the angry pumpkin. The architect and the builder, they arrive calmly from their escalator with a sense of purpose. They are playing at their residence. The head is soaring. Oh, man. That's one of the funniest things I've seen this year for sure. Hellebuck looks like a damn vampire. Ahimomansa. You ever see that TikTok? What would you call this? A lycanthrope. Hmm. Hemomansa. A ghoul. Hmm. A nymph. <laughs> a, a pixie. I've never seen it. Librarian, can we get a, a check on this one? You just know how to do it better than I do, okay? I'm going to slash marker it here. This is why... When people are like, I don't go on Twitter anymore, you're missing out on this free booted content from, uh, from TikTok. Like, this is so good. English. A sorceress. A witch. What about hmm. this? Mage. A wizard. Hmm. And this? A ghoul. A zombie. Hmm. What about this? A hemomancer. A vampire. Hmm. And this? I like them trope. A werewolf. Hmm. What about this? A pharaoh. A mummy. Hmm. And this? Pixie. A fairy. Hmm. How many did you get correct? Oh, man. It's so what good. What do you call this in English? A sorceress. A witch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It gives me every time. It gives me every time. Extreme minus two energy? What are you talking about, bro? Just listen to the way that he says hemomancer, man. A zombie. Hmm. What about this? A hemomancer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is worse than the first guy you showed us? It's not that funny? You guys are crazy, honestly. What's funny for you? Donald Trump holding eight boxes of pizza? <laughs> Skibbity toilet? All right, but that's just like everybody loves Forrest Gump, okay? From both sides of the political spectrum. 
Okay, full scumbag build enabled. Give me some scalers. Some scalers. Walter Whiteface. <gasps> no, Walter, I didn't say Skylers. Oh. Walter White goes back to dancing before shilling uh, a semi legal crypto exchange based in Antigua and Barbuda. Wait, why was it? Wait, you should get combined, bro. Oh. Scale me. Would you let the Pope hit it from the back? I would, because honestly, he's been kind of based lately. Didn't he say um, in the last month he's had multiple base statements, one of which was like, didn't he say coming is good? That's a big one. We've been waiting, like a thousand years ago, there would have been a civil war fought over that question. He said sexual pleasure, pleasure is a gift from God. POV, you just got sucked off for the first time, and they ask you for a statement. <laughs> Oh, I just imagine the Pope being like, Mamma Mia, I get it now. I got to tell everybody. Imagine though. Oh, no disrespect to the Pope. As far as we know, he's the only world leader who's got a hard copy of Undertale. So we show some respect. I'm 100% sure Bill Clinton played Undertale. You think so? You think Bill Clinton would vibe with Undertale? We know Hillary Clinton saw Barbie at least. Or at least her publicist did. Bill Clinton played Guilty Gear. Isn't there like a, a Smash mystery? There's a player that's named like, the, their online handle is like Barack Obama or something like that, but no one knows who they are. But every once in a while, they enter like a, an online tournament and just rinse everybody. That's Joe Biden in Guilty Gear. <laughs> See, I almost, I, I remembered most of it. Joe Biden rinses dudes in Guilty Why would I give you that, that steak, man? Now you're not getting any bonus from the Siberian Husky. It really is like that tweet. Uh, that's like, this is what it's like to watch people play Super Auto Pets. And he's like, oh, he countered it. He had the propeller helmet. Okay, he countered that. All right, let's see what you got going next. We got the doctor. He's going to use the stethoscope. I'm just going to scope around. Four and one on top. Pretty good move. Good scouting. What we got? Dinosaur? Oh, I can use the RAR. <laughs> that was impressive. Oh, but he's got lunchbox. Oh, lunchbox completely counters this. You can just put everything in there. Yeah. Wow. I haven't seen the dinosaur countered that casually in a while. Yeah, we got some new uh, art back here. The camera's all messed up, I've noticed, but that's the least of our problems today. We have uh, a piece of artwork here that was created by my daughter with uh, some help from the teacher, for sure. It's very nice. And then I put the... YouTube 1 million subscribers plaque back there because I had to do a virtual interview for a school we want our daughter to go to. And Kate said you should put the 1 million subscriber plaque back there to make your job look more legitimate. And I was like, you know what? For my family, I will do it. I also, during the interview or prior to the interview, I also took the icicles off. <laughs> Because I was like, that does not look professional. No, I didn't drop my sub count during the interview. It was kind of like, I don't know if it um, was positive or negative, but when I was explaining what my wife and I do for work, she said, oh, that sounds like a video that like my kids watch on YouTube. And I was like, that, I think that don't read into it too much, but it could go either way. Either she's like, wow, you're like part of the uh, industry that pumps that garbage into our house. Or she's like, oh, I understand how you could have like a viable life using that as your business. Back shots today, Pharaoh? No, I'm mad at back shots because no one in the content creator discord plus two'd my amazing tweet. What was it? Neo colon. Why does my penis hurt? N new line break. Gay Morpheus, comma, taking back shots. 
because you're using it for the first time. They iced me, bro. Why does he have to be gay? Because he's getting butt fucked by Neo, bro. I guess, okay, fine. Neo, why does my penis hurt? Bisexual Morpheus taking back shots because you're using it for the first time. Thank you, now it's good. Six wins! I hate to say it, you're actually right. Bisexual Morpheus is a, it's an inherently funnier phrase than gay Morpheus. Gay Morpheus is pretty funny, but bisexual Morpheus is way funnier. I also feel like watching the movie, I feel like Morpheus, he kind of gives off like a bisexual aura in the movie. Obviously, he has uh, had a previous relationship with Niobe, but he also, I mean, do you see the way he's serving when he gives that keynote speech at the TEDx Zion a uh, sweaty rave in the Matrix 2. Doesn't he wear like a, like a leather vest with no shirt underneath? Actually, you're not wrong. Pretty much everybody gives bisexual vibes in the Matrix. Even Agent Smith gives off bisexual vibes for sure. I'm like not the guy to be talking about this. <laughs> oh, what a bear bush. He does enter Neo in the third one. I, I can't read the comments. You know what? I'm going to read them. I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. But yes, that is the same vibe. So many people typed it. The only person in the Matrix who's not bisexual is Agent Smith. And he's gay, but he's in denial. And that's why he's... It, like It's an outlet. He's not expressing himself true to himself. And that's what causes him to you know, resort to violence and, and trickery so much. He's cooking. I'm just saying, that's just the vibe I get. Me, after watching The Matrix for the first time, age 11. Bro, what are you talking about? Agent Smith is just a cool kung fu guy. You don't get it, okay? He's a metaphor for not being able to express your sexual identity through the lens of 1990s America, okay? So true. Bisexual Agent Smith be like, Mr. and Mrs. Anderson. <laughs> it's not even there's like literally no joke your brain is so cooked not really you know how like you have to do puzzles and stuff as you get older to maintain some degree of neuroplasticity and avoid degenerative uh, brain diseases I'm pretty sure that like streaming and making videos is kind of that for people that are in their 30s when I talk to like a, another 35 year old, here's what they sound like. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, have a good one. That's basically it. They, they, they're not cooking on the same degree that we're cooking. We're weaving a symphony every single day and that's why we get bullied and ostracized. It is. They're saying stuff like, did you see This Is Us last night? Nobody's saying, Neo, colon, why does my penis hurt? Bisexual Morphe is taking back shots because you're using it for the first time. They just don't possess the, the same capacities. They've grown in different directions. You know, it's like you grow a, a, a watermelon in like a, a glass cube, it becomes a square watermelon. My brain's in a different cage than theirs. Now it's, it's for worse, but it's also for better in some ways. Wouldn't it be, why does my ass hurt? Neo is fucking Morpheus in the ass, okay? Morpheus is not fucking Neo in the ass because Morpheus is like Neo's mentor. That would be like a problematic power dynamic, okay? Can you just think about the machinations of this for a minute? You think I haven't considered every possible edge case here? I'm surprised Morpheus is that tight. It's because he's, it's because Neo's using it for the first time. You shouldn't need this much joke explaining. Like the, everything, it's like Magic the Gathering. Reading the joke explains the joke, okay? So does Trinity peg Morpheus? If anything, Trinity would be pegging Neo 
because they are destined from celestial beings to be intertwined forever. Have you not seen The Matrix 4? This shit was written in cuneiform stone tablets. It was baked into the periodic table at the creation of the universe that there'll be twin stars orbiting each other forever, okay? You didn't do the required reading before the joke, and now you want me to explain it in the middle of the final exam. And I'm not going to do it. Why should I debase myself on this platform? Please, I'm begging, what's the punchline for joke 42? Me taking Jeff Dunham 400 at Clown College? Bro, I forgot. <laughs> Ahmed the Dead Terrorist's most famous punchline is silence, I blank you. Is it A, cancel, B, kill, C, beat, or D, eat? Fuck, I should know this one. Is this a trick question? What's the name of um, Jeff Dunham's old guy puppet again? You know, the one that looks like this. Can I tell you that as soon as I did the face, I remembered it was Walter. <laughs> I was like, I think it's like, it's like Clint or something or Kurt. Then I, I went like this. My brain was like Walter face. Fighter seems like a lock. Okay. You're killing it. Don't everybody all talk at once. Ah. I'm chilling, man. Hold on. I'm going to do things with my voice Ryan can't do right now. Do re mi fa sol la ti do. Do re mi fa sol la ti do. You should play cool Volert with that voice, cool bro. Guy voice. Cool guy. Cool guy voice. <laughs> Don't do it. You're going to freak it up. I've got cool guy voice. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really sensual can you, cool guy. Can you say... Uh, like meow for me, kitten, or mm, something I'm like gonna, that. I'm not gonna like do that yet. <laughs> Let's wait till we get more than one correct answer. Okay, he's the guy uh, with the bow and arrow. Oh, Norman, yeah. Norman Reedus, bro, Mingus, yeah. Mingus Reedus. Yeah, Mingus Reedus. <laughs> That's so sick, man. That's actually so inspiring. I don't I know hope this word, Chipley, Do you? <laughs> I think it's a bird. <laughs> what the hell, man? No uh, fish. Abattoir. I think it's abattoir, but I don't know what the fuck uh, that is, man. <laughs> um, well, I'm glad I'm not the only one because if you knew what it was, I would have had to sit here and pretend that I knew what it was. So yeah, I'm glad yeah. you spoke up. Yeah, my my pleasure. Can you tell me what it is? Okay, so uh, I don't know what it is, man. Oh, uh, okay. Isn't it? Don't you write an abattoir? Hmm? I don't think so. Okay, Sherlock probably did that. Is it like a place you keep clothes? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think, right. uh, okay, Revolver is probably like Texas. I think the uh, abattoir is like. We'll get to that. Okay. <laughs> we'll get to that. Revolver is Texas? Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to throw out my guesses, bro. Pro Sherlock probably was saying that shit. The Queen was probably saying that shit. And I don't know, fucking hamburger, maybe. maybe. I can see Crown. I feel like Crown feels like some abattoir shit, you know? Sherlock! Wait, oh, Sherlock wasn't a writer. He was a guy that, like, found crimes? Like a, like a detective. I think Texas is Revolver. I don't know. Wild West, uh, dude. Revolver, Texas. Isn't it like a Beatles song? Is anyone here the Beatles? <laughs> maybe it's nah. a record. All right. Death, maybe. You, you should click Texas, because I'm not going to. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, oh shit, he's crazy. Wow, wow. What the fuck? Am I cheating? He's going crazy. <laughs> I, I don't know, are you? Revolver, right? <laughs> I don't, okay, now I don't know what I don't want to do anything. No, Texas was what? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Texas was a revolver, bro. Oh, we had two for that. No, oh, yeah. who cares? We're, We're winning. Yeah, yeah. It's because I popped a gummy vitamin, man. I'm feeling crazy. <laughs> He's on that gorilla mindset. I think, I literally think I'm like driving myself to kidney failure because the bottle says take two a day and I take like five, bro. They just taste What's so up? good. That is really bad. <laughs> He's yeah. eating the kick because they're candy. Are you peeing like Sprite? Dude. Oh, <laughs> it's good. Pee's good. They add, my conspiracy theory is they don't put enough in there to hurt you if you eat too much. 
Ryan, your spray is clear, true. bro. Plus, if you yeah, but it probably <laughs> burns if you <laughs> came out of your urethra. <laughs> you're just gonna you're just gonna piss out like most of the extra shit, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine. Firing out kidney stones like a potato gun. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> What the fuck is a Miles, bro? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, the shit your gallbladder makes. Is that like... Some, I, I know... I, I imagine a patient is dealing with Biles. Maybe um, you th throw up some bile into a bucket. Into a bucket. I was thinking that. But why Biles? You know? Hmm. Um, I don't know, man. Berlin. <laughs> Is there another definition for biles? Berlin Wall probably had some biles on it. I don't know about that. <laughs> Comets are soaring for biles. <laughs> Millions of biles away. Maybe he meant to type miles. Wait, true. Well, let's just play on miles. A comet? <laughs> the, <laughs> Model T is a car that drives miles That's per hour. True. American That's made. True. And the, the Berlin Wall is miles long, bro. That's true. It's, it's, true. In, it's in Europe, uh, actually, so it's kilometers miles? long. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe, okay, maybe right. we so should play on the miles word being be? miles. This is brutal, man. The elephant. I mean, I clicked last round. You got to do this one, dude. You're on your own. I, I know do, we're I a team, but we have no fucking clue. I'm pulling bullshit. Oh, I, I, it's. I think it's definitely patient and bucket. Click it. Okay. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, genu I. It's as. I Come on, I Justin. Fault. What? What did you do? Don't do that. Oh. Look at the sad dog, bro. That's a sad dog. Isn't bile like uh, like bodily fluids or some shit? It's some shit in your stomach, I think. Two. You know what? Bucket's funny. What the? <laughs> Hell yeah, oh. brother! Oh. Justin, Amber, thank you, Justin. Bucket. bucket is slang what for a hockey helmet, by the way. It's true. Oh, and you can play on them, the, the street drummers. They're playing on the buckets. Oh, he's right. I need you to explain some things. Though. Okay, yeah, that's yes. the way. Biles? Three. Okay, Simone Biles is the most famous American gymnast of all time. Brother. Well. She's the most thanks, famous man. American gymnast of all time. Dude, I don't know the most famous, like, lumberjack of all time. <laughs> like, don't <laughs> you don't know Paul Bunyan? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I do. <laughs> gymnast and Who's lumberjack. the gymnast that broke her ankle when she landed? If I typed that. Bunyan, your ass wouldn't be clicking on, like, ox and blue or something? Fucking Jesus Christ. Okay. I've just never really paid attention to uh, gymnastics. And then bile is sport. secreted by your gallbladder to digest fat. The kind of fat you might find in an hamburger. I hate you so much. <laughs> and then Scorpion, I honestly, after Abattoir, I was just like, you guys are picking up on my vibes. I'm going to give you an opening to just... To play. Wait, what was Abattoir? Was I right? You were... Off on all of them, but right regardless. So it was ab an fuck? abattoir is a slaughterhouse. So oh. it was like hamburger, Texas death. <laughs> but then you're like, it sounds like some shit Sherlock would say. It sounds like some shit the queen would say. And I was like, keep going, man. <laughs> <laughs> what was revolver? Roulette? Roulette, Roulette also? death, mm -hmm. Texas. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. A gymnast okay, technically revolves... Levels. No pressure, Ryan. Vault. Oh, come on. Uh, bank. Yup. Uh. Uh. Ah, uh, fuck. Do <laughs> 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 I keep him in a cave? Yeah. I don't know about that. Why? This scales, man. They have scales in in the bank vaults and all the like memes and shit. Know. You ever seen that? Yeah. One of the memes, but like payday, you played pay, payday. No, you go into the vault, man. They've got scales. It's they it's it's be, actually a, a gimme. It's a freebie. They do be weighing that. things with that, right? Like it's the easiest, it's a, scale it's like is old, a freebie. Scale is like a freebie. That. It's like old it's bank. 
That's your yeah, old bank has scales. Well, they usually keep the way the gold salt well, in the vault to, for the bacteria. All right. right? Yeah. Let's, sorry, I'm, I'm leaning away because I'm thinking to hard. dry it out. All right. Are you leaning so away? Doesn't breathe in the forwards. <laughs> I'm leaning forwards now. Oh, OK. You think they put a fence around the vault to keep you out of it, right? Mm -mm. Maybe that's a wall. <laughs> I feel like the point of the vault is not that a door. <laughs> well, you got to have layers, right? I guess, yeah, I guess. Okay, I then they, it could be in a then cave. It's, then it's got to be bridge, too, because they put a bridge before the fence. Can not, the peanut no gallery <laughs> uh, pipe down? Yeah, the peanut gallery. <laughs> uh, I am going to click scale in the next I'm, 10 seconds, unless right, you give me a really wrong, good one. I'm going to be mad. <laughs> That's a pretty good argument. I don't know if I want to counter that. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> what is wrong with you? How did you not click on dog Scale for Costco? Is, well, it's what? insane Hot dogs, because... Bro. Vault is oh. to, means to like hop over something, which could be yeah. scale yeah. something as well. Okay, so like if that's what they had said, move. then that's fine. But, yeah, but they this did. guy no, said no. there's scales in the vault, which doesn't no, make no. any fucking sense, no, man. I thought the same Old thing. Bank vault. <laughs> I'm with Chibli. I thought scale and stock were the other two. If you it's Robin, because you're robbing the bank. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, someone, I know there's a small dude. percent arguing for me, dude. Oh, so the old fallen. bank vaults have scales. Yes. Chibli's what right. are you talking Thank you about? Now. Thank you. They have scales because I have to they check if the fucking 12 ounce gold bar is 12 ounces, bro. <laughs> I can't right. measure everyone. I'm so happy that you lost. Uh, I my words were just fucked. Fan Polish fans. and <laughs> Polish and dog. Thank like, you. Rich? <laughs> rich are good. Costco. Incredible stuff. Why is she Polish Costco? Wait, why is Polish? Because yeah. you can get a hot dog or a Polish. Wow, no, I don't fucking know that, that dude. Yeah, yeah. and we don't have that here. Tower crow, you know, hot dog. Hey, now, did you mute me on Twitter? Okay, meet loafing cat. Let's do a little live audit, okay? What's your Twitter account name? Slash user meatloaf, meatloafing cat. 138 messages in chat, following for a long time. Holy cow, did you, this is the message you left yesterday? Look, I'm just telling you, it's not looking good. Hey, NL, if you play Pal World with Apollo, you won't have to spend much time crafting and shopping trees because he already did that stuff. Also, most of your pals will automate the farming, so it's not really that much farming. If you play with Apollo, you won't have to worry about doing the survival game stuff you don't like that much. I think you should give it a try. It's really fun, especially if you're playing with someone else. Smiley face deleted by Moobot for, for being too long. Let me see, okay? Username is Meat Loafing Cat, okay? I promise you this is a live audit, okay? Follows you, has not been muted, but I'm looking at your tweets and I think it's because you only retweet things related to Arcane and Minecraft and Power World. I don't even know if you've, if you've tweeted at me. Okay, it's just that I'm not funny then. Let me see. Oh, no, no, yeah, you're right. It wasn't funny. I saw the tweet and I did not laugh, but I did not mute you. It's when you reply, I said, thanks for your well wishes. I don't feel that bad. I just can't talk. And then you replied with, you would be a great react streamer. It's just one of those things. Never meet your heroes, okay? When I'm sick, I don't have a good sense of humor, you know, about my own illness from strangers. That's not your fault. That's my fault. You know, I was not in a position to receive news that could be emotionally distressing. Tweet just before that. I have a recommendation for a game to play, King. Pal World. Why do... Th this is just something... I got a little bone to pick and it's not your fault. Why would you think that tweeting me a picture of the game having 330,000 concurrent players would be like a selling point? That's like showing me the box office receipts for the new Transformers movie and being like, you should check this out. Like, I'd, I'd rather hear from some people who you, they got boots on the ground you know what's what's the word of mouth like i always find it no disrespect at all i get that everybody interfaces with gaming in their own way but i always i've been laughing a little bit seeing like just people retweet the sales numbers for pal world and i'm like buddy you know you're not seeing a nickel of that right 
you're not on the damn team. Like, I, I, I get that you're happy the game is doing well, but at the same time, <laughs> you're, you're not involved. No disrespect, man. No disrespect. If you're the CEO, it's okay. Sorry, I'm still on your Pal World tweets. Only three days to go until release. Only four days to go till release. Pal World, my beloved. Only five days to go till release. Pal World, my beloved. Only six days to go until release. I've been following this game forever. Only seven days to go until release. Pal World, my beloved. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, man. That's okay. You're in love with Power World. There's nothing wrong with it. You are not muted on Twitter, though. You haven't done anything wrong. Yo, how about this one? You tweeted it on my birthday. My friend sent me this video. Never seen a Costco this empty. It's a video of an empty Costco parking lot. Subtitle NL's Dream. You know what? I just didn't see that tweet. I, I clicked the heart on that. That's a Costco parking lot with like nine cars in it. That is my dream. He has such a way with words. 2000, I'm Dodgeball 2000, thinking true, thinking, ending, true story, tr ending, true ending, 2000, never, never, I'm Mickey, midnight 2000, I'm never Mickey. What the hell was I talking about, man? Midnight true, after midnight, midnight true, I'm true, I'm never Fantasia. I'm thinking <laughs> ending story, true ending near automata, true story, dodgeball, things, wild things, at midnight things, feed things, dodgeball, Mickey, Mickey underdog, feed Mickey, dodgeball things, true things, truth brings. I'll take one lick. Your, Your ride, ride, best, best trip. trip. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell was I talking about? Am I okay? Cine two nerdle worlds word salad stream of consciousness goes crazy. I am the angry pumpkin. What the fuck is G Max form? <laughs> what is G Max form? Grass G-Max, Venusaur G-Max. This is exactly what I was looking for. Nice uh, Matt Damon in the last dual haircut ass. Fairy G-Max, Toge Kiss G-Max. G-Max. Snubble G-Max. Gal, okay, can I get a check on, uh, on Galar? By the way, what is Galar's sword and shield? Thank you. Wolf. What the fuck is this? Hot B? Look at this guy. He's huge. He takes up all the empty space. If jazz is the notes you don't play, this dude is 0% jazz. Psychic grass. Bellossom. That simple ex polka, polka fans, explain yourself. Bellossum is made of grass and flowers. And in Super Smash Brothers Brawl, she has a field around her that deflects projectiles. How could that not be psychic? That's Gardevoir. Oh, Bellossum puts you to sleep. Okay, not psychic. Obviously, sleeping has nothing to do with your brain. Grass and rock. This must be Torterra. It's a... Are you... This... They need someone to refactor this shit from the ground up. It is a rock with a tree on top of it. How could this not be grass rock? Psychic fairy. Cle Clefa. Who's the other one? Wiggly Tough. It's Gen 1. It's not going to be duo type, you idiot. Maybe it has a G-Max form. Grass. 
It's a great thinking exercise. It'll keep your brain nimble, searching the, the corners of the caverns for a data point that probably doesn't even exist in the whole encyclopedia. Surely, Groudon can learn leaf cutter. Breloom. is a rock mushroom, okay? Apparently that has nothing to do with grass, even though my lawn is fucking covered in fungus. Make it make sense, Satoru Iwata. Fairy rock. Reggie fairy. Like, you know they're washed, right? You know they're washed? What the hell is Grafefe? Grievard. It's a dog with a candle on its head? What the hell is gouging fire? <laughs> it's not even a Pokemon anymore, man. It sounds like the eighth sauce before Sean Evans asked you about some shit from your childhood. Gouging fire? Are you a G-Max form of Gorgeist average? Like, what's go what are we doing here, man? Gengar G-Max! Is it possible? I am the angry pumpkin. Oh. <laughs> I know he's Gen 1, but when did they add the G-Max, man? <laughs> Raging Bolt. Look, what is this dude just got back from the vet? Like, what is this, man? What Roaring Moon. I don't know. Could be psychic for all I know. Oink alone female. See, two cannon, they still had something with two cannon, okay? They were still cooking up a little bit. Even Oranguru, they were still doing some funny stuff, okay? Like Walking Wake? What are we talking about here? Kingler G Max? I'm sorry to say, they went too far, man. Okay, Grass Fairy. Given enough time, I probably could have gotten this. Credili, I am aware of the existence of, but that's tough for me. And the rest of them... That's just tough, man. That's tough. What the hell is tough, right? Oh, you don't know Al Creamy G-Max, the cake Pokemon? It's, this shit annoys the fuck out of me, which is why I love playing it. I think it makes for funny content, as long as you understand kayfabe. But, like, Pokemon fans are like... Fuck you, man. You haven't even played the Pokemon games post-Gen 1, you idiot. Then you go to their Twitter feed and it's all, Game Freak, please fix the game. The last nine games have all been bad. The last good one came out when I was seven years old. Please, I fucking hate you. Please make a good one. Doesn't make any sense, man. Hey, Zimbiji, thank you for the gifted subscriptions, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Hey, by the way, can you explain to me... Um, because now that I'm back on TikTok, I'm more current, I'm more contemporary. Can you explain to me um, what mewing is? No? As I understand it, it's uh, something you do, this is what I've been able to infer from context. Something you do with your tongue to m emphasize your jawline. It's zoom or duck face. Wait, wait, is it this? Is it that one? Pretty much. Not quite. And a smirk. Add a smirk and an eyebrow raise. Like that? That's more like Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro invented mewing? That's Hemomancer, man. <laughs> That's Saltburn? I can't keep up with all this Gen Z stuff, man. Honestly, you're kind of hip with it. I'm just, I, I mean, here's what annoys me, and I did it to the older generation when I was part of the younger generation. You can't rag on the older generation for, like, being out of touch. And then when they ask honest questions, be like, 
oh, you're so old. Like, how do you not know what it is? Well, someone had to tell you what it is too the first time, but it's just they didn't look upon you with derision when you asked because you were the same age as them. But because I'm part of the out group, all of a sudden I'm supposed to like know everything, even though it was invented on 4chan like six months ago. So what the heck is mewing, bro? That's a, it's a simple question. It's putting your tongue to your gums. It emphasizes your jaw. To your gums? <laughs> Re like... To the top of your mouth. Can you tell when I'm doing it and I'm not doing it? No? I'm sorry, brother. I think that's pseudoscience. I don't think it works. I'm not a scientist. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know if maybe you actually believed it. Maybe it's all a joke. Maybe it's something that, that nobody believes in. And that if you show someone it and they believe it, you're like, the joke's on you. You're doing it wrong. Hang on. I want to do it right, okay? Because if it works, that'd be sick, bro. You push your tongue to the roof of your mouth. I mean, when people told me to put my tongue on my, on my gums and I saw what my face did, that was so funny. <laughs> rotate your head. Suck your cheeks in, turn to the side and rotate your head. Did it work? Wrinkle your nose? All right, you, you perverts. <laughs> He's like, do a backflip. He was kind of, he was going Nicki Minaj mode. Oh man. You're looking handsome today. Don't start doing that stuff. Hey NL. Hey, oh, hey, let's get everybody together telling me he starts looking handsome to gaslight him into thinking that all the mewing is working. So, like, how long do you have to do it every day to see an impact? You actually do look better today? Yeah, I know. Yesterday, when I went to bed, I looked in the mirror and I was like, something's wrong with me. Like, I, I thought I was, like, relatively over the sickness, but I was still pretty cooked. Even this morning, like, I was like I'm still not 100% as you can probably tell, but... Better than yesterday. At least I got some, you know, like, some life back in my face. You know, my daughter hit me with a new one yesterday. Anybody, first off, actually, there's a couple of things. She said, Daddy, tell me a joke. I gave her a little nerdcore classic. I said, knowledge is power, France is bacon. There's no way she understands the joke. But in spite of that, she loves it. She's just been going around repeating Francis Bacon, Francis Bacon. I thought she forgot about it. She woke up this morning. She has like a little chalkboard that she draws on and writes on. She wrote something and said, I mean, it's just a series of lines, but she said, Daddy, look at what I wrote. I said, oh, what does it say? First thing she said, Francis Bacon. She's obsessed with it right now. Then also, before bed, she starts bargaining, right? She's like, I need like five more minutes. And then if I say, no, 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 it's time for bed, she'll go, um, um, daddy, daddy, daddy. And I go, yeah, honey, what's up? She goes, did you know that, um, there's water on all of the planets? And I go, oh, really? There's water on all the planets? <laughs> Somebody should let NASA know, um, that there's water on Mercury and Venus and Jupiter and Saturn and Uranus, because uh, I think that would be a pretty incredible scientific discovery. She does also have like a little toy computer that's actually, it's like a, it's hard to explain. It's a stamp pad, but it kind of looks like a laptop and then the stamps look like keys. So she likes to open it up and pretend to write emails. She opened it up yesterday pretended to type for like uh, 15 seconds and then closed it and said, okay, I'm done streaming. And I was like, ah, you really gotta, <laughs> 
As a parent, you really got to watch what you say, man, because they're picking up everything. <laughs> they are absorbing 100% of the information that is around them at all times. Chat, I need your advice on an unban request, okay? Here is this user's chatter history, the relevant chatting history. I find it very hard to believe my messages are being ignored because they aren't funny. I've said some very funny things that were gone in a matter of seconds or minus two'd by idiots. Let's see what they wrote before that. Okay, just give me a second here. This, this is on the day of question. This is anatomy of a fall. Hi, Anella. I've been watching movies on my phone on an exercise bike at the gym. Thanks for revitalizing my enthusiasm for long-distance cardio. Chicken is no good. Chicken has teriyaki and nothing else. Can people see my messages? Am I shadow banned? Oh, no. Oh, here's where it goes off. We're all so close to insanity. We don't even, This is just illuminating it for me. Three messages didn't get read in a row, and then... This it is enough to push someone over the edge. This could be any one of us, man. Hey, everyone in Twitch chat. I'm not sure anyone saw my previous comments. I've been enjoying the stream, but with this lightning speed chat, it's quite a challenge to get noticed. I've noticed the streamer tends to respond to the more, let's say, energetic chatters. Any tips to stand out without going full on obnoxious mode? I'm all ears for your clever strategies to navigate this bustling chat. Mubot timed out. Username for 600 seconds with reason message too long. Oh, this is... Dude, this is witnessing the birth of the Joker. They typed that message and Mubad said, sorry, that's too long. Okay, then they got timed out again for the same message. Came back 10 minutes later. I find it hard to believe my messages are being ignored because they aren't funny. I've said some very funny things that were gone in a matter of seconds or minus two by idiots. Another Mubot timeout for the message being too long. And then banned by origin. Ah, I think you're right. I think that's a genuine ban. If they, had, if they had only posted the message a few times, I think it would have been fine. They went too far. I agree. They're just posting the same thing over and over. On the other hand, they seem to like a lot of my jokes. I don't want to keep them banned forever. Like, look at this. Does anyone know that streamer VOD NL has where he was making fun of Al Abbott and Costello and talking about how they would die if you showed them jackass? <laughs> oh, so true. Abbott and Costello are, are washed compared to Johnny Knoxville and Steve-O. Joel, Joel, Joel. Hey, NL, what's up with Joel? Samosas. <laughs> I'm not reading that. They wrote rear naked choke panda. I don't know, literally like 500 times. I can only assume that's the stream where he did the tier list of like what animals you could beat in a fight. No, this is a this is an understandable ban. The more I'm scrolling, the more I'm like, this makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Many of these messages are like. They're written a thousand times. As an egg, how do you feel about egg prices? Kappa, kappa. As an egg, how do you feel about egg prices? Kappa, kappa, kappa. As an egg, how do you feel about egg prices? Kappa, 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 kappa. As an egg, how do you feel about egg prices? Kappa, 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 kappa. As an egg, how do you feel? This, this is my Shelley Duvall moment where I'm pulling the paper out of the typewriter to see what my husband's been working on this whole summer. And I'm like, what the hell? He's only written one line? My husband's washed as an author, dude. I gotta get out of this place. <laughs> What's up, Boner King? 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 ENB Sip. That must be an epic name, bro. Emote. What's up, Boner King? What's up, Boner King? ENB Sip. Oh, man. This is. I don't know. I think I got to let him back. Just honestly, because he's a character. 
We need more characters, okay? I don't think there's anything mean-spirited with this person. I think maybe they were being kind of annoying. It's nice to have characters around. If I worked at the office, I wouldn't tell Michael Scott, hey, Michael, you can't say that, because then no one would watch our show anymore. Unban request. Unbanned. By the way, what was the message you didn't want to read in front of the sponsors? It was something like, hey, NL, how do you feel about, like, Penis explosion syndrome. It was something like that. <laughs> Sorry. No. Did you listen again? I I hate. Like you, I I don't think you just have to laugh, but don't be mad at me for choosing to laugh. Okay, I'm just searching me when I'm ten beers deep. Hang on. Oh, no results. Me when I'm Joe Biden, Earth. What was the, he was at that brewery. Did you, dude, this, this quote got me laughing so hard this morning. The beer brewed here, <laughs> it is used to make the brew beer. <laughs> oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the great lake. The beer. <laughs> Stans, thank you for the raid. You've raided me at an awkward time. I'm playing a, a clip of Joe Biden speaking at Earthrider Brewery in Wisconsin. Um, don't read too much into it. It's just that it's like one of the most perhaps insane statements I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> what is one more? By the way, used to make beer brewed here. <laughs> it is used to make the brew beer in this final. Oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. I wonder why it's coming. He does sound like a streamer. Now, I gotta say, in his defense, Earth Rider is the name of the brewery. That's not like a, a you know, he's not summoning a spirit or something like that. The beer brewed here, <laughs> it is used to make the brew beer in this final. Oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. It's one of the, it's an all timer, man. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I swear I'm not just replaying it. You know, it, it's for no other reason than it does sound like Boomhauer, I swear to God. Beer brewed here. <laughs> it is used to make the brew beer here. <laughs> it is used to make the brew beer here. <laughs> oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. He is spitting. And then the other one is Trump making <laughs> rifle noises. No, can't find it. You need a better search engine for that. Bing bang. It used to be bing bong. <laughs> Ping, ping, bang, and it was done, it was quick. Bing, bong, bing, bang. No, Hot Boy Toke, your messages are not being ignored, okay? Slash marker dulls. Hot Boy Toke, your messages are not being ignored. Not me getting served an algorithmic tweet this morning uh, of my own, like, clip of me going, ah! and then the body of the tweet is, um... The goblin in my basement, it, open parentheses, it will die if I catch him. And then I was like, oh my God, who made this tweet? And then I clicked on it and it's at Hot Boy Toke. Like you're, you're crossing state lines on, on socials, man. And what is this? Poke Doku Master Puzzle by Weedle Twin Eedle. Yeah, we're fucked, lads. Sorry, the video probably got demonetized because of that, but... I'm an artist, okay? I will not make compromises. It's the right word for this situation. If your ass is named, no, no offense, if, if you're choosing to name yourself Weedle Twin Eedle, I will not be getting more than three out of nine on the puzzle if I had to guess. That being said, I do know some Alolan forms. Legendary Psychic, maybe you've heard of uh, a little creature called Mewtwo. That's new, bro. Sure? Well, I don't know, now you got me thinking. How about I play Cresselia instead? My final answer. Okay. Would Mewtwo have been correct? 
They got me, they would have been correct as well. Okay, all right, nothing to worry about then. Final evolution? Um, this is easy. Gar Chomp. Yeah, I'm sure on that. Michael? Garchomp is not a, a dark Pokemon. He knows bite. It's ground dragon. He knows bite, bro. Moves don't mean types. Oh, so Venusaur could use freaking flamethrower. Final evolution, dark. Tyranitar. Yeah, I'm sure on that one. You know how I know? He has bite. Alola fighting. Alola, is it possible that Alolan Raichu is like 28% psychic? No, okay. Alo Alolan, Alolan Ex 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 Executor. You click normal Raichu? Yes! <laughs> Holy cow, we got five. Legendary fighter? Mewtwo is just psychic. Legendary fighting. Pokemon, a legendary fighter. Legendary dark Pokemon. Because Alola is going to be... Unlikely, I'm like, Nine Tails Alola is ice. Sand Shrew Alola is ice. Nothing says Hawaii more than making a, a warm Pokemon cold. Alola ping, a bing bong, Alola ping, it used to be ping, and it was done, it was quick. Thank you, Earth Rider, for the Great Lakes. Legendary Hemomancer. Legendary Dark Pokemon that knows Crunch. Yeah, I have no idea. Who's the scariest Pokemon? Who has the darkest energy in Pokemon? It's probably Mr. Mime, to be honest with you. I think he's, bizarrely, he's like a psychic type. Or normal or something. I don't know why the concept of like a legendary fighting Pokemon is so funny to me. Like legendary fire, you're like, okay, it's like a big dragon. But it's hard to imagine that a Pokemon is just like so good at hand-to-hand -hand combat that it's just like beating the shit out of other Pokemon, like Muay Thai style. Like it makes sense for all the other Pokemon to like be afraid of a big dragon or like a big... I don't know, like a ball of pure energy or something like that, but to just be afraid of like a guy who's got a shorts on or something like that, it's kind of funny energy. Legendary no longer includes all Ultra Beasts. Oh, well, that would take so... I was going to type Ultra Beast freaking Poltergeist. Moltres. Oh, dude, Moltres Galar, that could be a dark type Pokemon. It's on fire, but it could still be a dark type Pokemon. But is that a mythical? I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure. Yes! <laughs> Dude, we got like six. That's crazy. Bing. I even got some of the, the dev's own picks. Incinero most most common what? A, he's a Lolan? It doesn't even say like a Lola or anything. Crab Brawler, I, I understand him being a fighter, but this guy doesn't even have a Lola in his name. Your, your ass isn't named Canada Ryan? Yeah, but like, Raichu's ass is named Raichu Alola. As far as I'm with, no matter how many Ryans are out there, they shouldn't have their country as their last name. Because it's from Kanto? Is it from Kanto? Or like this motherfucker was born in Kanto and then he moved to Alola? Or is this just a Raichu that happened to be born in Alola so they treat him like a second class citizen? Normal Raichu is from... Kanto, normal, normal Raichu, so Alola Raichu is not normal. You phrased it that way, not me, by the way. What soccer team sings that? You know what I was thinking? I don't know if Americans and Europeans know this. So as a European-American, I'm in, from Canada, um, I have to bridge the gap. It's so funny. My whole life, 
having never been to mainland Europe, at least, unless you count Sweden, but it's more peninsular in my head. North American soccer fans, if I was going to draw up a stereotype, are all 48-year-old C-level executive tech workers from Seattle, San Francisco, and like Austin, Texas, and I don't know, maybe like Milwaukee. They're button up craft beer enjoyers. They're endurance athletes. They compete in like Ironman competitions and stuff like that. They wear Patagonia vests. It was only when I started to inhabit social media that I realized in the United Kingdom, it's actually multiplied by negative one. The most insane people you'll ever meet from the United Kingdom have a professional footballer as their avatar on Twitter. If a British person tweets something toxic or like actually criminal, there's like a 99% chance that their profile photo is going to be a dude celebrating a goal with his arms out like this. It's, it's actually insane. The, the stereotype of a sports fan is as soon as you cross the international date line, it flips to the exact other side of the political compass. It's hard. By the way, thank you, Daniel. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. I will get ready to learn it. Daniel, I'm talking, maybe you can relate to this. I'm talking about how funny it is that the stereotype of someone who watches soccer in North America is like an upper middle class executive at a Fortune 500 company that uh, underpays people to deliver McDonald's to your front door. And in Europe, it's the exact opposite. It's like you are an insane person who's going to like throw a brick through my front window because I like, you know, disagree with you on whether they're chips or French fries. Now, it's you have to understand if you live in the UK, I understand that it's like normalized for you. It's so funny as a North American to think of somebody like that sitting down with a beer and watching a 90 minute scoreless game. That's actually so funny. It's like not something that you would build from first principles if you were to have to build the stereotype for yourself. You would expect that they'd be in the, some sort of sport where people would be like, like football, like American football, like, ah, you know, let's go parlay. This dude's going to get CTE on this. Brock Purdy is going to get sacked 12 times in the third quarter. Like, it's just hard to imagine like a quote unquote football hooligan sitting down and like cheering and like getting drunk out of his mind for a zero zero football match. It's and that's what's funny. Like that's that's the juice that keeps life squeezing as far as I'm concerned. Pacifier. <laughs> I have no idea, man. Dog, originally on the Xbox 360. <laughs> I'm going to know it. Is this the Xbox 360 version of Catan? <laughs> Die Ertz Inzel? <laughs> Did you see the... the <laughs> you, you know what? You already know what I'm going to say. Oh, it's, uh, it's Fable 2. Because it's from Lionhead Studios. It can't be Fable 1. That was like 2004. And it can't be Fable 3, because that I got that with my Xbox 360 and never opened it. What? That makes sense, actually. That would explain why it was a pack-in in 2012. Did you see the Five Guys sign in Munich, Germany that said, Wir sucking dick. <laughs> and the tweet says, Five guys in Munich is sucking dick. Oh, man. Reading non-English languages as if they were English is, is so good. It's a bit that never ends. We, we, I, I do love we have an in big problem. Oh, man. Why is it always the Germans? Hey, we have an in big problem with the Dutch, man. It's only the Germans like 99% of the time. <laughs> it's <laughs> a few items together to get yourself out. Yeah, fell in a well. And there's a bunch <laughs> of weird stuff down there. Use a few items together to get yourself out. Which of these items? <laughs> what would you not want to find in a well? None of these are getting you out of this well. Some of them might. No. Bro, high heels, huh? 
Honestly, I didn't realize one of this. There's a lot of value from one of these that I didn't understand. Yes, until there, I there's there's about two. There's second. two that I think are pretty decent. I've never taken this much time in pole mine. Do honestly, I'm voting for two, and then the rest are just shit. Yeah, I have two, and I don't. I I've, I voted for not. four, and they're the four. I I I yeah, I feel good about all. Four. Thank you, Justin, because I would not want to be in a survival situation with these guys. It seems like unless right? they get like uh, rocket boots, they just give up. Well, listen, if I got four of them, <laughs> I would. I am going to throw your ass in a well and give you some high heels and see. How I didn't pick high heels. There. I didn't pick yeah, high heels, so that wouldn't bother me. Ain't on the list. I picked high heels oh, so because maybe funnel? my six appeal. I, you know, I didn't pick car funnel either. <laughs> <laughs> Chip's whistling. Okay. Down. So it's either symbols or radio, right? Number what? one will be radio. Okay, symbols will be Ra number two. No, what, but like radio, I thought a radio just plays music. No, transistor radio. Beep, 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 beep. Radio. I'm trapped in the uh, well. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, I, I didn't know if it was that kind of radio or just a radio. Okay, yeah. No, but that's number that's one. You can't pick it. Oh, oh, it's number one. Oh, well, sorry. Sorry, you're right. No! <laughs> Justin? Fuck. Yeah, symbols. No, they're not even on the list. Symbols Here's make a, uh, noise so you can get out. So no one's near the well. Exactly. No, that's not in the fucking question, man. You'll make shit this up. Is it said get out. Call help. You could get out in a number of different ways. That's what the radio's for. No one's going to hear the okay. symbols. Fine, um, don't pick symbols. We'll pick it no, I mean, if Chibley really wants to, I'm just saying. You heard, no, you don't want to. No, you don't want to. Don't do if it. You heard, you do, 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 do. Or if you heard, dang, 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 which one are you going to, bro? <laughs> I think if I heard the symbol, I mean, this well, it's a well. It's probably in the middle of nowhere. There's no wells anywhere populous. <laughs> wells are specifically in places with people. <laughs> in, the in like the tens. In wow, in the I tens. Stupid. I definitely, <laughs> I definitely would have taken this. So, uh, yeah, thanks for the insane that I. I'm glad that I uh, that I'm right. Okay, listen, guys. You can do every other pick. Out of those ones, cane? no, no, no yeah, shot. Okay, listen, okay. I'm in charge what? here. Wait, no, uh, yeah, I'm in charge here. Walking cane. The only two that made sense were transistor radio and symbols. The rest were getting into moon shots. I said rubber gloves because the increased friction of the rubber on the stone no. of the well would give you a slightly better chance to climb. I don't, I don't think so. Rubber gloves don't really give you friction. It's walking cane. It's like the only thing. What are you going to do with a walking cane? I don't know. Get some leverage. What are you going to do with a pool noodle? What my pool noodle. Hands, noodle I was like, you can turn it into a circle. That's the exact circumference of the well and use that as leverage to get up. <laughs> no, you, you're not using you any of the other. All the other stuff is horrible, bro. No, he clipped on rubber I think gloves. he's right. I think he's right. That's he's right. insane. Dude, you could use it to tie well, knots. What? What would rubber gloves do in this situation? Tie a knot? Pull noodle. What do you mean? Pull noodle is literally OP. Okay. <laughs> talking about? Tying a knot. Pull noodle. Do what? Pull. <laughs> do a pull noodle. Another... <laughs> no, pull noodle is never... OP because no, you no, float no, on no, it and when the water fills up the same. well, bro, you float to the top. He's right, he's right. It's broken umbrella or it's walking cane. It might be both. literally tear in like like you can put no force on it it'll rip in half like they're, they're you useless rip cool noodles well if you apply sheer force the, yeah oh, but you just uh, you don't apply sheer forces walking cane number i've two. never ripped a pool noodle oh. in my life oh, man are you fucking superman these are all completely useless you'd be stuck in that well forever it floats unless the well, well, fill, yeah, unless the well filled up and you then you're could using that pool turn it into a circle the exact circumference of the well and use it as a handhold to help you climb Please get it wrong, because Justin and I are in such a same brainwave right now, bro. I, I know what he's are. thinking. He knows what I'm thinking. I think so. I think so. If he's thinking high heels, and he's going to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is what I was thinking. Okay. What, no, what Justin, would this be? Out, uh, just a bunch of sharp ass metal. You, it was you use. It was close. Actually, no, he's cooking. You can use it as like a grappling a tool or yes, something. Yes. Yeah. No, you use a high heel like ice picks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and climb right out with the high heels. In Stick the them in between snow? the bricks. <laughs> Genuinely, I, between I, the I'm, bricks. I'm with you there. I'm, I think you're right. You might I think, be right. I think, I think the people probably said pool. Oh, man, that would be so good. <laughs> I really don't know, Chip. You, I, I, I think your logic is sound. I'm going to roll a d20, okay? Above 10 all. high heels, lower 10 pool noodle. Okay. That's an eight. Oh, I'm going to do best out of three. <laughs> I dropped it. Okay, whatever, bro. I'm gonna pull noodle. Are you sure, though, Justin? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Also, I think there's like there's like no way a Sorry. broken umbrella is holding any weight. None of these are use the holding handle. any weight. Yes! yes! This is funny because it makes no sense, but my argument for high heels is actually the most logical thing. It does make sense. It makes sense. Yeah, I think that was. I didn't think of it that way. Yeah. If a pool noodle <laughs> can get you up in this scenario, you can probably just get yourself up by just walking up the well with your back against the wall. Like if the pool noodle. I would simply. I would put the pool noodle on my penis and then pretend I've got a really big one. Ah, yeah. Then they'd be like, "We got to get this guy out of the well." Ooh. Yo, He's a hero. This is a good one. Yeah. Most oh. reluctant to do. Sometimes friendship. What oh, that's not screenplay. happening. Oh, like they wrote most a screenplay. Reluctant to do, oh. Even for your most beloved friends. Easy, Chip also easy. Would fuck that. Oh, absolutely not. There's no that's chance that's happening. happening. Oh yeah, that's. Oh, I know that. That's fine. Literally, I think I would do all but one. Share of these. passwords is just like Netflix and shit. That's fine. Dude, three yeah, of these. Three of these I can't even do, uh, man. I can't drive. I, even well, well, I have an obvious number one for me. It's literally, I would do all of these. Yeah, but what I, do you want to I, do these? I yeah. wouldn't do one of these. I I've done. The, I, I would not do several of these. I have done every really? single one of these. I would do all of these but one for a friend. Which one? <clears throat> We're not sharing passwords, bro. But it's like Netflix. Like, I don't know. Ne oh, yeah, oh. Like, yeah, like, like, right? Yeah, yeah. like Netflix. Two people like, in this call are on my Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not like. I was thinking like online banking or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, password. um. I feel like. The, the password least... was my number one, so. Oh, we're going two, three, and four. That was your number one? It's, it, he's mm -hmm. the only logical person what? here. Dude. It's not, I mean, it doesn't say share every single password. Yeah, it's just some passwords. You guys misread that. But it does say passwords. Sure. There's multiple. I only, I only got one yeah, Netflix. Yeah. I, Ooh, don't, Netflix. I don't even have Disney a Netflix. <laughs> I don't have those, bro. They're going to, like, roll HBO. RNG, get my RuneScape, my, my letterbox, <laughs> and my, like, Reddit account. Are you saying dude? I shouldn't have given you my HBO login? <laughs> no, you should have. Anyway, where do you want to go? I think read screenplay is probably going to top. Oh, no, we're not going bottom up. It's, uh, it's, oh, no, it's, it's one, two, three, four, two, four. Quick, four. quick, 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 quick airport, anything! Pick up from airports number two, or three. It's, yeah, it's probably up there. Oh, no, oh. it's gonna be number one, fuck! Seventh! Are we, are we doing it in the opposite order? No. Isn't it Honestly, supposed to be the ones that you would not do? Yes. Wait, so you yeah, thought pick up from four. airport was like the second worst? Wait, no, this is the one you want to do the least, right? You're, yeah. Yes. That was yeah, your second up. least? Is pick up from the uh, airport? Was like, it was my fourth. It was my fourth. I think help move is either one or two. Nah, Moving bro. Sucks I gotta so over. I gotta overrule you on that I'm one. Shocked. Me person, I would. I would be happy to help you move because you get beer and pizza out of it. I do no. not want to read your screenplay because it. I a. I, I don't want to do you. it. It's probably bad. It would it's take. Plays up there. It would take a long ass time, and then I can't tell you my honest opinion on it. It might but be number one, though. It might be number one. No, no, number, number one is share passwords, bro. No, it's not. You guys are not living in the modern era, okay? He, he might be right. There's cyber right. criminals I, everywhere. I, 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 I had it as number the cyber one. cyber criminal gets my Netflix, man. But what if it's not your, like, it, it's too ambiguous of a question or of, of a well, statement? It's not our fault you guys read into it way too hard. What do you mean? The, there's two possible contentious, ambiguous oh, interpretations. What if, what if help them move is they got, they're Why moving to the they fucking ask you a uh, Australian Outback? What if they're moving to the Australian question? Outback? If they wanted it to be yeah, Netflix, it should say share a Netflix password. This is insane, too. I will be your, we does it, any, any chore involving I'm driving, I'm, 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 I'm in. Driver. I will be there for I you. I can't drive. I, I can't drive. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm pretty reluctant so, to do so that because if they're getting I me think... in the driver's seat, bro, we're crashing. I got no license, man. Oh, dude, this sucks. I think like Wingman. Yes, I, I wingman agree. Wingman was my number one. Wingman was 100% my number one. I would not do that for you or any of you. I would rather Wingman for any of you than give me my online banking password, though. Ooh. <laughs> banking password? But then, but based on your information, help oh, move should no. be up there. It shouldn't be number one then. I, I'm worried help move is number one, but you're saying it's not, so I'm going to pick it. Based on your information, I think it correct? could be two, uh, three, or four. I think it could be three okay, or four. Okay, yeah, okay, it could be up see, there. I'm worried it might be number one though. I think it's number one. Insane. Oh. It's gonna have the passwords is number one because you fuckers said it out loud. No, no, no. It's because it's <laughs> insane to share them. <laughs> You're you not sharing all passwords. You are passwords. assuming you that your interpretation is correct, but you have not earned that okay. in the court of rhetoric yet.
Oh my God. You're saying that this game wrote a prompt that says, would you share your bank account password with your friends? Yeah. Well, no, it's a share password. You read too much into it. You read too much into it. No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> It's a this common thing to all share of passwords these, with your literally friends all for of these things. are things you would do your, with your friends or for your friends that's not that bad. Why would they put one in that's completely that's nonsensical and insane? It's not nonsensical. <laughs> it's cuz clearly you guys don't value it. Magic. Insane. I don't mind oh, helping yeah, you. No, I would no, much rather... chat's, chat's totally right. Ryan uses one password for everything. You guys are all of you use one oh, password yeah. for everything. It's not true. I don't like, want to give him my password for I anything. I literally guarantee my password is stronger than yours, bro. Pull you, it up right now. You play Among Us with the weakest-minded <laughs> and weakest-willed individuals of all time. That kind wow. of ad hominem attack is not going to fly here. It's literally like the number one logical fallacy. He's so defensive, man. Isn't that wild? That's like the number two logical I'm fallacy. Saying, is like That's what I a guilty much, person would say. Wow, I would man. much rather let someone log into fallacies? my Disney fucking Plus than move Why them is, somewhere. I would rather much move easier. them than, than give them my online my banking password two can make up a situation oh, where our point no, looks no, no, correct no, can't. there's one you often share with friends and there's one you never share with friends god created gamers by giving racists xbox live voice chat oh my god oh. Mm -hmm. or or playstation <laughs> online this, voice chat i just on, didn't want the joke ridiculous. i didn't want the joke to be offensive okay to who? Microsoft? To Xbox. Sony. I like my sex like I like my za. With anchovies. All right, all right. This joke was really <laughs> supposed to come second in the, in the order. <laughs> he, got, he got the H.C. Oh, Justin, all right, all right. I did. I got the kiss of death. <laughs> No, I think it's gonna. I think it's. I think it's got it. This is the last thing you hear before you get shot in the back of the head. <laughs> Damn. Wait, that was a win by default. I don't. I don't you, really feel good about it. You guys are gonna be ashamed so of your votes. You. Oh, yay! <laughs> You're gonna be ashamed of your That's votes. More. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> exactly the wrong order. Marriage is a lot like anchovies. <laughs> They're both better with pizza. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> no you'll probably uh, lose. A group of trolls walk into a bar and put Rick Astley on the jukebox. It's so freaking epic win, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker. Just a little trolly. Troll into the bar. <sighs> you guys are right, man. This game is yeah, hard. fuck joke mode, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Stop <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I actually, I'm so back. I wrote the best joke of all time. Okay. You are, it's going to win 85 to 15. For the best it's, joke of all time. It's going to single-handedly <laughs> redeem Joke Boat for six months. There's going to be a 18-minute behind-the-scenes documentary on the creation of my joke. If it's just poop, I'm just going to It has nothing to do so with mad. poop. It has nothing to do with poop, okay? Oh, is it cum? How about these it's got nothing to do with cum, I guess. Nothing to do with piss. Around our ship. Again, Death. Folks, we're sorry for mm. the inconvenience. Alrighty. Not so much. Let's keep things going. Let's Have you paid him? This dude doesn't know anything comment. about my Everest. Point everyone, everyone shut up, okay? It's my joke. <laughs> <clears throat> my love life is like George. W. Bo oh. <laughs> He's right, it's the best joke ever. <laughs> it's the best because he got to say it, dude. It was supposed to be W Bush. It was supposed to be W Bush. My nickname is Smoothie because I'm just a little mixed up fruit. I oh, you're, 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 cooked. <laughs> you're cooked. You're <laughs> cooked. No, Apollos is kind of good too, bro. 
Ryan made a typo in his. But can you imagine <laughs> how big your nuts have to be to pick my love life is like George and then come up with a great punchline like W Bush? Yeah, but you typed the word wrong. Yeah, but it's <laughs> genius, bro. <laughs> Even, oh, come on! Come on! That is the most criminal shit that's ever that happened on criminal. Joke Boat. It's not criminal at all. That Mine is, is one of the criminal. most excellent jokes that's ever been made in Joke Boat. Yes, there was a typo, okay? Oh no yeah, but wait until you see this joke, bro. Ryan, you have to commit for me. You have to commit for me, okay? My grandma said the best thing about smartphones is... <laughs> they've gavel airport completely. <laughs> They have autocorrect, guys. They have autocorrect. It's an auto But it's autocorrected because it's, it's auto all mistypoed. I want to open a store that only sells public buses and call it Best Bus Scene. <laughs> no, autocomplete. I fucking, that's actually real, man. Come on. They get a fucking airport. Bro. My love life is like George W. Bush. No phone is auto-completing the gavel. No, it does, dude. I mistyped have and it typed. It gave me gavel. I literally did it on my phone. I, I didn't vote because I... <laughs> oh, Fuck off, oh, man. <laughs> you guys are literally about to see the most disgusting fucking version of me that's ever existed, man. I don't give a fuck about my image for the streamer awards, bro. Fuck this, dude. <laughs> Corey, can you explain your joke? Slay Queen. I don't know, that's it, basically. <laughs> I fucking had three <laughs> trash options. And You've I said enough. I was, run, was running out of time, bro. What the hell? It worked. I love the Slay Queen. <sighs> I do believe you're owed some points. Oh, it's a Diana reference. No. <laughs> Diana was not the queen. Well, yeah, but the queen's lady. Oh, that's, that's a rumor. My life is in shambles. <laughs> it's conjecture. If you're losing, might I suggest writing funnier jokes? Just something to think about. Oh. Funnier jokes. <laughs> that's what you're meant to be doing, bro? I'm actually the losing my mind that people think Best Bussy is a better joke than George colon W. Bush. It was pretty good, I can't lie. I'm, I, it's well, creating well, like a crisis within me. Oh, I thought you did it on purpose. So, here's the plan. I, my love life is like George W. Bush! It's just a name. W. Bush! Yeah, I thought the joke yeah, I, was the, the weird way you said it. So I was like, I don't get it. Of course, you all don't need to wear helmets, just your thinking caps. Hmm. As for you in the audience, vote for the two of these? We'll do the best. If the majority of you pick the best player, you'll earn a special slice. This is a gimme. Ah, uh, yeah. Why would you want a helmet for that? I know, right? How am I supposed to see the bull? <laughs> <laughs> is your helmet in front of your eyes? What kind of helmets are you wearing? It isn't jousting. Uh, like, yeah, like a like a knight's helm. Wow, oh, I was one off. Not cliff diving. So many. Oh, I was also one off. I was actually sure. not jousting, bro. Not cliff diving. <laughs> what the fuck? I guess with, cli with cliff, cliff diving, diving, with cliff diving, they're like, why, <laughs> why waste the helmet? <laughs> I, that okay, was the but I was jousting. About when I said, why would you need a helmet for that? <laughs> not random. I think it's the so definition of skill. I'm going all in on one space. I. Okay, madman. Which one? Which one? I won't go there. Which one? I won't go there. You all went there. Ooh, I got two solos. Wow, you we did too. literally all of that. <laughs> it has to be solos. I have most, literally no. Most. What do you mean? We never, most, never do most, most bro. Most, most, most for sure. We most never do most. Oh, Sorry, that's true. Ryan's fewest. So most. Yeah, most. Oh, fuck, Ryan's fewest? My bad, y'all. Ryan, if you picked for you... Oh, dude, I fucked everything. My life. I think the audience gets the vote, right? Mm. Yes! Fuck you, audience! I literally didn't even pick that. I was joking. It doesn't even matter. The audience fucked us. Dude. I had to trick you. They always vote against my best interest. 
Oh, okay. Ghibli question. Okay. I know this. Ghibli question. I, know this. I do love beans. Okay, this was like extremely easy. I think there's gonna be one that I don't think is one, but it is one, and I'm gonna fuck it up. Yeah, me too. That's all, but what I think it just might be easy. Was it all the obvious ones? Yeah. Ah. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what a navy bean is. Oh yeah, I haven't, what the fuck's a navy bean? Navy beans, navy beans, navy beans. beans. Meatball sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> oh, this is a Canadian thing. Canadian thing. No, it's That's Adam Sandler, bro. <laughs> oh, so it's a Canadian, yeah, he's Canadian bro. <laughs> it's, a, it's an old thing, I think. <laughs> Uh, it's not Why are hey. you both up here? Fuck you. I'm done, dude. With great consideration. They wanted to be next to you. With great Friendship. consideration, the architect and the builder arrive calmly with their purpose. Four thousand. Four thousand. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you did it. Hey. My only chance to even have a chance. That was a big spin. I don't think it's I can win even with that, honestly. It's your turn. Because my slices are on your slices. Yay! Yay! Me and I'm the happy guy. For Chibli. I'm happy for Chibli. Me oh, too. come on. Oh, fuck. That's so close. I hate it. It's so Literally close. Literally, just anyone else. Even it's it's me, 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 my solo, my solo, my solo. What do you say fuck me for? Mine's a double so slice if you hit Whoa! it. Wow! Yeah. Oh. Okay, we gotta give the points to Chibli. Yes. Thanks, guys. What's up? Oh, oh, so we lose then. Oh, yeah, that's that true. Man. Oh, oh, anyone oh, but me. I what slice is gonna... God damn, I would have been better off not picking a slice. That's great. Holy cow. Oh, wow, a lot, too. That okay, fucking sucks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. This sucks. You know what, Justin? Okay, Justin. I want you to win on the first the first spin. First spin. I got a really good question, though. I got a really good question. Oh, oh that's really lucky. that's really a shame. Oh. oh. Okay, we need to. Chip needs to be your turn now. Yeah, I'm gonna hit my. Or oh, Corey's. He's Corey's gonna hit my solo. Too. He's gonna hit my solo. I'm, I'm manifesting. For Thanks, Corey. I love you. Let's go. Well, you know, oh. it's my solo. So Scammed. I'm okay with that. That's good. That's good. <laughs> and then Chibli's turn, and then Let's spins full. He spins himself. Spin. We go. Chibli spins the skull. No, spinning everybody my, spins. Spinning spinning spins everybody spins for the win. Me, 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 me. Chibli, Chibli, Chibli. Chibli. <laughs> that's, no. that's so funny, dude. No. <laughs> I have a thousand points. Right. You don't understand. Right. This is no. <laughs> I know, but I wanted to get to 20,000! Well, I have a thousand. This is maybe the worst run in this game's history. Yeah! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, yes! oh, oh no. I can, I can come back from this, bro. I can come back from my <laughs> thousand points. Yes. How, how do you only he have has a less points, points <laughs> after the second round? <laughs> Holy. Oh, dude. I think that's a new wow. metric for the wheel guy. We should have done okay on all on that. We should have all done okay. Holy! I hate, I hate all this okay, film okay, trivia okay. is gonna drive me insane. Came out man. first. What? I don't even know what these movies are, man. I'm guessing. Oh, that was dumb. Correctly, I'm using my knowledge. Oh my god! <laughs> God, I, what, oh, are these movies? <laughs> what are these movies? <laughs> what are these movies? Holy cow, I got my oh, ass beat. All the power slices are mine, baby. <laughs> you I, did. I, like, I knew like all of these movies except two of them and it kept giving me the same fucking two, man. I didn't know. Uh, what the fuck is Constantine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Constantine, yeah. No, it was like River's Edge or yeah, something. Yeah, River's, River's Edge. Edge. River's Edge was early as hell. Those are the two I didn't know, and it kept giving me both of them at the same time. <coughs> well, it's I don't know when the fuck much ado about blood. nothing came out either. And not to get personal, but, uh, I've not I got an extra slice or power slice <laughs> on any round. Uh, <laughs> River's Edge rules, fucking uh, Point Break rules. Point Break does rule. Oh my god, I only have two slices. There's no too, fucking way that you bozos go into the same two squares again. 
It's, I'm gonna be on a slice and he's gonna be mad at me. No, never mind. Me and Ryan just uh, did exactly what we did last time. Every time I'm like, I'm gonna mix it up and then I pick like the same four spots. <laughs> yeah, no, me too. I need a 4K again, man. I need a 4K again. Well, oh, that's, well, that, that's well. terrible. That's, that's the worst. Oh, Ryan gets a spin. Dread it. Run from it. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, no. Destiny yeah, arrives Wither, just the same. Shit all over? What? The oh, fuck. fuck. Yeah, this is bullshit. I got a Christ. fucking shamrock on this bitch. He's gonna lose though. It's gonna be funny. This is fucked. Oh, I was just kidding. It's just, it's so Guys, don't be such... mad. I've got a question I really want to know the answer to. I now provide we were just so gonna get The game was Bush. like, here's seven fucking uh, trivia questions about TV and movies in a row. <laughs> Who's okay. blow drying their balls? Oh, okay. <clears throat> He's right. Oh. Hughes live and loving it. 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 Boom, 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 chick, boom, 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 chick. Hey, we kind of had something going off on that, huh? Call me Ash Ketchum the way I'm summoning Owen Pallet Town. <laughs> it was <laughs> it was Panda Bear. <laughs> Press the audio button to hear the word. Playback will loop. You can make an attempt at any point, even if it interrupts. You can make an attempt in any order. You can only submit one attempt. Genuine, a adjective meaning actually having the reputed or apparent qualities or character. -E Genuineness is a Latin term. That's it? Oh, so we, this is the, it just keeps going? I thought that was too easy. I thought we solved it. I thought I was a, a genius. Grace, a verb meaning to feed on growing herbage. Attached algae or phytoplankton. Scooter. <laughs> a noun meaning a vehicle ridden while standing that can. A ghoul. Trait. A noun meaning a distinguishing quality, as of personal care. Arrogant. A adjective meaning exaggerating or disposed to exaggerate one's own worth or imp. Okay, I go to the next round. I, you think you can type? Maybe. Sitcom. A noun meaning. A Fuck you. Phraseology, a noun meaning a manner of organizing words and phrases into longer elements. Style, phraseology originates... Yes! <laughs> that was the first one where I was like, so live, I've never used phraseology before. Slumgullion, a noun meaning a meat stew. Cesspool originates from slum slime. An English dialect gullion meaning mud. Slumgullion, a noun meaning a meat stew. Sorry, what? Slumgullion? <laughs> slumgullion. A noun meaning a meat stew. Cesspool originates from slum slime. An English dialect gullion meaning mud. Slumgullion. Gullion. A noun meaning a meat stew. Cesspool originates from slum slime. An no! It's not slumgullion? My streak. Tussock. A noun meaning a compact tuft, especially of grass or sedge. Also, an area of raised solid ground in a marsh or bog that is bound together by roots of low vegetation. The word's origin is not known or established. Tussock. A noun meaning a compact tuft, especially of grass or sedge. Fuck. <laughs> Should have known if it's British, it's never IC, right? It's always OCK. Stevedore. A noun meaning one who works. Fuck you. Catacresis. A noun meaning use of the wrong word for the context. Catacresis originates from Greek, meaning to use up or misuse. From Greek. Catacre oh, I thought for sure it would be. I spelled it in the Grecian form. Aspersions. A noun meaning a false or misleading. See results? How do we do today? Copy results to clipboard? I get it. 
Can I see my, my percentile, bro? I thought we did a pretty good job, honestly. Three wrong out of 15. Go ahead, put me, put me on hard. Temblor, a noun meaning earthquake. Temblar, meaning to tremble, is derived from medieval Latin word tremulare. Temblor, a noun meaning earthquake. Temblar, meaning to tremble, is derived from medieval Latin word tremulare. Temblor. The man got it right. Temblor. What do you call this? Picture of an earthquake? A temblor. Mm. Pneumaticist. A noun meaning the air bladder of certain algae and aquatic plants. Pneumaticist. Pneumaticist. A noun meaning the air bladder of certain algae and aquatic plants. Pneumaticist. Pneumaticist. A noun meaning the No! <laughs> with an O, with an O, of course. Meringue. A noun meaning a ballroom dance of Haitian and Dominican origin in two quarters time. In Meringue. No problem. Disembogue. A verb meaning to flow or come forth from or as if from a channel. Disembocar is a Spanish word originating from Latin, meaning to put into the mouth. Disembogue. The man's a genius. Can you be my high score in spell check? I'd love to see you try. Quantum. Oh, a noun come meaning quantity on. amount. Marvel viewers. Fossiliferous, adjective meaning <laughs> containing fossils. Fossiliferous, adjective meaning containing fossils. Fossil Fossiliferous, adjective meaning containing fossils. Fossiliferous, adjective meaning containing... Yes! Impune. A verb meaning to assail... That's, that's wrong? Impune? I-M-P-U-N-E. Oh, it's I-M-P-U-G-N. It's like a Florence Pew type thing. Wiki up. A noun meaning a hut used by the nomadic Indians of the arid regions of the western and southwestern U.S. with a usually oval base and a rough frame covered with reed mats, what? grass, or brushwood. Also, a rude temporary shelter or hut. Wikiapi is a fox word from the Algonquian language meaning house. Wikiup, a noun meaning... That's wrong. We got that one wrong. Proscenium, a noun meaning the stage of an ancient Greek or Roman theater. Proscenian is from Latin and Greek meaning front of stage or dramatic background. Proscenium, a noun meaning the stage of an ancient Greek or Roman theater. <laughs> Proscenian is from Latin and Greek, meaning front of stage or dramatic background. Proscenium. Proscenium, a noun meaning the stage of an ancient... That's wrong. That's wrong. Sinuously. A adjective meaning of a serpentine or wavy form. Winding. That does not look Sinuosis right. Sinuosus originates from Latin, derived from sinus, meaning curve or fold. Sinuously. A adjective meaning of a serpentine or wavy form. Winding. Sinuosus originates Sinu from Latin, derived from sinus, meaning curve or fold. S -I -N -U -O -U -S -L -Y. Sinuously. A adjective S -L -Y. meaning of a serpentine Sinuously. or wavy form. Winding. Sinuosus originates... Yes! <laughs> Dude, they gotta turn this into a BR, bro. This is high-octane content. Clavichord. A noun meaning an early keyboard instrument having strings. No clavichord. With a with an H, with an H, clavichord. Some Wes Anderson shit. Okay, that's a great game. I'm gonna add it to my to my dulls. Spell check X Y Z. I love spelling. There's you you an idiot. There's no point to learning spelling anymore. Me, a genius. There's no point to knowing anything anymore, dummy. Your phone will beat your ass in any test of knowledge. It's just an exercise, okay? It's just something you do. At the very least, I'm expanding my vocabulary. Like if we play Lethal Company today and there's like a thumper, I can say, be careful, he's moving sinuously. The apps are frying our damn brain. Dude, don't, I'm, I'm just saying, it, I know it's not you. I just want Gen Z to, if possible, avoid the same mistakes that millennials have made and every generation before us. Don't punch down at Gen Alpha for watching Skibbity Toilet, okay? Like, I keep seeing these tweets from, like, 22-year-olds that are like, the next generation is fucked. I'm like, brother, look in the mirror. You're fucked. You're 22 years old farming engagement on social media, dunking on, like, five-year-olds while sucking on, like, a nicotine pouch and I don't even want to know, man arguing in bad faith that like 
somehow DoorDash is cheaper than buying groceries. Like, you're, we're all cooked, okay? What you need to have is some cross-generational solidarity instead of just being like, wow, Gen Alpha screwed up. You're punching down on Gen Z? No, I'm not punching down on Gen Z. I'm trying to help them avoid a mistake. R slash teacher cooks the shit out of kids every day. I mean, I believe that. But I always wonder, like, whenever I see a teacher post that's like, you're right, the kids these days are cooked. I'm a teacher and I can't get my kids to focus in class at all. I am, in my head, I'm kind of like, no disrespect, I bet you actually, like, suck ass at your job. Because you're posting, it's not because I think, like, because the kids don't listen, you're a bad teacher. It's because you're posting on Reddit. Like, that's an indictment of your intelligence as an adult. No disrespect. I'm sure, like, most of the teachers at your school are complaining about it, like, in the staff lounge. And they may not be wrong, but, like, as soon as you start attention farming on Reddit for, you know, like, a seven-year-old is disrespectful to me in my class, I'm like, okay, fucking, did you, is, you knew what teaching was when you signed up, right? Like, you're the seven-year-old, and then you decided, I'm going to do this for the rest of my life. Like, that's part and parcel of the experience. You know what's crazy to me? This is a weird place to put a slash marker again. It's crazy to me that every once in a while, you will come across like a dentist on Twitter who is trying to become like a dental content influencer. I feel like something has gone wrong with society, that we have people who are genuinely like highly educated, top earning medical professionals, and they're like on top of doing my job, which is stressful, I'm sure, they're like, I want to spend an hour a night on Twitter, like farming engagement for being like a dental influencer. The three things you should never eat if you want your teeth to be white. Like, bro, can't you just, I, I'm saying this not to say like, screw you dental influencer. Instead, I'm more like, don't you want to just like live your life? You did the, the school, it's a lot of school. You got the degree, you got the practice, you're, you're doing the work, don't you wanna work like, you know, seven, eight hours a day, five days a week, go home, spend time with your family, pursue hobbies and stuff like that, engage with culture, engage with art, go out to eat at like a new restaurant, we really wanna be like, it's just, it's kinda sad to me that there's something in the human brain that's like, enough isn't enough, you know what I mean? They're like, after I finish my work, I got to get on there and grind. I need like eight more TikToks to pop about how you should never be eating Dunkaroos. And I'm like, they, they, they know that. They know they shouldn't be eating the Dunkaroos to begin with. Maybe he's so passionate about his craft, he wants to tell others. Come on, brother. They're all Gary Vaynerchuk listeners. You know it. I'm trying to meet them on a human level rather than, you know, validate their you should always be hustling sort of attitude, which I think is poison. I think it's poisoning them. I'm not worried that it's poisoning other people. I'm worried that it's poisoning them. They could be doing something more valuable. In my opinion, they could be doing something more valuable with their time. On the other hand, I think if you're insane, you should keep being uh, an influencer, no matter your profession. Did you see the, the TikTok lawyer who said there's a lot of things you actually don't have to do in society? You don't have to pay your taxes. Uh, if you are summoned to court or even the prison you don't have to show up that's because you are living a lie as an avatar uh of someone who they have given you an illegal name that is supposed to be symbolic and represent you but it doesn't actually represent you and i was like she's cooking man she is going off i think that most of us have been aware of something being off in the u.s and if you felt that way you're not wrong. I'm gonna give you the real talk, okay? So the real talk is that taxes are fraudulent. Ooh, I know, people freak out when I say that, when people say, oh no, taxes are fraudulent. They are, you don't need to be paying them. Um, you also actually don't need a half car insurance. It's good to have it just for like ethical, moral purposes, but you, you're not required to, okay? The state requires you to, but you're not required to. Okay, I'm saying some controversial things through this morning. Um, same thing goes for a marriage certificate, marriage license. Y'all don't need that. Going to prison, getting summoned to court. You don't need to do any of that either, okay? You're not required to. The only reason you are is because your legal fiction, which is your all caps name, which is who you are thought, taught to believe you are, 
you're not actually that. Um, you're a living man or woman, but you have been led to believe that you are all that, that all caps name that is on your driver's license, that is on your social security card, that is on your certificate of birth. If you're not familiar with what that is, go watch my sovereignty lessons. They, they just charge you up the ass for stuff and that's why life feels so expensive. This is why, because you've given jurisdiction over to this Admiralty Maritime Law System, which isn't actually the law of the land, okay? What the Founding Fathers intended for our country. They wanted a republic. They created a republic. And then over time, these international banking cartels just sneakily took over the system and uh, it implemented the Admiralty Maritime Law in our government, and that's what our uh, country runs on, and then they implemented democracy as the standard rather than a republic. It is crazy that before you say um, you should buy index funds that track like the S&P 500, you have to say this isn't financial advice, even though it obviously is. But if you're a lawyer on TikTok, you could literally just be like, this is legal advice, get it twisted. You do not have to pay your bills. It's based on British naval law. Can I tell you something as well, by the way? So um, my wife was very sick this weekend. I had a lot of uh, daddy-daughter time. We were driving around on Saturday. She said, daddy, tell me a joke, okay? I said... Uh, I, sometimes this is just something that happens. Your kid will ask you to tell a joke. And if you can't remember one, then you just got to make one up. So she said, daddy, tell me a joke. I said, knock, knock. She said, who's there? I said, monkey. She said, monkey who? I said, monkey who, who, ha, ha, ha. She said, she didn't laugh. She said, ha, 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 ha. That's very funny. Then she said, tell me another one. I said, knock, knock. She said, who's there? I said, doggy. She said, doggy who? I said, doggy roo, 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 roo. And then she stone faced me and said, that one's not funny at all. It's the same joke. But, and you know what? Is she wrong? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she's right. Maybe I lost commitment on the last one. I lost confidence in myself. I feel like you could go crazy counting cards in Vegas. Um, so my friend and I, one of my housemates in, in university and I, we learned how to count cards, which is one of those things that sounded uh, really cool, but it turns out is actually like the easiest thing of all time. Basically, you just, when you're playing blackjack, it's like if you, you maintain like a count, and if a big card comes out, you go like plus one to your count. And if a low card comes out, you go minus one. I might have the numbers reversed. So we were like, brother, we're geniuses for learning this. We're the only uh, people that could possibly figure this out. Let's go to the casino, go to the $5 minimum table, and then clean them out. Got to the casino, uh, sat down, started playing blackjack, going pretty well. You remember, we're university students. Uh, three minutes... After we sit down, the server comes over and says, can I get you guys anything? We'll say, yeah, I guess we'll take a couple of beers. An hour later, didn't have a very good uh, appraisal of the counts. <laughs> but I had a good time at the casino. I came out like basically like it was a wash. And I was like, okay, I think yeah, honestly, that was probably more fun. It was probably more fun to just go, you know, gamble for a little bit with free drinks. Bro said, he's still alive. I went to check. I was clicking like, oh, I'm still alive? Oh no. <laughs> he got the loot, man! in his face do it do it hooks it backwards he's got it <laughs> oh, oh no no he's okay he's still alive 
Dude, he's actually gonna make it. Oh! Yep. Oh! Ah, yep. yep! Actually, stood the spider web, bro. Oh! <laughs> 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 Trying to go get all that. Ghibli, that was really good. Look. That was really good. My health is low, yeah. Me too. After all of that shit, oh, I just well, fucking I fell, man. Oh, God damn. Yo, yo, guys, guys, there's tons of loot on the catwalk here. There's too much for me to hold. Why is there like a trillion landmines here, bro? No, no, dude, I got, there's so much loot over here. I don't believe you for a second. What do you do? Why would I steer you wrong? Because I can see the landmines from here. I'm going to change What's the up? trajectory of your life forever. <laughs> oh, fuck. What? He's on the landmine. Still... How are you? It's it's like like a moose. Moose. <laughs> uh oh, are you, uh... Do you want to, do you want to get off of that? No! Is he stuck in the door? What's going on? I think he's stuck in the door. <laughs> Guys, uh, what the fuck is that, bro? What? what? There's a fire! There's a fucking little girl, bro. Haunted uh, too. <laughs> How did Wait, that so not that kill actually, the bug? It actually only goes off you, if you man. walk off? Apparently so. Dang, that's new meta. Uh. <laughs> well, I got loot. like, I'm gonna uh, look at this and then I looked at it, man. I was haunted too. This is the first time it's ever happened. Instantly? I didn't oh, see. yeah. Maybe uh, it's so good funny. that you died because the haunting is so scary. I've never seen him before. Oh, man. She looked like she was from Landlord Super. <laughs> yeah, I know. He didn't even take the fire exit, man. My two cents. You should... Yeah, but you gotta be quiet because it's eclipsed. So you get to give your two cents when you're in the building. But I want to fucking see it right now. Dude, there's n I'm so sorry to Chibli, but there was no way he was making it back onto the ship, man. That was just too messed up. I don't like that I haven't seen any more loot brought back. Brought? Yeah, that's a bad sign. He's let's play. Well. Neil Broden, shout out. We're going back out there. Apollo's, uh, he's an old head Devils fan for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Bro said I'm going back out there. What is he talking about? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Bro, 
Oh, that dude was trick or treating, man. He was at the front <laughs> door, dude. We needed more, man. We needed more. <laughs> Doubles for money and checks for free. I have a brain worm right now associated with uh, Dire Straits money for nothing. Every time it comes to the chorus, the did you see the Mr. Beast food truck in the Middle East where Mr. Beast has like the like I don't even know the name of the headwear but he's advertising the kebab food truck every time I like the chorus comes on I see Mr. Beast going like this and just all that pops into my head is we've got to inshallah Michael way the oven and I don't know what it is but it just it worked its way in there like a, a lightning bolt hit me in my cerebellum and it can't get out man Custom kitchen delivery. <laughs> Can you do the Mr. Beast smile? How was that? Is that from something? It's from my own twisted, the twisted mind of Tim Burton, aka me. 0 0.5 molt per jack discarded this round. No thank you. Um, I think we can dump misprints and take Straight Joker. Which is an idea, they should make a movie about that, Straight Joker. Can you imagine like the Joker having a wife? Hard day at work, honey, what's for dinner? Roast beef, Joker. <laughs> My favorite. It's coming out this year? Really? I, th I kind of saw it as more like a... Um, trying to think of the archetype that I'm going for here. You know Lizzie Kaplan and her best friend in Mean Girls? I kind of thought Joker 2 would be like about that dynamic. You tell me, you're, you're kind of... You're blowing my mind here. The Joker has a wife? It is, kind of? Bisexual Joker be like, you do not want to know how I got these scars. <laughs> Does it make sense? Does it even make sense? It's at least a callback to the bisexual Morpheus joke. I, be, I'm realizing you actually can't make jokes about anything. People are like, what kind of scars does he have? You've missed the point of the joke. I'm not saying he got the scars in some kind of sexual catastrophe. Yeah, that's you using your imagination for that. You got you, you to gotta take that up with your therapist, bro. That's not my fault. At least give me one dollar out of the, the queen and the jack, please. I'll live with that. I'll live with that any day of the dang week. So at the risk of being canceled, we are straight maxing on this run, okay? WTF? Well, I... Unfortunately, poker was invented in, like, year 37. So, yeah, there's a hand called a straight. There's no hand called a buy because people were not based back then. It's called two pair. Hey, now that's a good joke. That's a plus two-able joke right there. Okay, this is where we got to put our nuts on the table. Formaldehyde. F-O-R-M-A-L-D-E-H-Y-D-E. -E. Formaldehyde. That thing that smells so good when you do high school dissections. In semblance. Now <laughs> Excuse me. In semblance. A noun meaning outward and often specious appearance or show. Form. Semblance stems from Middle English and Anglo-French, referring to outward appearance yes. or likeness. In semblance. In a semblance. noun meaning outward and often specious appearance or show. Form. Semblance stems from Middle English and Anglo-French, referring to outward appearance or likeness. E Listen, I think we got semblance under control. Like this is like... Resemblance. Resemblance. In semblance. In semblance. It can only, and then in, in French, what would in be? In, that would be, I would look at this more like ensemblance. <laughs> that doesn't, that, that's derived from ensemble. What about in? 
maybe because uh, it says it's specious. In semblance. A noun meaning outward and often specious appearance or show. I'm going to try it. That one hurt. I really thought that it could just be a funny pronounced in semblance. Katsura. A noun meaning a deciduous tree, Cercidophyllum japonicum of the family Cercidophyllaceae of Japan and China. Chinas? Sometimes grown. Hello? Okay, the website is broken. Katsura. Coppice. A noun meaning cops. Middle English copies derived from Old French and Latin means brush overgrown area. Coppice. A noun meaning cops. Middle English. K. Coppice. A noun meaning cops. Middle English copies derived from Old French and Latin means brush overgrown area. Thank you, Dark Souls 2. A noun meaning cops. Coppice. A noun meaning cops. This is cops. Coppus. I know this is copes, but I think that this is right. Oh. <laughs> Ingle nook. A noun meaning a nook by a large open fireplace. Also, a bench or settle occupying this nook. Ingle nook. A noun meaning a nook by a large open fireplace. That, that one seemed like a gimme. Ingle nook. See results? Oh my god. Dude, is the website getting freaking taken down or something? What's going on here? I've got a, this is like the 20th time I've verified that I'm not a robot to the spell check website. Okay, let me see what I got wrong here. Wental trap. Ah, L E T R A P. Semblance? Uh, what the heck is E semblance then? They literally, I mean, I spelled it wrong for a variety of reasons, but like this, this was literally, they just lied to us. And coppice. I mean, that's, that's tough. That's just a tough one, honestly. I'll give you some respect. It was reading the E-N meaning English. Oh, brother. I think you're right. You spelled semblance wrong anyway? Yeah, because English is not like a sensible language where all root words are spelled exactly the same when you add stuff to them. Sometimes you change the root word, which makes no sense. So sometimes you'll add like a little prefix and it'll be like, oh, that changes the back half of it. And you're like, why? And they're like, it's word chemistry, bro. They'll probably hit you with some kind of ad hominem attack. They'll say you just have to remember it. English is literally the best language on the planet. Uh, well, we've established that it's the best language on the planet for writing movies, especially Marvel movies. Best language on the planet, it depends what you're maximizing for. If you're maximizing for crude beauty, I think English has a lot of advantages. If you're maximizing for ease of learning, I would, I would have to give you a minus two on that one. Wanted. Poster. Well, okay, it sounds like you should go to the poster store, my dude. Economy fans are feasting as a, an explosion in a metal factory rocked a small town in California earlier today. Did you see the tweet that said, no way, man, journalism is washed? And then it was ABC's Inside Edition, and there was a, a teenager dying of disease. Thursday. And since BJ can't really get to the movies... We brought the movies to him. Popcorn in a movie, Mission Impossible 5. Awesome. And there were plenty of friends to keep BJ company during the show. For a teen who's had so many days he'd probably like to forget, this was a day to remember. Ultimately, BJ's battle against cancer was Mission Impossible. They gave him like a, a little opportunity to watch Mission Impossible early with his friends right after they, they was like an inspiring moment right he gets to watch a new movie with his friends right after the movie ends they segue to an image of him like in bed and they say sadly survival was also a mission impossible for Bradley as he passed away and you're like, 
This is a person's life, and you it's like you wrote the segue before you actually wrote the rest. Like, what are the odds that they picked the movie based on a pun that the writer had in their head? That's messed up. Like, they were probably going to make him watch, like, Ruby Sparks or something like that. Then someone was like, nah, bro, just trust me. Mission Impossible 5 Rogue Nation is going to be perfect for this. That is not a plus two, is it? It was messed up, bro. Remember when Michael Jackson and Billy Mays died, like, in the same week? What are you trying to do? Why are you trying to pit two bad bitches against each other? You're trying to bait me into saying some fucked up shit about Billy Mays? I got nothing against Billy Mays whatsoever. But what do you mean Michael Jackson and Billy Mays died in the same week? I remember where I was when I heard Michael Jackson died. Keep in mind, I'm, I'm in basically... Not rural Ontario at this point. I'm in Kingston, Ontario in an, in an office with like nine other people where the radio is on uh, all day. It's a rock radio station. It must have been 2008 or 2009. They made uh, an announcement. On, they like interrupted a song and made an announcement on the radio that Michael Jackson died. I just remember my boss going... <gasps> Like, she was like, she ran over to the radio and turned it up. It was like the JFK assassination. Did she turn her oxygen up? She was like, I don't know, she was probably 28. <laughs> hey, Anel, I saw a dude chewing Zin at the gym. Any thoughts? I got to tell you, uh, the, you, you always continue to get more out of touch. Um... So I thought maybe vaping was the natural like endpoint of nicotine delivery. I don't even know what Zin is. I just know uh, that it's nicotine. And it comes in a pouch. Is that correct? They're little snooze pouches. It's, it's vaping for dip. What does that mean? It's contained dip. So it's like a, a, like a Tide Pod nicotine supplement. Kind of? Spitless dip? I don't really understand dip either. Why do you spit when you dip? Because it's nasty? Well, then why do you eat it in the first place? <laughs> you can understand my confusion, right? For the buzz? I don't, I don't know if I... I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's the difference. So what's the, what, what is a Zin pouch then? You put it into your mouth. What happens after that? You suck or chew on the pouch... And then like nicotine juice comes out, but you don't have to spit it out. It gets absorbed sublingually. It's kind of like a tea bag. Is that, you, you, spot, you slot it up in your lip and it gets absorbed into your gums. Librarian, I don't know how you're going to make content out of that, but thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I'm just trying to understand, okay? So is it, like, I'm, I'm trying to meet Gen Z on their level, okay? You are trying to quit smoking, so you start zinning instead, which gives you the nicotine buzz, but it isn't as toxic. You kind of got it? Okay. My, my thoughts on this have, have always been, I think, fair, in my opinion and uh, reasonable. If you already are addicted to nicotine and you take a toxic form of it, then it's good for you to go to a less harmful way to get your fix if you're not gonna quit it entirely. If you are not addicted to nicotine and you start doing nicotine supplementation, I feel like you've lost the plot, you've lost your mind. Like, that's crazy. I'm sure hundreds of thousands of people fall into that camp, but that is, that's kind of insane. Chew, I know chew is bad for you, but isn't it because there's also like other poison stuff in the chew? If the Zin is like just the nicotine and I don't know, probably like mint flavoring or something, that might not be so bad. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. I don't work at Philip Morris or the health department. I really, like, I, I'll give you my, my history with smoking, okay? I think, I've, Josh, sometimes in the past, you know, like 10 years ago, if he was really drunk, he would smoke like two cigarettes 
And then one time I was like, hey, let me try that. And uh, I was like, I do not get this at all, honestly. But then there was like a three week period in university where me and my boys smoked like a cigar once a week. And the first time I was like, wow, this sucks, but I bet the next time is going to be awesome. And then the next time sucked. And I was like, okay, I'm going to give you like one more chance. And then we all got cigars for the third time. And we were all like, bro, this fucking sucks, dude. This shit is actually stupid. It's never good. Cigars are like expensive. They make you smell like shit and have a headache and not be able to breathe. They taste like garbage and you don't even get high. Like it, maybe I shouldn't be saying this as a brand ambassador, but if you're going to smoke something bad for you, you might as well be having fun, right? You might not just smoke in like just to smoke. That's crazy. I don't understand cigars at all. I don't think they make you look cool, honestly. Like I, I think when I was like 18, I was like, oh, that makes you look cool. But when I turned like 19, I was like, you do not look cool with this with a cigar. You have to be middle aged. I don't know when it, during COVID, uh, I would always take a walk. And then in this park near our old place, every Saturday, like four old dudes would pull out lawn chairs and smoke cigars in a circle with each other. And I was like, I don't know anything about them. But if they thought that they were looking cool, they that impression was lost on me. Let me just put it that way. I was not like, whoa. There's some real gangsters in the park. I was like, let me guess, your wife doesn't let you smoke inside. Like, wow, really? You got your lawn chair out in a public place, just sitting down, like smoking a cigar with one ashtray on the sidewalk in between all four of you? Like, it's just fucking, it's just kind of fucking weird to me, to be honest with you. What on earth is this ad, bro? You ever get, so I usually get these intermittent fasting ads. Um... But it's almost always like just a dude with his belly hanging out on each one. I don't know what I did to get the gay married Navy captains. <laughs> I'm happy for him or whatever. I'm just kind of confused about what, what it is in my cookies that, that got this done, man. This is so funny. This is, uh, uh, World always has the best ads. This is also where we got the t-shirt ad that was like, um, don't mess with me or don't mess with old people. Life in prison means less to them. Oh, man. It's so funny, man. It's like the stages of their life is like, look, they're like best friends and they're like, yeah, let's go out and let's go out and have a night on the town. And then they're like, we don't get to party that much, but here we are having fun. And then finally, like, I don't know why they're older at 55 to 65 than at 65 plus. But anyway, the, finally, they realize that they're in love and they can spend their life together. And then they go back to partying again. And then they, I don't know, whatever. This is like Denmark minus the other peninsula. Maybe it's a western border. Maybe this is like a, uh, a Cote d'Ivoire. Yo! A concoction by David Merkin that never fails to sink to the lowest common denominator yet often hits a funny bone. Sigourney Wiener. <laughs> it was by accident, I promise. Sigourney Weaver and Jennifer Love Hewitt. This is Heartbreakers. This is Heartbreakers. Ray Liotta, Gene Hackman, Sigourney Weaver, Jennifer Love Hewitt. This is a, a TBS classic right here. Sigourney Wiener is really funny. I think that my um, language processing area of my brain has permanently been altered by streaming on Twitch for so long. Like I've been word wronging like at least, I would say like five times an hour. I don't think it's ever coming back, honestly. Pompeii, a geographical name Thank meaning you, ancient city and... Thank you, Chibli, for that one. Macaque, a noun meaning Thank any you, of the Super genus Pets for that one. of chiefly Asian monkeys typically having a sturdy build and including some short-tailed or tailless forms, especially rhesus monkey. Macaque. Hauteur, a noun meaning arrogance, haughtiness, this word originates from the French term haute, meaning high. Hauteur, 
A noun meaning arrogance, haughtiness. This word originates from the French term haute, <coughs> meaning high. Hauteur. Mm. A noun meaning haute, arrogance, haute, haughtiness. Like haute cuisine. This word originates from the haute French term haute, meaning high. Hauteur. Yes! It was double French. It was French in the front and French in the back. Vicissitudes. A noun meaning the quality or state of being changeable. Mutability. Derived from Latin vicissitudo, the term evolved through Middle French. Vicissitudes? Vicissitudes. A noun meaning the quality or state of being changeable. Mutability. Derived from Latin vicissitudo, Vis the term evolved through Middle French. Vicissitudes. Vicissitudes. A noun meaning the quality or state of being changeable. This is changeable. huge, guys. This Mutability. is huge. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Graticule. A noun meaning reticle. It can't this be word originates else. from the Latin criticula, meaning fine latticework, derived from cratus for wickerwork. Graticule. It a sounds noun like something Dan reticle. would call a This word a scope originates from the Latin PUBG. criticula, meaning fine latticework, derived from cratus for wickerwork. <laughs> Graticule. A noun meaning reticle. <laughs> Me listening this word to originates a JPEG from Mafia the Latin song? criticula, meaning fine latticework. Derived from Kratis for wicker oh, yeah. work. Derived from Graticule. Kratis for wicker work. A noun meaning reticle. Me listening to Lucini this word by Camp Lowe. originates Lo. from the Latin Criticula. Three shots of life for all Derived night you dig it. Derived from Kratis for Graticule. lattice work. <laughs> a noun meaning reticle. Ooh, okay, we got it. There's not, it can't be spelled like anything else. Avocations. A noun meaning a subordinate occupation. You can't stop me. Danseur. A noun meaning a male ballet dancer. Dancer is derived from the French word. Yes, I know. Entomophagy. A noun meaning the practice of eating insects. Entomophagy. A noun meaning the practice of eating insects. He's, I'm, I'm going the fuck off. Send me, where do they do the Scripps National Spelling Bee? Send me to the Scripps National Spelling Bee, bro. Chocroot. A noun meaning sauerkraut. This word is a modification of the German word sauerkraut. Adapted by the French. Show You can't stop throw some Swahili at me. You can't stop me right now. Shukrut. Who is this girl talking to my husband? Kate, she's whispering sweet nothings into my ear. Are you ready for this one? Sacristy. A noun meaning a room in a church where sacred vessels and vestments are kept and where the clergy vests. Sacristy comes from Middle English. It, it couldn't have been anything else. It couldn't have been anything else but S-A-C-R-O-S-T-Y. Boudin, a noun meaning blood sausage. Sausage originates from French, adopted into Louisiana French with the same spelling. Boudin, a noun meaning blood sausage. Sausage originates from French, adopted into Louisiana French with the same spelling. Boudin, a noun meaning blood sausage. <laughs> really? Oh, we, dude, we can beat... You spelled 17 hard level words correctly. We can beat this. We can beat this. Mien. A noun meaning air or bearing especially as expressive of attitude or personality. Demeanor. The word is derived from shortening and alteration of its original form. Mien. A noun meaning air or bearing especially as expressive <laughs> of attitude or personality. Okay. It is. That's Mien right there. Cotswold. A noun meaning any of an English breed of large, long-wooled sheep. Cot it's British. It can't be spelled any other way. Griffin. A noun meaning Brussels griffin. The word originates from French, where it literally translates to griffin. Griffin. A noun meaning Brussels griffin. The word what originates the from French, where mean? it literally translates to griffin. Griffin. A noun meaning Brussels griffin. So there's like 20 the different ways to spell this. from French, where it literally translates to griffin. Griffin. A noun meaning Brussels griffin. The word originates from French where it literally translates to griffin. Griffin. A noun meaning Brussels griffin. The word originates from French where it literally translates to griffin. Motherfucker! <laughs> griffin. A word meaning Brussels griffin. Derived from the French, griffin, which means griffin. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your help. This one doesn't even have any, any sound. Okay, verisimilitude. That would have been the clip of the century. Verisimilitude. Griffin. 
The site can't be reached. It's broken. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The site broke. Job's gone. Brad, what are you going to do? <laughs> Keplerian, a biographical name meaning Johannes 1571. Easiest word in my life, Keplerian. Discord, a no! noun meaning lack of agreement or harmony. A uh, 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 noun meaning uh, uh, a place you chat with your boys. Insurance, a noun meaning coverage by... Insurance is a hard word now? Lula Alaco. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, caught, caught. I take it back. I wish I hadn't said anything. They gave me the Hawaiian dictionary now. Lula Alaco, a geographical name meaning volcano 22,057 feet, 6,723 meters, high in the Andes of northern Chile on the border with Argentina, southeast of Antofagasta. Lula Alaco. A geographical name meaning volcano 22,057 feet, 6,723 meters, high in the Andes of Imagine northern Chile on the border this would be with the Argentina, greatest read of all time. Of Antofagasta. Oh. <laughs> so close. E mate. A verb meaning to give out by measure. Dole out, usually used without. The word originates from Middle English, which derived from Old English matan. E mate. A verb meaning to give out by measure. What? Dole out, usually used without. The word originates from Middle English, which derived from Old English matan. E mate. A verb I meaning to give even, out by measure. I can't even understand what she's saying. E mate. E mate. E mate. A verb. E mate. A verb meaning. I'll take the L on that one. I can't understand what she's saying. Girondole, a noun meaning a radiating and showy composition, such as a cluster of skyrockets fired This together. can't be right. This word has roots in both French and Italian languages. Girondole, a noun meaning a radiating and... I, 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 they said it again. I figured we'd take a chance. Apoplexy, a noun meaning stroke. <laughs> I'm going apoplexy mode on my penis right now. You and your friend is addicted to gooning, but also he's studying for the SATs. I'm apoplexying my penis right now. Brother, I don't need to know that, okay? Coffee clutch. A noun meaning an informal social gathering for coffee and conversation. Coffee clutch is a German term formed from coffee, meaning coffee, and clutch meaning gossip. Coffee clutch. <laughs> That's not possible. Psychiatrist. That's possible. A noun meaning a medical doctor who diagnoses... Hortatory. Adjective meaning hortative, exhortatory. Hortatory. <laughs> adjective meaning hortative, Dude, exhortative. dude, I realize we should stop making fun of Dutch. Because English is just as fucked. Listen to this. Hortatory. Adjective meaning hortative, exhortatory. Hortatory. Adjective meaning hortative, exhortatory. Or exhortatory. Hortatory. hortatory. An adjective meaning hortative, or exhortatory. Hortatory. Adjective meaning hortative, ex And it's wrong. Fortissimo. An adverb or adjective meaning very loud. We're back, baby. Renal. An adjective... <laughs> it's to do with the kidneys. Callous. An adjective meaning being hardened and thickened. Atrocity. A noun meaning a shock... Ineffective. A adjective meaning not produced. Vociferous. A adjective meaning marked by. Hold. Bechamel. A noun meaning. Hold. Propane. Yes! A meaning a <laughs> New world record spelling champion. Apocryphal. A adjective meaning of doubtful. Numenon. A noun meaning a posited object or event as it appears. N O U M E N O N, Numenon. All right. Okay. Well, listen, I'm going to, I'm taking a little issue with Kafakach because that shit, I would bet that this is not in the average dictionary. I'm not saying it's not in any dictionary, but this is not in the average English dictionary. K A F F E E K L A T S C H, Kafakach. Oh, pinyon. <laughs> pinyon. Oh, man.
Crazy hamburger stock's gone up with this game. Chibli, I don't know what you're talking about, but welcome to the chat. We could use some juice. I appreciate you being here. I do crazy hamburger for my daughter all the time. She likes it for the same reason I like it. It sounds funny. Crazy hamburger! It is horrible! We got a lot of bits. We've also got a bit we play while I'm driving, where um, she pretends to be a server in an Italian restaurant, and I put on an Italian accent and just order as much food as possible. We could play that for like 20 minutes, depending on traffic. Hey, I'll take a pepperoni pizza, uh, capiche? And I want it up before next Tuesday if you get what, if you catch my drift. And she goes, okay, pepperoni pizza. And I go, okay, and some linguine primavera. Too sweet if you get my drift. And she's like, okay, linguine primavera. And I'm like, hey, and a strawberry milkshake if you don't mind. So I can just do that for like, like 20 minutes. Especially with pasta, because there's like eight different sauces and 20 different noodles. So you can just like run the slot machine. It goes like ting, 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 ting. Hey, I'll take a little pesto farfalle. Ding, 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 ding. I'll take a little uh, spaghetti pomodoro. Ding, ding, ding. Like it just, you could, you could run it. I mean, you can crunch the numbers yourself, isn't it? Like eight factorial or something like that. Catch you a Pepe jackpot in this economy. Okay, slash marker. I don't think any, any co ops happening today. I think we're just chilling. That's fine. I'm just going to get a Coke Zero. If we're chilling, I'm getting a Coke Zero. That's the rule. Took my bike to the lake. Brought my shovel, brought my rake. Took my boy to the swing. Let him swing, let them ring. Bought my friends Italian beef. Make them fart and make them cleave. Abraham Lincoln was governor here. Only a steel man can be loved. You know what I'm talking about? Sufjan Stevens?